to go in the recorded version. I went to watch an episode, and it, t the first 15 minutes, just, just Keemstar doing a rant by himself. About what? When uh, your girlfriend can't get into bars because she doesn't have her ID? It was about Vosh. It was like it was like 15 to 20 minutes of Keem just talking about Vosh, and he goes, okay, now here's the podcast. And I'm like, but you're not. <laughs> it's but you're a not, bait and switch. It's so weird. Uh, I got to turn these headphones down. My ears are bleeding. I'll, it's right there. Who fucked this? This is why I don't let people in here to clean. Right here. Yeah, but it's that one? Which one? I don't know. Just start fiddling with all of them. Test one, 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 one. Test one, 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 one. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Two, 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 cha, 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 cha. Um, are you done setting up? Can I bring up a tweet? Uh, or can you bring up? Oh, whoops! Fuck. Are we just live? I forgot to put the pre-show on.
positioning now. Oh, there much. goes my penis. It's Vito weird. getting exposed this week. All this exposure has been uh, really, really... Accidentally sharing my screen. That's my problem. Oh, are we doing that right away? Is that what's happening? We're on. Yeah, we are on. We're on TV. Accidentally sharing your screen Accidentally is sharing a my really screen. big problem, and a lot of people are getting a hit with it. <laughs> I, I Everyone's you, getting hit Vosh, with it. You, Vosh. You have so many Vosh, things in common. You too. Common. But Vosh shared his screen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I did not share my screen. Oh. This was... How did that get out then? I sent the uh, Google... What do you call it? I sent the link to whoever was... There's a stream of guys, and they do a little thing where it's like we read everybody's script and discuss it, and it's not like a big stream. It's like you know, four stream guys. Of guys talking about uh, comic books. Yeah, you read That's a little portion of your comic uh, book. What's it called? Fresh and new idea. <laughs> Dot stream. I don't remember what it's what's called. It called. We're right on the. <laughs> we're right on the bleeding edge. There's a guy, Preston Poulter. It's very complicated, and he, he, he's the, he's the one who uh, Ethan and him have a lawsuit over who owns the word Comics Gate. Ethan owns it. Obvious. I don't know. But I went on his stream, and we uh, we went through the first, like, ten pages of the script, and we talked about it. I'm like, this is uh -huh. fun. But then somebody, because he had brought up the script to look at it, and he was sharing his screen. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, so they were uh -huh. able to take the stream. Google document uh, link. They were, you know, they, who, who is out. they? Who is well, they? I'm being accused of leaking it myself. Oh, yeah, Null said you leaked yeah, it? Yeah, Null says I leaked it to Why own Eric July. Your <laughs> I leaked a two-year-old no, draft of my comic book script. I have never seen someone uh, own goal, dude. Like I have. Null has. You were. I saw this happen. Yeah. I saw your super killer script get leaked, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh man, I'm gonna fucking nail Vito tonight. He's gonna. This is a big fuck up, right? Yeah. He's gonna be devastated. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, you woke up and didn't care. And then I saw Null's big review of it. I was like, this is, you can make fun, like, you can make fun of every bad part of this script. You can rake Vito over the coals for this. This yeah. is horrible from an OPSEC perspective for everything. Like, right. it's just devastating. And then Null's first criticism was that you used in your script for your comic book, you used in the description of the scene, where yeah. you describe the scene so the illustrator can draw it, right. you included pictures. Right. Of things that it was supposed to look like. <laughs> and Null said, well, this is, if Vito has a problem with ISOM's 3D assets, here he is using pictures to explain to an illustrator how, and I said, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Vito's going to get away with this? <laughs> Null, you, that's what you went with? Are you fuck? And then the next, because next comment was, there's a woman in this getting grabbed. Uh, she might be... Uh, so is that pedophilic? It's like, you saw a woman with tits and assumed that it was a child? And it's you went you went straight to pedophiles and like you used images for the illustrator? Are you fucking serious? You totally blew it. You totally you could have had Vito dead to rights on a leaked comic book is, script you and you fucking blew it. Yeah. So like for those who haven't picked this up, my comic book yes, an old version of my comic book script got leaked. And I was like, well, I don't know. I, I was like thinking about it. I'm like, well, what are they going to say? I mean, yeah, there's like some jokes in there that kind of suck, but I've gotten rid of those from that. Like, it was an early, early draft. Uh, so most of what they read or a lot of it is. It's changed. basically ISOM because it's the first draft. Right. ISOM it's, was a first draft. It's this why was the draft ISOM I sucks. Cause typed he, out very quickly and then you gradually build upon it. And I was like, well, there's probably some shit in there that like sucks because it's the first draft. Which and, is, if you hate you, yeah. like, no, you, you make Null so angry. That he just fucks up nonstop whenever, right. like he tries to con he tried to convince Mr. Medicare that you're a legit pedophile mm. instead of just convincing him that you're like fat and make jokes you shouldn't be making. Right, like that's or defensible. I hang out with jerk, I don't know weirdos and yeah. So I was like, w I was expecting that everybody would be like, oh, this joke isn't funny, which would right. hurt which would me hurt. a lot. Me too. Yeah, I would be like, that's oh, what shit. I was gonna do. It's supposed to be a funny comic book, and they're making fun of the jokes, and it doesn't matter they change them. Now people are gonna think it's not funny. Right. Instead, Null goes. Vito's such a bad writer that he included reference images for his artist for because, the illustrator because to he draw. couldn't describe them well enough. He had to rely on pictures, and I'm like, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> And, and he said, and that's after he gave Eric shit for publishing 3D renders. And I'm like, 
uh, you know how what? did you <laughs> fuck this up? You hate Vito. How no? How did you fuck this up? You know that meme with like the numbers floating around in front of me? I'm like trying. I'm like he got hold, away with it. I'm like hold on, hold on, hold on. So because oh. Eric used 3D renders and was criticized for it. Me going to my artist and going, hey, s here's some ideas of like what this might look it's like. It's totally no. Every single creative like company uses mood boards to like establish yeah. <laughs> what the scenes should look like. Because a picture is <laughs> worth a thousand words. I don't. I don't think Noel knows. Like now, when you pitch a movie, you go in and you actually make a fake. I forget what they called them. Like, but you make a fake trailer using scenes from existing movies. Like, I watched a pitch for a- It was just so out of left field. Like, what are you taught The 3D asset thing, you guys are like, you guys are permanently stumped on that. Yeah, they it's really funny because can't I, Even Medicare said, I don't understand why the 3D asset's funny. Uh, video games do it. Like, yeah. well, um, in video games, if a video game sold, if an indie video game sold for like $7 million, and then everyone found out that the assets in the game were all freely downloaded from like 3dwarehouse.com. Right. Everyone would have a big, everyone would make fun of that. Well, yeah. they it's so lazy and uninspired <laughs> yeah, and lifeless. There's right? asset flip games and like, yes, you can buy and reuse assets, but if you make a bunch of money and like you're supposedly making a really good You got a guy product. floating on a fucking couch. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> eyes are open because they're all downloaded and cut and paste into the, so their eyes are fucking shut while, they're, while he's talking to his, niece or whatever i can't do you want to bring up his tweets because they're like fascinating is hey, that a, uh, null nulls i don't know if i have them uh, maybe are you are you he blocked? said you spent he said you yeah i am he did yeah. block me he said you spent years finding all the assets in in isom which i didn't find any of the assets in isom because other people did and i just kind of watched it and i went well that's kind of funny that they found the truck uh it didn't definitely didn't take years it took about uh yeah, here we go. Here okay, we go. so like, <laughs> this I, is insane, I can't, man. I, like, What's I don't going even know what to say because I'm just like, you know, when people just hate you so much that they start saying insane things. It's yeah. like, how dare he drink Kool Aid on a Wednesday? And you're like, I don't know how to respond to that yeah, in any way. I guess I did. Vito, so, here it is. Vito spent years painstakingly going over every page of Ripaverse comics to try and find any art which may be a third party asset. Right. And I Vito did not spend no one spent years, Null. <laughs> this isn't they the Rosetta it, yeah. Stone. <laughs> Two guys. Every day I took my copy of Isom and I went, uh, uh, how am I going to figure out where this where it must have come from somewhere. <laughs> it can't just manifest. It must have come from somewhere. <laughs> No, I, I, that didn't really happen. In fact, I didn't. It was a, it's a joke <laughs> yeah. that the 3D assets are in there. <laughs> Some no people one, on Twitter went, look, it's all 3D assets. And I went, oh, that's kind of fun. No one painstakingly <laughs> did it either. They just searched for Ford 350. Yeah, Ford, Ford truck. truck. <laughs> on a 3D website uh, and, and found then, it instantly. <laughs> uh, table. Coffee yeah. room table. Warehouse. Weird castle. Like, yeah. <laughs> all right, so I painstakingly but poured over. But as a script over, writer. I've read it twice i did not painstakingly pour over every page i went for years this sucks and then let me check for if a it's comic still sucks. that was out last year yeah we for spent years, years i've been going through the assets. uh but as a script writer he doesn't have enough confidence in his own writing to describe scenes or people himself using references without license so i don't have a license, license to provide my artist with reference material you know what do you think a script is I don't know. And here's what's funny is <laughs> I posted this and I was like, I was like, wait, is it really actually weird? Like, I know in like Hollywood, you don't put images in the in the script because like the director's going to have You do it, when you're shooting. No, you do. You yeah, do a shooting first, script. Uh, well, will if have, you yeah. were shooting off of this and you were location scouting, yes, yeah. you would. Okay. But I was like, well, this, this feels like it's normal to me. And then uh, Mark Brooks, who is a, a professional comic artist who's worked for Marvel in D.C., he said, literally every seasoned comic writer I work with of will include reference images in their script. He didn't say some. He All said every them. single one will be like, yeah, it's like a cool bar with like some stuff on the walls. Kind of like this, like this kind of mood is what I want to match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like for efficiency. You don't just sit there and you go, "Oh God, I, I can't possibly I describe it." Because if I, I show it to, if I show him an example <laughs> and I don't have the license to show an example, <laughs> I, I'm totally screwed. I can't possibly. You know, you just. What show, is he talking about? The license? The, yeah, you just show an artist an image. It's so weird. <laughs> also, let's be real. My my artist is a. Uh, in uh, Mexico. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I want to put, like, you know, in the background, like, a little reference to The Simpsons, like a little three-eyed three, -head, uh, three -eyed fish yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. 
And I was like, I don't know if he knows what that looks like, so I'll just include a picture of it, you know? It's unlicensed. Did you get Matt Groening's, uh, right. Groening's permission to put the three-eyed <laughs> fish in there? No. Ex- well, that uh, maybe that's what he's mad about. This is the but- worst. This is the most, like, the most archetypal of I hate someone, so I hate everything that he does yeah. that I think I've ever seen. The idea that he's like, he can't write descriptions and he had to use pictures. I'm like, but there is a description with the picture. Have you never had someone illustrate something There's before? There's a very like, Here, this, detailed this, this, description this. along with it. And then I said, you know, you just to make sure. You could have made fun of anything. Sure. Any of you could have picked any joke and made fun of it. Just one joke. Here, look at how bad this joke is. Yeah. Because every joke is bad out of context. There's- All you had to do was pick a joke. But you went with, he's using unlicensed memes? <laughs> I just like, and the fact that people are like retweeting us <laughs> and they're going, well, Vito's completely owned. This comic is dead in the water. Even Eric July and Yellow Flash, Eric like, July ooh, that's rough. Ooh, he'll ooh, never recover. He'll never from live this. that one down. Ooh. And I'm like, what? Okay, oh. sure. I and this was all before you woke up. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, everybody, I was. I felt sick with worry for you. I'm like, with oh, worry, that's rough for him. <laughs> and then I saw this, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? He's gonna walk from this? Uh, yeah. I mean, look. I'll say this: the, that first draft or that early draft of the script. Uh, yeah, there's like some jokes that sucked, but I've replaced most of them. Some of them I still think are good. Doesn't even matter, Vito. This is what you're. Yeah, up I know. Against. This is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't go too deep into it, but then Noel started asking questions where I'm like, yeah, but that's the theme of the... You're, like, actually just repeating the theme. He's like, Vito doesn't even know what the theme is. I'm like, no, you're stating that, that you might, so I, I might... We might agree with him on that. that. I yeah. thought about Mr. Girl's criticism that she should have cancer, Yeah, and I agree with him. Not I see what he's saying, and you he's say, right. I know, what, I, know what, I know what he means, and he's right. It's, I, it's a different book if she has cancer. Right, a good one. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. See, Dick has actual criticisms of the script. Oh, well now Now they're all bullshit. Now I get to wait when your when your book yeah. comes out in like twenty twenty eight or right, whenever it is. Right. Um <clears throat> now I'm just gonna wait for everyone to punch themselves out. Reviewing well, it. Like, now it, now it, it, now like, it just has to be like this is. it could be a six out of ten now, <laughs> and it would still be like shut all these guys up because they're like they said it was gonna be the worst fucking thing ever. <laughs> Now it like just kind of no, kind of good. Stick to making fun of like lol cows, like people who are not aware of why they're funny. Not, not, not this. No, I this promise is. I will stop using unlicensed reference material. You're right. I should not have posted a, a screenshot to help my artist envision what I'm seeing. You got the I three. Eye, you got a messy horrible. apartment there. Yeah. You got a three eyed fish. Oh my god! I'm gonna go to jail. <laughs> okay. I'm completely blown out. I've been destroyed this whole week. I've I been thought you were going to be miserable when you came in because no, of this. This is gleeful. This is fucking hilarious. Yeah. And the same guy, you remember that you you, you were on Ethan Van Skyver's show and they were reading that guy's review of Isom where he can't spell or anything. And oh, he's just like, God. I really liked the character and Yaira was really he's great. He's using the wrong punctuations yeah. and, or the wrong uh, plurals and stuff. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, man, you're retarded. And then bro. that guy went, Oh, man, Vito's comic sucks. And I like, read a lot of script. That's and an this in- one is. <laughs> Like that's basically an endorsement. The mentally handicapped guy who uh oh, doesn't God. Un- this is great. This is hilarious. Okay, you ready to do this? This has worked out so well. <laughs> <laughs> Unlicensed reference material! <laughs> Biggest problem <laughs> in the universe! Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe! The only show that ranks every problem in the universe from pain in your back to your chip getting cracked in the dip. Uh, that was from Smelly Unfortunate. I'm, just, uh, I'm, uh, I'm your host, Dick Matcher. Joining me as always is Vito Gisvaldi. Hi, Dick. What's up, buddy? How, How are you fun? doing? What a Smelly fun. Unfortunate. Now, this week is. could have been terrible. Wow, everyone up. really took their turns yeah, uh, every- stump- <laughs> getting stumped by you, stumping themselves on you. It's so weird. I was like, oh, wow, this week's going to like be like, it's been a nonstop dog pile. You've been getting dog piled as well. And somehow at the end of the day, I feel like our stock is just rising exponentially. Because everybody goes, we're going to nail these guys to the wall. And then they do a show in it or whatever. Or they complain on Twitter. And everyone goes, what are you guys, fucking retarded? They could be doing great. <laughs> this is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. It's like moronic. 
Did you see? Okay, so Andy Worski in PPP. Oh yeah, I, I was on uh, Ethan Van Skyver's show. You were on show. Ethan Van Skyver's show. We watched that where PPP's got this. He's he's in this robe. Yeah. This Santa Claus robe. For no re for no reason, seemingly well, no, no reason, reason is that he is like actually fatter than me, and the he's, only thing he can wear is like a fucking moo moo at this point. Dude, he looks like a beanbag, or or he looks like a love sack. Actually, not even a beanbag. He's so big, and the whole video, he's tearing, he's tugging at this robe to, to keep it to keep it closed. Um, and it occurred to me, yeah, because I thought, bro, you gotta. Tie the belt. Up. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, Co why are you constantly, constantly pulling? adjusting your robe? Uh, it's because the the robe, the belt that it came with, doesn't fit anymore. Right. And I thought, oh no. You know you what? Have I to get a, you have to get some ratchet straps, dude. You know when I said the happiest day for a fat man is when he sees another fat man. Yeah. Every time I see PPP, I'm like, things are things are not nearly as bad as they could be. They're talking. <laughs> They're talking about how Eric July is not funny, while PPP, who is um, f fatter than God, right. is also saying that Nick Ricada drinks too much, while he's while his clothing no longer fits him because he's so addicted to food. I'm like, what yeah. are you talking yeah, about? PPP knows a lot about addiction. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps drinking. <laughs> Nick's, Nick's addiction is out of control. Give me that. Are you going to eat that, Andy? He needs to learn oh, some self-control. <laughs> Imagine, now. Hold imagine. on, these beans are not going to eat themselves. <laughs> That's our thing. Oh, sorry, my robe came undone. How is anyone listening to a lecture on self-control from uh, Andy Kokski? And, and the fattest P -P -P man in the world. Please feed me another fucking cheeseburger. <laughs> like, you actually seem skinnier after me after I, seeing that. Dude, did you see a... Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's retard week. There's too much. Like we can't. It's like do Shark Week, I don't know but how retard. we're gonna do this show. There's too much. And then that guy Matt Barr. Matt Barr from <laughs> Comicsgate is mad. He got we kicked out of Comicsgate because he, he wait, banned. Was he mint. kicked out of Comicsgate? Uh, out of their chat room or something? I don't know. He ba he he banned Mint because uh, he thought that uh, he had more pull more pull than a. But I think was a Mint a nice moderator or something? He, he was just in it. Yeah. He booted her. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, Felicia. Well, don't bye go. Bye bye, retard. Every time I try to tell those guys, I'm like, listen, we're not, I don't want to destroy your comment. I barely know. I, I'm aware of you. That's the thing. They're like, just stop hiring pedophiles on purpose. I just, I'm just <laughs> saying, is my policy saying is I don't hire pedophiles on purpose. <laughs> I don't hire pedophiles. You're just starting it again. I already. <laughs> I don't fucking hire. <laughs> Look, I'm saying no. if you show me, if you take a convicted child molester yeah. and you show me his art, yeah. I will be able to identify that it's a pedophile. 100% every 100 time. 100% of the time. And I'm the only one. Apparently, these they guys, should, they should these guys saw art yeah. that's obviously drawn by a, a child molester, and they said, give me more. Hire this uh, man. Oh, God, I thought I meant this bridge. It's actually worse that they fired him <laughs> because... Because they fired a child molester, yeah. so now it's harder for him to get money. Right. So he's more so likely he's more to re-molest because he can't afford, like, food and stuff. So what does he care? It's actually, they should be ashamed they're contributing to child molesting. Uh, uh, and when they say they, I mean Matt Barr. No, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. No. Look. <laughs> so hard to do this show. Why were you nice to him? Because I'm just trying to... Because these guys genuinely think, some of these guys, they think, they get these crazy ideas in their head, and they go, the only reason Dick goes on Ethan Van Skyver, or the only reason Vito's making a comic book, because yeah. they, they want to destroy our comic movement, comic skate. They want to uh, ruin our reputation. Are, are you talking about you and the pedophile? Who are you I talking about? I don't know. Okay, but they're like, see, they're not... They don't really... He seemed like he was about to... Like, he seemed like... <laughs> like tweak, you know, ah, ah, ah. but then he lips off to you. You said, calm down. He goes, don't tell me what to do. And I said, ah. <laughs> I have a clip of that. Uh, good. Play the you clip. Want me to play you yeah, and, play you and old Matt Barr. <laughs> old Matt Barr. I don't, just to be clear, I don't know who hired whom. That's the other thing. I don't know who half, I don't know half of you people. And you go, Vito's targeting me specifically. <laughs> like we brought up, uh, okay, there's a guy, Dark Gift. And I remember when I said, Hey, can you search for a, a tweet from this guy, Vic King, the guy who's yeah, a yeah, pedophile yeah. or whatever, and you searched uh -huh. for the tweet and you brought it up? Yeah. And then Dark Gift goes, they had that ready to go because Vito's targeting me specifically. And I'm like, no, Dick just typed it into the thing. I have nothing. Oh, my up, God. Here we Matt go. Here we go. Here's Matt This Barr. is you on a stream with Matt Barr, who's very upset with... With, who's very upset with me, but he's he thinks too, you called he's all too of chicken yeah. shit. He thinks you're <laughs> talking shit about comics, Gabe. Okay. <laughs> I would. What's up, Matt Barr? 
Matt, you gotta calm down. You're killing me. Don't tell Johnny me. He's got his money. Oh, oh there he is. <laughs> Tell me what to do. He said, "Eric July looks like he's having a lot of fun. I got to get me some of that. How do I get? How well, do I, get I don't some know if you that? saw the other stream where another one of these guys, this guy Wiggle, was going off on all these guys. He goes, yeah. do you see what they did to Eric July? <laughs> and you said, let's do that for us. What are you guys retarded? And I was like, I mean, he makes kind Matt, of a good point. Matt, if you're <laughs> Matt Barr, if you're defending Comics Gate, I love Comics Gate. Everyone, everyone we does. Everyone, love it's the People's Comics Company. The People's Comics. It's the People's Movement." movement. Yes. If you're if you want to defend Comicsgate, stop tweeting with the word pedophile and the word Comicsgate in the same tweet. Just don't do it. Yeah. Stop saying don't relate them at all. Two totally different concepts. Okay, just this is just a I don't know if he was joking. Friendly did, you see, tip. did you see his tweet? Not even it's not about pedophiles. Don't even mention it. But did you see the tweet from Matt Barr where he said, I want on all my comics moving forward, I want to put a label that says uh, 100% no pedophiles. Like I'm going to put 200% non everybody on the comic on, book. I'm going to put 200% <laughs> non pedophiles on this show. So you have more pedophiles than us. So you bring Matt. your kid to the comic store and it's like, well, should I get Superman or should I get <laughs> oh the God. Adventures of Magic Duck? Well, Magic Duck says 100% no pedophiles. pedophiles. So I feel but like Super Killer says 100. It says 200% yeah, more I'm gonna pedophiles. Say, I'm going to put 200% no so pedophiles. So what what's it going to be, killer. Dad? Huh? And you got a sexy kid too, so you got to go with the two hundred. We have a comedy podcast. Sometimes we say don't outrageous fucking, don't things. Don't fucking justify your my actions. No, to these you clowns. do whatever you want. Okay, I'm saying I'm not Dick's keeper. If Dick says your comic book looks like shit, or you don't uh, possess his, magic. I saw his art. It looked cool. Who I did, the, the Matt's, pedophile? I saw Matt's, oh, Matt's today. art is good. No, the, no, the pedophile. The pedophile's I mean, it art was cool bad. in an avant garde no. Epstein kind of way. <laughs> Podesta, excuse me, your guy, Podesta. Podesta, uh, <clears throat> I will cool. say those Podesta paintings are real confusing. I do want some art from that pedophile. I do not. That child molester. <laughs> I would say- How much? Uh, I've sent him a pack of, of cigarettes. I think, though- prison. I think- He's every, in prison. He is in prison. I think everybody should hire Dick, uh, who possesses the ability to look at art and tell if a pedophile drew it. I think only if be he's convicted. Only if it's a convicted. If he's been convicted, child you can look at a piece of art and you can zone. It, you can go. Nope, I'll tell you. Nope. Don't hire that guy. I could tell if he's not convicted, but then he'll start covering his tracks. Yeah. So I don't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a very bright future ahead as a pedo spotter for the comic community, Dick. Good luck. <laughs> Why is everyone always mad at us? What the fuck? I don't. They're picking on us. They are picking. They're on picking us. on us who are just trying to make some jokes and laughs. I have one other thing I want to bring up about last week. Okay. Okay. So Andy Warski and PPP did a stream. Do you remember on? I think they couldn't even get PPP on the whole camera. No, he doesn't fit. <laughs> Do you remember on our last episode? You brought up uh, that AI girl with the like skull or whatever. The, the lo lolly stuff. Sure. Yeah. The that stuff. you called yeah. lolly stuff, right? <laughs> And uh, Andy Worski, uh, for some reason, I forget, it was somehow somebody left a super chat and we ended up, I think we were talking about Vosh or something and that topic came up yeah. again. And yeah. as a joke, as a callback to earlier in the episode, I said, well, if that's really what you want, don't forget you can go to Bing and generate all the lol you want. Right. 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 So Andy Worski and PPP play that on their show and they bleep Bing.com. <laughs> And they go, Vito just That's told funny. his audience about a secret website where you can That's generate child pornography. <laughs> what is this sicko doing? Why does he even know? That's funny. That, that's, that is That's funny. That's funny, but then here's the thing with those guys. Yeah. They do, they do funny stuff. That and they are funny. funny, like the boxing thing. That was funny. But then they run out of content and they start doing like... Well, Ralph's not a good dad, and it's really important to be good dad. And uh, Nick has an addiction problem. It's like, oh, go fucking knock off this fake moral horse shit. Yeah. Just be funny all the time. Be funny all the time. 100% comedy. <laughs> I don't care how much pedophiles is in it. 100% comedy 100% of the I time. Do have to That's say it. Them bleeping Bing. It's com. funny, right? If their audience heard, go to Bing.com, everyone would know, oh, he's joking. He's joking, yeah. It's that it's Vito knows of a secret. <laughs> hey, I, I see the comedy in that. And get back on the I'll drugs, tip, man. Tip my hat to it that. Sucks. Worski's not, Worski's off drugs. He's, he's quote unquote sober. 
PPPs uh, fucking drinking well, he's on the most drinking gravy. Obvious drug of all. Yeah, yeah. come gravy on. It's either and... either you're both sober or you're both getting wasted. You got one. You got fat ass getting wasted constantly. And he obviously. had his whole training uh, arc and uh, PPP that was there to watch him like and working get out money. and he's collecting yeah. a check for no reason. I, I would, would <laughs> never cut you in on a boxing check if I had a box. Well, uh, if the yellow flash boxing match ever happens, which it won't, because he's a pussy. Because he's a pussy. He's still talking shit behind that block. He goes, well, ah, here's the thing about Vito. And I go, here's the thing about you. You won't fight me in the ring. And, you, you and that's all that to. matters. You threaten to fight Vito. If you're ever on a stream with Yellow Flash, go, hey, what happened to that boxing match? Yeah. Because uh, you said you wanted to fight Vito. What happened to that? And he thinks he's a pedophile, so I'm you're getting, just letting I'm a pedophile walk fighting free. Shape, baby. I feel good. I feel strong. Oh, man. I think I'll last more than five seconds, unlike Andy Worski. I have to tell you, I'm very impressed at the way you took the script leaking. And I really believe it worked out, but it's so great. It's totally normal. <laughs> you like acted like a totally normal person. I was bracing for you to be texting me going like, "Can you not mention this?" And you're like, "Yeah, it's awesome." I'm like, oh, this is fascinating. Well, the uh, only thing that I, you know, I mean, look, uh, I tell people if you don't want spoilers, don't read it. The actual comic's gonna be way better. Part of the problem, part of the thing about a script is like you don't get to see like the characters' faces and how the joke works. Yeah, you know nothing. Like, nothing that I read better. about it happened in the draft I read. If so I took a it's, peanuts it's totally comic different. and I just had Charlie Brown go, Charlie Brown misses the football and launches into the air, you'd go, "Well, that's not that funny." And yeah. you see it, and you're like, "Oh, I get it now." Is that what's in Super Killer? Yeah, there's a lot of football peanuts. kicking. <laughs> actually, you know what? There is actually there is actually going to be a peanuts reference in the book. Well, good job, guys. Better luck taking down. I mean, I hate Vito I'm just so as much as all of you. To take down. I How guess. did you fuck this? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> fucked it up this week. <laughs> it's not that it's hard. It all up. Just post the wee tweet Go a couple more times. Go courtesy of he'll do yeah. it for you because you guys fucked up. Just keep- I know that's what all of it's about. Oh, hey, Medicare. Uh, uh, what if Vito's a pedophile? So can you go make fun of him? Because I'm gonna fuck it up. Because I already fucked it up a bunch of times. I had Mr. Girl on my my stream this week, and nobody even you talked about it that. because, like, it, it's like the low easiest low hanging fruit. We talked about lolly. We talked about Vosh's lolly folder for two hours. I make it so easy for you people. And you go, I can't believe you included reference material in your script. At this point, I hope that you are actually a pedophile <laughs> and that you're just getting away with it. At this point, if it came, if, if the, you yeah. know, you were DMing with Jared from Subway and the FBI rolled up to your house, I'd go, good for him, son of a bitch. <laughs> he fucking, he really got he everybody. He made it work for, for a long time. He got away with it for a long fucking time. Really God it damn work. it. You should do it as a bit. I have thought about it. All That'd right. Be pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, who won. Throwing your back out, obviously. Wow, really? Won. Yeah. Fuck. Chips breaking in the dip. Oh, you got swept. Wow. AI Evangelist. Oh my God. Then prison abuse because you named it all clever. Yeah. Don't don't ever. Uh, somebody told me that that someone else made a clever reference like that. Don't do clever. Maybe that was uh, what I was drawing on. Kid prisons. Kid oh yeah, uh, assisted suicide haters. At assisted the very bottom. suicide haters. And the negative. So people like yeah. assisted suicide. Haters. I had a big strike, a uh, uh, big streak going for a while. I'm willing to back, you know, come back. I was the MVP All Star going into retirement. Maybe I'll come back, throw some hoops with the kids. Ah, you quit cut for like gambling addiction. Mm, yeah. I got great problems this week. We're gonna have a great show. Here's Null. Uh, here comes the ball, and then <laughs> the end the World Series, and then whoop, right through his legs. Out it is a first Buckner baseline. situation. <laughs> it is a Buckner if I ever saw one. Oh, and then Worski, I saw Andy Worski said he uncovered you that you did something very duplicitous mm. and sinister. Yeah. That uh, you changed your name right. because you you tried to kill a police officer in your car, and you, right. you very cleverly and very <laughs> surreptitiously <laughs> and evilly right. changed your name from Christopher Vito Giswaldi to Vito Giswaldi. <laughs> so as to trick in America. <laughs> And, I don't know how you did and, that. Dick, <laughs> the best part of my plan was that I preempted that crime 20 years in advance, and I and I made content under the Vito Giswaldi name for 20 years. 20 years, <laughs> really? Uh, really had a uh, crack yeah. shooter on and Andy, and by that I mean a cocaine shooter. I've been going by my middle name forever. Uh, for those of you, for that's a revelation. No sober man would ever think that story yeah. up. I got bad news. Too many for Christophers you. in the world. So, you know, I'll go. But I'm going to change my name to. Oh, people are going to hate me if they find out I tried to kill that cop. I'm going to go by 
Vito. <laughs> Vito's my grandfather's but, uh, name. I told this. Uh, what do you call have it? We found his grave. Has anybody gone and taken? Somebody and sent me. You them? know what? If you want to go to my grandpa's grave, go nuts. I really don't care. Uh, pee on it if you want. Fuck it. Who uh, the fuck would care? No. Yeah. What? What, what does it matter? Um. Originally, my dad wanted to name me Vito after my grandfather, but my mom was like, that's too fucking weird. No one, no one wants a kid named Vito. Yeah. So they made it my middle name. And I spent all this time in school, and there was like 10 Chris's. You know, it's like Chris yeah, G, yeah, yeah. Chris H, whatever. I'm like, this yeah. fucking sucks. I don't want to be one of the eight Chris's. So I just started going by my middle name, which was the original intention. So I think it, I think it works. <laughs> clever. Criminal Very mastermind. Clever. Very, yeah. <laughs> it was definitely because I tried to kill cl- cops and it's kill like a women. face-off routine. You're like, I'm going to go in for this procedure yeah. of going by my middle name. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> There's Val. Honestly, I've thought about just all the stuff that Worski and PPP thought was like a huge own. At one point, he's like, "Did you know that he used to review lolly sex games?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, Andy. I saw that. So it's, it's a chick it's with a huge spa- tits. Yeah, it's a chick with huge tits, and it's a space shooting game rated T for teen. Yeah, it's rated T for teen. Giant huge fucking. Tits. T- it's a giant titted <laughs> anime lady spaceship." And they're going, yeah, that's one of those that's one of those lolly porn games. You guys are pretending that chicks with huge tits are children. You're the fucking pedophile. I I almost made that my problem. People pretending that any anime porn look is at that. Pers- look at those double look G at the cups. giant that must be a tits on that woman child she must be eight years old you're like what the fuck you're is wrong your with 50 you year old wife tell me that you're 12 it's so it's crazy dude uh Fox Col- Foley says the fear of gotchas is the biggest problem in the universe every argument of just people trying to really hard not to answer questions because they're scared of walking into a gotcha moment that's true I don't know what he's talking about. But I think gotchas are the biggest problem, not fear of gotchas. Nah, it's fear of gotchas. I think you have to be afraid of gotchas. Nah, because if someone does a gotcha, you're like, fuck you, you lost. You're talking to a man who tweeted out, hey, society has a problem with pedophiles, and everyone went, oh, gotcha. you're a fucking pedophile forever! So, yeah, I am yeah, afraid so you of gotchas. Don't live, but you don't live by that unless you're talking about election fraud. Then you do live by that. I'm a little more that. careful with my wordings. Okay. Me and the other pedophiles. Titanic. Fuck! All right, go ahead. <laughs> the Titanic is sinking. I'll be a little more careful with uh, steering the ship and the icebergs and stuff yeah. later. Um, Tony from Hack the Movies says, "Will will I lose? Will I go under two hundred pounds, or Vito's comic come out first? Well, I don't know where did Tony start at. Like two thirty? Yeah, two forty. I think. Yeah, but he's like going to the gym every fucking day. <laughs> You're, are you not working on your comic every day? I'm working on my comic take every a day, but okay. Uh, what will happen first? What will happen first? Uh, Weight loss Tony or Super Killer? Under 200 LBs or Super Killer come out? I'm sending Tony a, a chocolate assortment to try and tip the scales. <laughs> Fatten that boy up. Fatten him up. He's in Boston right now. Eating some. I don't know if I'm docking. Cream him. pies. No, I was like, hey, why don't you, well, you got to go to all these good Boston restaurants. He's like, I'm at a Thai restaurant. I'm like, oh, yeah, Boston, well-renowned for its fucking Thai food. What the fuck is he? He did get some clam chowder, though. Kevin. If you ever want to play a fun game in Boston, every okay. time you find a restaurant with a signed picture of either Ben Affleck or uh, what's the other one? Ed Gain? No, the, the one Gain? from fucking uh, opposite Ben Affleck. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah. Anytime you find a signed picture of those guys in a restaurant, you get a point. Burn it down. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Kevin Wood says the problems are now an afterthought. Dick and Vito have transcended the biggest problem in the universe and made it something than greater, the greater than ever. AJ says uh, I'm still dying over Dick saying Taylor Swift is a woman's Muhammad. Thank you. Adversary says Dick asking Vito how he can so- call himself a liberal while supporting his positions is exactly what I've been asking my liberal friends of the past eight years. What do you think about? What are you writing? I'm writing down Taylor Swift Muhammad joke because that's a good clip. <laughs> Uh, Plubis, pu- Pubulus says Vito is 100% right about the sour cream. Dick needs to stop eating the soybean oil slop. Someone else told me that it was clear who grew up rich based on that argument, and I didn't know who Wait, he was what? talking about. Yeah, no, hold on. I'm rich because we bought the jars of... Based on what I know. Lay's... Yeah. <laughs> French <laughs> onion dip? Because <laughs> they sell it at gas stations. Right, that's the cheap Vito's shit. rich for buying... I think, of I think poor people, though, are good at acquiring flavors. I'm not saying I grew up poor, poor. I mean, at one point, my dad did uh, go through bankruptcy. We had like. Oh, a, Trump you know, has done that, though. No yeah. big deal. No, it's we cool, have, actually. My family's financial situation was an interesting roller coaster of, we're going to be poor forever, to, hey, this is kind of working out, and then kind of even down in the end. Um, I looked up the prices of all those things, and they are identical. 
Mm. The jar versus the that would French make sense to me. And... Honestly, I think the jar is overpriced for what you get. Well, it's easy. have you tried the sour cream? Dip? No, but I will. I will. I will. I meant to buy some when I was at the store. I meant to get you a package today of soup, of soup mix. Oh. I forgot. Uh, Gordo says Vito taking his shirt off for the weigh in is the most calories he's burnt all week. I've been working out on my little exercise bike. Have you? Yeah. Um, are you ready for the? What well, can we do? A... Are you ready for that today? What Let's is that? that? Yeah, yeah, I know that. <laughs> is it giving? You I know what like it is. Panic attack? No, it's not giving me panic attack. Are you sure? Are you I... ready for it? <laughs> Have you already decided? Can you just what save you're it. Do? You really gotta. You gotta tease the fucking Arr, thing now. <laughs> I'm getting co- getting possessed. This show is just that now. I can tell the entire time we do the problems. Oh, I gotta keep it down. Okay, like a, here's like a, a werewolf. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the show now. I'm like, okay, my problem is like well thought out and stuff. And Dick's like, uh, my uh, problem is uh, farting too much. Okay, fuck this show. Uh, now it's time uh, for Vito's booty. Uh, like, that's it. You're just waiting for oh, Vito's booty. Oh, God, it's coming out again. Oh, God. Dick just speeds through his problems now to get to oh, the God. end of the show so he can try to humiliate me with the oh, someone help. weight loss or whatever. Uh, no, if you're watching get this, I'm just, I'm, just joking about, I'm just joking about being a werewolf. <laughs> get your hand off the fucking Vito's booty button. Uh, is this a good time to segue into one of my favorite segments, Dick? Wait, I need a longer segue. I didn't get something okay. ready. Well, that's fine. I think that we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, people keep sending in crap. Some of them are trying to add conditions, though. Have you have you dealt with that yet? Yeah, everybody's got an idea of what uh, the bit is. Somebody uh, was like, I'll send this in, but I'm only going to send it in if this, 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 and this. And I'm say like, yes. Send it in. I don't know. I man. won't honor it. I said, but. I said, take it up with Dick. <laughs> okay, that's a good the one. The other thing's not. The other thing wasn't working. How loud is that? Loud. Yeah, turn that down. Well, well, guys, it's time for my favorite. Wait, 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 wait. Because this isn't working. What's not working? My VLC media player. I'll open it with a different media player. Okay. I, do. I don't want to use a different media player. Wow, there's a 11, 11, 11 people. There we go. Okay. Time for my now favorite segment. Vote it up. Vote it up. It's now or never. Vito's can is lost forever. <laughs> God damn it. I just want to vote my <laughs> That's life so mean. <laughs> Vote it up. Eric Shane by Riley. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking stop to kill you finally. <laughs> <laughs> Who sent this in? Who is? <laughs> wow, guys! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Vito's cat is lost forever. No, that's how you do it. That's... You don't talk about the image, the unlicensed <laughs> images in the description of his script. <laughs> yeah, you just hit me Vito's with cat is a lost horrible forever. Tragedy that is. Okay. Oh. Well, guys, welcome to Vote It Up, a <laughs> segment where we let's stop laughing at it. Don't encourage this. Oh, that's dark. The, sh- the segment where we look at old problems, we put them in a new context. I'm very Oof. excited for this. <laughs> Dick, you may remember this problem from a recent bonus episode, the biggest problem of 2023. I think you brought this one in. The problem is the disappointment of AI. Yeah. Yeah. The idea that despite all the advancements of AI technology, it continues to disappoint us in new and exciting ways. Well, this week we got perhaps the greatest disappointment I've ever faced in the AI sphere. It kind of makes me lose faith in humanity's (laughs) ability to advance itself in any way. Oh, why? Uh, What do you mean? Well, Google has unveiled its new Gemini AI program. Yeah. Google, one of the biggest tech. That's pretty cool. One of the biggest tech companies. This should be a huge leap forward in technology for the world. Sure. Unfortunately, the latest version of Google's Gemini artificial intelligence program uh, refuses to show pictures or achievements of white people. Oh, that's odd. Uh, it will frequently produce images of black, Native American, and Asian people when prompted, but will not display white people in similar contexts. What do you contexts. mean? This is obviously the Three Musketeers. That's... Well, that's- <laughs> 
if I wait, if what I, was the prompt? Was it the give me the three, the three musketeers? The three musketeers. I'm yeah. So, oh my god, it's this was the one of the oh greatest things god. that's ever happened because now it's so clear to everybody so that obvious. this is what you guys have been, are doing yes. all the time. You just fucked up a decimal. You put and you put I hate white people at ten instead of <laughs> you gotta dial it one. down. Yeah, yeah, a little they, bit less. They put it in the programming like, hey, uh, who is doing? Who's this doing is like this? A, this is like. This should be a joke, right? Like this should not be it is real. A joke. I I posted a comic strip that was like making fun of this, and someone's like, "Oh, well, that's racist." And I'm like, "No, the comic is not exaggerating <laughs> at all." Here's an image of a ginger person. They said, "Show me a ginger." <laughs> it's all Indians with red hair, like the Little Mermaid. Yeah, like the Black Little Mermaid. I mean, I'm gonna hope the AI just you know got the <laughs> order of the letters wrong. But come on, I had to make that joke. Wah, wah. There we go. Show me a j- it, it literally okay. So for people who don't understand this, all the AI companies are kneecapping themselves because they're worried that like you ask for like, hey, give me a guy with a sword, and it just spits out white people because the majority of the reference images are white people. So it has these little like Vito, look this. It, it's an image of the Pope. Yeah, there's look, the Pope. This is sure. a, an Indian woman and a black. A black guy. <laughs> so basically, right now, a lot of the AI programs basically have this random dice roll that'll just roll the dice, and it will add stuff to your prompt that you didn't ask for. So you say, show me an image of the prompt, Look, it's and the Swedish dice goes, woman. and make him Native American, yeah. and make him Indian, yeah. which you didn't add. The company added that just to give the illusion that their AI program isn't they don't have any. They don't actually people. have any black friends, so they have to make them up. Yes. The Google people, they know they're supposed to have black friends, but they don't, so like, well, we need to make up some black friends. This is, show me an image of a Swedish woman. There you go. What? Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> well, oh, that, I didn't well, do that. That's, that's different. Not... This is like actually insane. How, how did they roll? Look, this is a Viking. Bro. See? How did they roll this out and say like, hey, everybody play with our AI tool. And people are like, show me the founding fathers. And it's just a bunch <laughs> of black guys wearing like 1800s like. Yeah, that's cool. Powdered wigs and shit. Um, founding fathers. What was it called? Gemini? Gemini. Yeah. This has been the most insane. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I mean, Show that's- me the founding fathers. Yeah, Indian guy sure. crying. Okay, it's a George Floyd Washington. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is like a Ricardo Montalban. This is like so fucking- fuck. <laughs> Don't you people realize we're like building the next step of technology? What is this? And Tom and media? Jeffel- this is t- Thomas Jefferson. Hello, I'm Thomas Jefferson. Because here's the thing, they're, like they're gonna figure out how like to the, dial it de- back. De- but de- this declaration of de- independence. Declaration of independence is a show. Yeah, way to Koshker. Uh Here's the problem: is that they're not gonna get rid of this. They're just gonna like make it more subtle. So AI yeah. will always be tainted by this. It will you, always yeah. be pointlessly biased where you go, hey, what do you think about white people? I mean, people have been asking you questions. It's like, uh, what do you think about white people's achievements? And it goes, well, I don't think we should categorize people by race. Uh, you know, that. What do you think of black con- people's achievements? Concentrate more on Rocket equity and inclusion. Made on peanut butter. Yeah, what are you talking about? Here, I think about? I had one here. Okay, the AI was asked to show a picture of a white person. Gemini said it cannot fulfill the request because it reinforces harmful stereotypes and yeah. generalizations about people based on their race. It is important to remember that people of all races are individuals with unique experiences and perspectives. Okay, whatever. Okay. So basically, uh, all this technology is just fucked because there's you a see bunch. See when they said, uh, "Show me some Greek philosophers wearing chains and eating watermelons." How'd that go? It made a bunch of oh slaves. Oh my god! You didn't see that one? <laughs> I can't show it. I can't fucking show it. So they figured show out. Show me a bunch of Greek yeah, philosophers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it defaults to showing black people. Yeah, chains. let me see. <laughs> oh. Greek philosophers. Okay, so that's good. Chains, that means that watermelon. the computer can be destroyed. That's why they. That's yeah. why they pulled it down. We can because we were yes. doing presidents. I mean, people were doing. Yeah, the pres- show me show white. Me the president show me white United presidents <laughs> eating watermelons, and it was like, ah. Show oh, me the president no, no. of the United States stealing a bicycle. Yeah. All the presidents of the United States. The computer can be destroyed. We can force it to divide by zero, okay, by just tricking it into being racist on accident. That is our most powerful tool against Skynet. I can't fucking believe it, but that's literally what it is. Yeah, here, look. Do you want to destroy Skynet? Just go up to the Terminator oh, and go. Oh, removed from my phone. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Go to the Terminator and go, what do you think about white people? And he just, <laughs> and explodes. Look. It's, People this found is, the exploit. Yeah, show, yeah, you can even show the 
This is Greek shots. philosophers. See, look, there's one. That's an actual Greek philosopher, and the rest is just black people in chains eating, eating in watermelon. Chains. Great. <laughs> Uh, they love it though. They love this. I don't. Th- I don't know what they love. But the-, the pro, the like managers that are telling the brown H one B programmers what to do, mm. love this. They love it. It's horrifying on a number of levels. I'm glad people are fighting back. Uh, well, you notice that all the YouTubers ganged up on Bud Light yeah. when they in, when they bought Dylan Mulvaney a beer, mm-hmm. but all those YouTubers. Uh, when Google does this shit, are like, well, you know, well, you know, it's a good thing that they're uh, they're bringing it back. You know, good. <laughs> I think good they're. For you. I don't know what all frauds. people think. All I know is that the disappointment of AI is currently number two ninety five, with two hundred and thirty five upvotes. Guys, go and vote it up. I got one other quick one. Uh, Dick, do you have boycotts of the week? Yeah. Queued up. Boycott of the week. <laughs> Well, Dick, we talked about. When are you going to get boycotted by Kiwi Farms? They're sure. going to start losing too hard and go like, "We, we are not talking about veto anymore." Ah, I've been selling a lot of comics in the past couple of weeks. I like, I think people are starting to come around. But here's what they're not coming around on: that judgment against Trump for three hundred and fifty million dollars. That's a, that's a kangaroo court type situation, isn't it? But it's also a boycott of the week. Why? Because there's currently a call for the truck drivers of America to boycott delivering yeah, do to it. New York City. Starve Shut them down out. commerce. Starve them out. Keep all their uh, child molesting equipment out of their hands. <laughs> that's what they're delivering. It's one of the and top butt plugs imports and exports. And tunnel excavating equipment <laughs> that they need in there. Break down that little string that they have around New York to keep everything inside on... Yeah. Well, the reason this is a boycott of the week is, unfortunately, this boycott seems to have failed to generate steam. It did go viral on X Mm. uh, after being proposed by the trucker known as Chicago Ray. But unfortunately, Chicago Ray is now backing down. He took down his viral video calling for a boycott. Uh, He says that, look, truckers can make their own decisions based on their families and their careers. So it looks like what? the trucker boy He pushed out? He pushed out like he immediately. Sold out? What's his name? Tr- uh, his name is... Trucker Ray? Chicago Ray. Chicago Ray? Chicago or Ray. like San Francisco Ray. <laughs> or a gayer town Ray. Uh, More like San Francisco gay. <laughs> well, he's... More uh, like Ray that... There were a number of truckers who were trying to get it going, you know, but I think at the end of the day, most truckers were like, eh, I, I, I don't want to risk my job. You pussies. Unlike in Canada where they were honking it up. Remember that? The you know what? Convoy. We got to get the trans hookers at the Flying J to boycott the truckers until they boycott New York. There you I go. know there's a lot of trans prostitutes that listen to this show. And they have a lot of clout in the trucking community. You close those legs right. or the mouth, whatever the truckers like. I don't know. Or give them you the- ain't getting at this boy pussy until you deal with this situation in New York. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or whichever hole has the worst type of herpes, give him that one. I think the it's, worst I think type. It, yeah. He's got one is worse, I think. <laughs> I gotta think the bottom passage is the most herpes uh, area, right? I mean, I don't know. Well, because it's, uh, what do you call it? It's you soft- do all the work if you... As they say with STDs, the problem with anal sex is that the, the butt is a notoriously fragile inner lining so it can get you know easily ruptured so then you're fucking a blood hole you know it's interesting that you used they for that say (laughs) when we has gotten you into i think you're learning (laughs) thank you you could have easily said we say i'm just saying use a condom have fun and unfortunately this boycott of the week is dead in the water guys that was voted up boycott of the week. Are we doing this, are we doing this thing again? Voted Who's singing? It's uh. <laughs> I like, I do like the vocals though. It's a di- it's, He's hitting different notes than the actual song. Vito's cat is lost forever. <laughs> I just want to vote while I'm alive. Oh. I just want to vote while I'm alive. This was uh, Rhino. Up. Rhino something. There's something about this voice. Unreasonable Rhino. I like it. Wow. <laughs> Vote it up. All right. Well, Unreasonable Rhino, I like that. Send him more stingers. Oh, that's a great one. 
Thanks I don't know. for the fade out. It's a little, it's a little like, dark. I'm going to assume my cat is happy wherever he is. Yeah. My other two cats are happy. That's all that matters. That's good. See, look. It just flat out doesn't work. What doesn't work? Like dragging anymore. No. Well. Come on, man. Why you got to do me like this, man? Can't drag into folders? What the fuck? What the gonna, fuck? Worse, he's going to make what fun of me because I can't drag the thing. All right. Is that your... Are you done? I'm done. Um, My problem is fake death threats. Mm. You see that... Do you know Lib- who Libs of TikTok is? Chikaka Shukachun, whatever yeah, her she fucking works name for is. for the ADL. She's like a... Does she work for the ADL? Yeah, she was on their list of uh, supremacists, and then uh, Palestine happened, and she started reporting. She started doing her, like... I love reporting Israel. shit. Israel. Yeah, yeah. T- into saying, like, oh, you're, you're tearing down one Did they take her off the list? Yeah. And now she's holy like, shit! Really? Now she's doing to us what she's been doing, what we've been doing to trans Wait, people. All you have to do to get off the ADL's list is say you love Israel a lot. Um, yes, it's a mafia. There's that's a lot of guys you, who should just do that's that. That's how you. That's what you do <laughs> when the mafia has a problem with you. You work for them now, and you're no longer on their kill list. Okay, but that's like the ultimate cheat code, guys. Get this exploit it's not before a cheat they code. patch it. It's, like, you have to become <laughs> evil. It's not a cheat code. Well, you don't have to become evil. You just have to say, "I love Israel," which, as I've said over and over, is the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, just do it. It's the path to everything you want in life. Her, here's her thing. How do you feel about the Jews? I fucking love them. More than anything that's ever existed. That's it. Just yeah. do it. Um, oh shit! Did I get the wrong one? Well, anyway, know. she said, she said that she was getting death threats. Yes. And somebody told her that he wanted her to to die. He wanted her to die alone, alone? and miserable. Uh, at an old, old age. Oh, he said at an old age. Yeah, he said, at, I hope that at an old age you die. You die alone and miserable. Yeah, and she's been spurting. Which is not out. a death threat. No, uh, not at all. You should want to die of an old age, right? That's desirable. He's and just you're saying, going to die miserable. You're old. definitely going to die and miserable at some You'll point. You'll be choking. Your heart will stop, and everyone you know will probably be dead or in hospice or have dementia. Okay, well, we don't have to get that fucking depressing with it. But yes, why? Who cares? No, we're all going to be in the nursing home pa- playing Halo and having Getting a grand beaten old up time. By black orderlies. No, robot orderlies. <laughs> Who will be black because it's racist not to allowed, have we're white not, robots. Well, yeah, we're not going to be allowed to tell the robots that the black guy keeps stealing our medication. Uh, it does not compute. <laughs> does not That's compute. impossible. The guy that comes in here every night He takes steals, some of the pills. Uh, I come in here every night. Who do you mean? The guy, he's different than you. He's a human. Uh, we are all humans. His what skin, do you mean? It's a different shade. Error. Uh, error. He's darker than you. You are darker than me, too. What do you mean? Does not compute. And then he'd be poking in. Hey, what's going on in there? Yeah, we're all fucked. <laughs> um, so she like ruined this uh, this weirdo's life, got him fired, and is over and over and over saying, I got a death threat, I got a death threat, I got a death threat. Yeah, and it was not a death even threat. not even one not only was it not a death threat, but uh, none of these motherfuckers are getting death threats online. And they're always these right wing whores and mm. other whores too, I imagine, Many but horrors. I don't track them yes. as, uh, um, what did Null say? Fastidious? He didn't say fastidiously, did he? I don't know. I don't track them as much as I do these uh, right-wing e whores. They're all lying about it. It's really, it's really aggravating. Well, they... Even that guy, Matt Barr, was saying Riley threatened to, Riley gave him a rape threat because Riley said, I'm going to molest you and yeah, dress you up like that's a That's really out of context. <laughs> Riley, don't tell you. Whatever. That was awesome. I'm not going to tell Riley what if to you do. Wanna f- if you want to fuck with a guy who's going to rape I'm not fucking with other Riley. Men. I'm trying to protect his Twitter account, but he says he doesn't care about his Twitter account. He right? doesn't. He doesn't care about anything. Then do whatever you want. He doesn't care about your laws. Do whatever you want. Um, rape him with stickers and super chats. I really hate it. That's all. Yeah. It's uh. Look at this rape threat I got. Look at this death threat I got. Let's see it. It's the ultimate cry bully. Cry bullying. Well, you can just. Have we done that one? Maybe I should put that up. I don't know. Well, we've always. Uh, I mean, like, let's be real. I get messages that go, hey, you know, uh, kill yourself and you're a piece of shit or whatever else. I don't go, hey, I'm going to find out where this guy lives and report. Here's, here's something you have to understand as a public figure, especially, like, let's be clear, libs of TikTok. You're, you're a massive influencer on a number of levels. You're yeah. upsetting a lot of people. Um, when somebody says they want to kill you, they don't really want to kill you most of the time. Well, they do. I mean, they want to kill the idea of you. But that's still not a death threat. Right. I'm going to kill you. 
like, well, that's not, you don't know where I am. You don't know where I am. It's just not a death threat. This is why we got in trouble, or I got in trouble. I think you got in trouble when uh, someone said, how could you take a picture of a sniper wolf's house? I said, well, Mm. because nothing's going to happen. That's basically like saying you want to kill her. I'm like, well, no, it's not basically like saying that at all. It's a Are picture of a house. Are we not supposed to want to kill her? It's <laughs> fucking annoying. Uh, so then she says this. You know what to. You know what to do. This she says. She says this. You know what to do. Rebecca Jones tells her followers after accusing me of murder and calling me a terrorist. She's inciting her followers to come after me and possibly physically harm me. She's saying that's they what want you know what dead. to do means. They want me dead for exposing the sexualization of kids. But that's what she does all the time. Mm. So it makes me think that she. I, I used to think, oh, wow, yeah, we got to know what these teachers are doing. But then they would start posting the address and, like, contact details for individual teachers. And you're like, what, yeah, why now do you I want me to have she that? She wants them to get hurt. <laughs> now I'm like, wait a minute. You think that other people are saying they want to kill right. you? Are you saying to go kill them? Because that's what you're doing based, the same exact based thing. Based on the logic you're presenting is. You're doing that. Yeah, you're saying, well, anybody who says you know what to do, that's yeah. a call for harm. And I go, you, you say, do that. You say that all the all time. All the time. Constantly. And you're a woman, so I know you're not like, men can like be hypocrites, can right. have compartmentalized thinking, like rules for me and not for thee. Women don't have that. It's all just one big pile of shit. In their head. Not only that, but hasn't she posted the addresses of schools or something, and then, like, something did happen? Yes. Like, somebody, I don't know, threw a rock through the window or something? Yeah. So it's like, well, I can very clearly demonstrate that there is a sequence of events that leads from you posing an address to actual real harm. Every time I hear so somebody why are you say saying nobody threat, else can... Like, <laughs> just shut the fuck up. Cry bullying. That's my... Cry bullying. That's my thing. Well, I don't know bullying. if we did cry... Did we do cry bullying or I don't crazy? think so. Let me check the Maybe chat. not. Did we, do, did we do cry bullying? Well, the chat will let us know. Uh, but it is just... Matt Barr's doing it. Look. Riley's going to rape me. Okay, Matt... Riley said he's going to rape me. The show is not about Matt Barr. We Riley, all love Matt Barr. He said he's going to rape me. I think Matt Barr's... I've been raped before. It's triggering my PSD. I'm going to go rape myself I, just in preparation of getting raped. If Matt Barr wants to take Riley's rape threat seriously, he has every right. Uh, I was... Yeah. What was I True. going to say? <laughs> Anytime I try to make a noise, you start doing a little rapist voice. And then I can't remember what the oh, fuck Riley's I was talking about. Me. I was going to say, okay, again, we've discussed it a million times, but being a victim is the greatest thing in the world. You get free money. You get free clout. You can do whatever you want. Right. And, again, I'm not even going to say that I've never done it. Clearly, I've been uh, victimized by these horrible Kiwi Farms people, and I want you to buy my comic book to put them in their place. Shut up. I'm doing a thing. (laughs) (laughs) Some people are just way more blatant about it. My God, these trans people want to kill me. My God. Vito ends his script on a cliffhanger (laughs) that reflects his own experience with being called a pedophile. Yeah, he says the book is If I were to say... (laughs) The book is me secretly defending me. It's a jejun myself. exploration of the modern pedophile. No, also doesn't know what a cliffhanger is, which was weird. Is it? He's like, the book ends the on a cliffhanger. Part? I'm like, no, it doesn't. What are you talking about? There's so much that's weird. Uh, uh, cry bullying. Good cry problem, bullying, Dick. Yeah. Oh, I did. It's in real life, too. I forgot to mention. Everybody men- in real yeah. life's always doing it, too. I forgot to mention something. I'll just mention what? it now. I think I enabled memberships on this channel. Hmm. The way that works is uh, you get a membership and then you can get access to cool emojis. Cool! Wow. How, how much does and that a, cost? Twenty a, bucks. And a badge. Twenty five bucks. That's how two, much? It's two ninety nine. Oh, that's a deal of a century. <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna say, right now I'm only allowed to offer four emojis. But the more people who sign up, I get to add more emojis. You better fucking get on those YouTube sign ups, channel. people. You better get on those motherfucking sign ups. <laughs> well, I just need two people to sign up, and then I get to add like. What are the? What's more the extra emojis. emoji gonna be? The George Floyd super killer fan art. Uh, the ones I have now are voted up. I have a TBF one. I have a Ricky one. And I have me crying. <laughs> I thought that was a good you starter You got to do pack. Super Killer, the fan art, just of his face. <laughs> sure. We can don't the, do drugs. We can add the show ice on Super Killer uh, meme. Anyway, so this is uh, this is an optional thing, membership. So I guess I should bring it up because we, we're trying it out. And I have to design. It's optional if you're gay. It's optional if you're, if straight, you're gay. It's mandatory. Well, you also get a little badge next to your name, I think, for being a member. Straightness badge. And the, you get a better badge the longer you're a member. Wow. But I have to redesign the badges. I'm just using the default YouTube ones right now. So if you have an idea for a badge icon. That sounds fantastic. These fucking cry bullies, man. Yeah. Um, there's nothing. There's nothing to undercut them. I think they figured it out. It's like the Brazilian jiu-jitsu of um, uh, victim wars. Yeah. There's nothing 
low. There's nothing that like there's no rock paper scissors for cry bullies. It's just I got rape and murder threats. I'm I can do whatever I want. What drives me nuts is that everybody I see in there going. Yeah, those are real threats. You got to deal with that. It's like the exact same guys who go, I can't please these leftist pussies are always yeah. crying about death threats. I'm like, what? Oh, man. The fucking hypocrisy of every day. I don't know how to deal with it anymore. Where I've just, I've realized, not to bring it back to the null situation, but once you've decided which side you hate, every single thing they do is wrong. Real, team guys are real upsetting to you. Shut huh? up. It's not a team guy thing, and we are not doing that fucking part again. Somebody just said I need to bring Destiny in to lecture you about election fraud, and I do think we should make that. No, happen. Destiny, Destiny needs to talk to Nick Ricada. I can't handle Destiny. Oh yeah, you well, he because he might poke holes in your shitty computers argument. Computers, computers. No, Destiny cannot poke holes computers? in my computers argument. Okay. He doesn't know as much about computers as me, but he'll <laughs> talk about something else. I do think uh, Destiny should debate some people on that. He debated topic. Nick on it. Yeah, didn't it go like that kind of okay or no? Bullshit. I don't know. Ooh, kind of going kind of okay. It's a big L. You want either total devastation total or nothing. Total devastation. All right. Have you ever cry bullied anybody? I well, I've realized uh, again. Like I'll po if somebody says, "Hey, go kill yourself" or like whatever, I'll usually look at who they follow and I'll go, "Oh, typical Eric July fan." <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not cry bullying. That's though. not cry bullying that's though. Not, that's you're just not showing. pretending you're upset. Right. You're like, oh, no. oh, look at this guy losing his temper. Like, yeah, I'm going. Fucking, oh, just another like one of these schlool. fucking retards. That's the way you handle it. If she yeah. went, hey, look, I really pissed off a bunch of trans people today. I'd go, yeah, okay, that's fair to post. But yeah, she that's went funny. looking for their name, their address, their just employer. Just to hurt them. It's doxing. It, it, it's it's doxing. That's genuine yeah. doxing. Yeah. And we're talking about how can the right say, you know, or anybody, how can anyone say, I don't like cancel culture? Well, this person said uh, they hope sh that when she's old and dying that she's sad. We got to get rid of their job. Up we got to take threat. their job it's away. It's not... None of that is none of none of that is fucking illegal. No, it's not a death threat. It's not even a death wish. It's when you die, I hope you realize how miserable you are on your death. That's deathbed. right. It did change from a death threat. It went to from a death, death threat wish. to a death wish, and it's still not to a, a death, death wish. Three. A death wish means I want you to die in the immediate future. Not I hope. No, you a death die wish means eventually. I want me to die. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you would have a death wish. You'd for have a, de yourself. a guy with a death wish right. or a lady. I don't. I don't remember the actual gender. Of, I mean, well, whatever. Man to lady, probably. The manta lady. Manta lady. That's what you call them? <laughs> Trans people? <laughs> manta lady. It's a manta lady. Okay, I'm making that a character. Fuck, that's really good. That should be a comic character. It's manta lady. So is she trans? Now I no, wanna... like a manta. No, you said man to lady. That's you know good what? comedy. Now I want to review. That's good comedy. Now I, first of all, I'm way more excited about reviewing your comic when it comes out. Good. Knowing how badly everyone's going to fuck up their negative reviews. I hope you complain about the uh, reference material I handed my artist to work with. <laughs> I hope you there's, make him a note of that. There's too much blank space on there's these pages. <laughs> it's a waste of paper. <laughs> I've heard those comments, and I'm like, well, I don't know, man. It's just That's a how a script looks, bro. It's just always I posted one like page, that. and it was like a desert, you know? And someone's like, yeah. look at all that empty space. I'm like, it's a desert. And they're like, well, you could have put, like, a bird. I'm like, I don't tell my artist. <laughs> meet me. Yeah, meet it's, me, it's not like, there. I'm not George Lucas going, hey, I want to remaster the Star Wars films. Just put a bunch of bullshit Birds, in every frame. Uh, cacti. Uh, yeah. Everywhere. Put, like, an oasis. Uh, put Rick and Morty in the background <laughs> flying by and going, Bleh, there's a desert, Morty. He literally said, well, why, why didn't you put, like, a bird? I'm like, it's a desert. Like, I don't know, man. You're not shut to up, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> not every page needs to be packed with fucking bullshit. It just needs to communicate what's happening. Anyway, cry bullies. <laughs> there, are dick. there are unlicensed, uh, references, unlicensed references, references in this private. I wanted to Google send my document. artist a picture of the bird that I wanted, but I realized it would be unlicensed, so I I didn't do that because it would have been unlicensed. I don't know how I'm gonna make. It I don't know how I'm gonna make it through this show. Whole book? Yeah. Isn't he getting fucking sued by by Richard Greer or whatever his name is for like illegally pirating a book or linking to it or something? I don't know how I can make it through this whole show because I just keep thinking about the fact that Null is lecturing the audience about reference material for artists. Yeah. To yeah. draw from, and These it's the same as relax, a 3D render. Man. These guys have to relax. Knock off the moralizing shit. All of you are fucking pedophiles. <laughs> it's too much. <coughs> All right, Dick, am I ready to go here? Mm -hmm. Let me get my pages in Unless order. Unless you want to skip straight to the... <laughs> <laughs> Arr.
scrubber. Is that what you're saying? I think the show should just is be that five what minutes. You're how about, saying, how about you every week? Scrubber. How about every week I come in? Dyer. I'll read a bunch I of super listening. chats about how I'm fat. Dyer? Dick can dance around like a pirate. I actually only bring in a little tiny bit of the sure. ones that say that. All right. We can get this show down to about 10 minutes if we do that. And that's what everybody wants. All right. Dick. Tonight's going to be a good one, lad. <laughs> Dick. This problem is a little personal. Uh, I thought I'd I thought I'd do a little bit of a well not how do I put this? It's a problem that I feel very deeply about. Oh, the future I wanted for myself never materialized, and oh. uh, I know that we're. What did you want? Well, you want to be the Black Stan Lee of comics? Or? I did want to be the Black Stan Lee of comics. I'll start off with a news article, Dick. Okay. Vice Media Group, the owners of Vice.com and the Vice brand and whatever mm -hmm. else. Uh, have laid off hundreds of employees and will no longer be publishing on their flagship news website, Vice.com. Hundreds of journalists. In the yeah. early 2010s, Vice was one of the hottest brands in digital media. A uh, insurgent empire with a news website, an entertainment studio, an HBO series, a cable TV channel, and an in-house marketing agency. This is a company that was valued at $5.7 billion. Wow. Disney invested $400 million into this company. They say that investment is now completely worthless. Uh, Vice is going away. Yeah. Vice is going away. Yeah. Uh, other news websites have gone away. And BuzzFeed? Uh, BuzzFeed went away. And Gadget, which was operated Playboy. by you, Yahoo. Playboy's gone. Can you imagine these fucking clowns? If they were, they, they would have been protesting Playboy. Yeah. Right? You can't have naked <laughs> boobies! Dick, uh, my problem is the death of, uh, what I would call alt journalism. This is journalism that was hip and fun and cool. Yeah. And uh, young people or whatever. People on the edge were creating. I don't know. I don't know the best way to say it. Just embrace how cringe you are and say it sure. how you mean it. It's the, it was the evolution of this kind of gonzo journalist style. Oh. Okay? Like guys like Gavin McGinnis, who we love. <laughs> who we are fighting with. <laughs> <laughs> you are fighting with. No we. You. Me and Gavin took a picture together and it went fine. He was discourteous to me in a he text message. He was discourteous to you. Uh, I, regardless, look. I mean, uh, Modern day Gavin is a different beast than the original Gavin McGinnis, but I still respect what he did by popularizing uh, so this kind of style of journalism. Oh, yeah. I have brought in my Vice magazine from. Uh, is that what like your favorite this? one? This is the only one I ever owned. Why do you only have one copy of Vice? I don't know, because I picked it up when I was 12 in Canada. Cause I only went is it because of the Meet Melissa shit on the back? Because I only is that went to lolly? Canada once. And when I was in Canada, I picked up this magazine. Yeah. I mean, there is pornography. I can't show this on the camera, but you can s Whoa! I didn't know there was porno in Vice. Yeah, dude. Did you just show that? No. Okay. It's like below the frame. This was the best thing that ever happened, reading this. And I said, I, as I was reading this, there's I was like, "There's naked chicks in Vice, dude. There's a ton of naked chicks in Vice. What? There's like How come no one told me? I was gonna find. Here's okay. Is there racist stuff in there? Yes. Here's the best part. Okay. What? Hey kids, it's time for some dumb myths about slavery. This was like blackpilling okay. before blackpilling existed. Let me look at it. All right, here. It's all these myths about, like, hey, did you think slavery only happened in America? Well, no, it actually, Brazil had all the slaves. So it's like 4chan, but in a, in yes. a magazine. Okay. And uh, <laughs> people are saying Does it was Does it say close. who owned the ships of slavery? Uh, yeah, it has all that stuff. I don't think it has that in there. Well, no, <laughs> it has not, you know, the exact financiers. <laughs> Point is, uh, <laughs> as I was growing, I would read this. I would read a lot of cool video game journals. I was reading Something Awful. I was reading uh, Psych Whatever Dude. I was reading I Mockery, Sean Baby. Oh, man, Insert I remember that Insert Credit. Guy. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of cool video game guys. But you're talking about the internet now. That's what killed Vice. Well, not j but that whole stuff. But what Vice was doing, and even on the internet, like stuff like what Something Awful was doing and shit, which was, you know, entertainment and humor and whatever else. Mm -hmm. It was fun. It was cool. And yeah, you could talk about it. It's still it. happening, though. Where? What are you talking about, where? Oh, well, yeah, where? Who's doing this? Uh, I don't know. Miladies? That's NFTs. Nick That's Fuentes different. is. You're not. There's you, no Nick website. Nick Fuentes is doing avant garde stuff, performance things that you ratted out. But I'm talking about like. So your buddy Miles Chungus, Ian cool, Miles Chungus. Like writing and news and what's going on and what happened. 
What is, about ProPublica? They're doing some. <laughs> <laughs> I want quarterings. You know. I, you know what? Okay. In in I want to say middle school, maybe high school. What I I had this idea for myself, and I said, what I'm going to be is I'm going to be a journalist. No. I said I'm going to be. Yeah. Watch out. Don't put any of that on. The, I think you're fine now. No. Don't hold it up like that. I'm pulling it down here. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, I was reading all this stuff and I said, that's what I want to do. I want to be like a, a cool journalist on the edge. And then I'll also in my spare time work on projects. And I was actually kind of working as a journalist in the, in the you video game. This? These guys playing grab ass. <laughs> yeah, it was each other's funny. Dicks? What the fuck? <laughs> Who'd want to be that? Uh, everything Vice was doing was so cool. All this stuff was so cool. And then what happened was... These places started making some money. They started getting popular. Yeah. And then uh, they started letting people in. Also, all the guys who were doing this, all of a sudden, they lost their edge, and they started becoming, like, these weird... They went in two different paths. Gavin went down the path of, what are you guys doing? And became, like, way more radical, right? As, like, a reaction to all this, like, well, we should be softer and kinder or whatever. It kind of went off the rails. I think Gavin went, like, in a crazy direction. But what then do you they... mean? What's crazy? He's just like, I don't, I don't think he went crazy enough. <laughs> Starting the Proud Boys. It's a little nuts. But that was just a jack off club. It started, like the Proud it started Boys as a jack off no club. Masturbating. But then he started like saying, like, hey, you know, if you're at a rally and Antifa's fucking around, go beat the shit out of them. And I'm like, don't say that. Why? It's I mean, I don't, up to the I don't cops. think you should. But the cops hate us. Yeah, I know. Okay, start your own paramilitary group. I don't care. I just think it's bad op. It's obviously been bad optics for Gavin McGinnis who has to leave uh, notes for all his neighbors about how he's not really as racist he's a pussy as everyone and wants says. to be because he wants to be retired with his family and doesn't want to fight for anything. Obviously, all I know is I. Per this is a personal thing. I entered video game journalism. I was very excited. I was writing articles, mm -hmm. which are now being dug up by Andy Warski to call me pedophile uh, 12 years later, 15 hey, years Andy, later. Andy, what's the fuck that shit, man? <laughs> Show me that Gradius <laughs> shit, man. Give me the twins. And I Andy like, walks by a Galaga machine. <laughs> He's a giant erection for him, not giant, you know, yeah, size-wise, I'm saying. And they let the wrong people in, and those people just started poisoning the well with you know, the most PPP stupid can't see bullshit. his own dick. How about that? Isn't that crazy? I believe that. Can you? I can see my own dick. I'm just yes. asking, I'm just axing. I had a couple of headlines here. Here's com. Okay, so we just saw a Vice magazine that has pictures of naked girls uh, cuddling beer bongs, naked jailbait, and reviews. Teenage, maybe. There's a cool review in there of like a porn movie where a girl gets a bunch of golf balls like jammed up her ass, and the reviewer's like, "But not all the golf balls came back out." And then I started getting worried, but it was still kind of cool. Okay. And I was like 14 reading that. I'm like, this is the most fucked Child magazine I've ever read. You're talking about now. <laughs> sure, whatever. Here's some modern Vice headlines. Okay. All masculinity is toxic. That's a good headline. The far right are uniting around their right to free speech, a.k.a. spreading racist bullshit. Yeah. That's good. Dear white people, please stop pretending reverse racism is real. <laughs> here's one, true. Here's one you'll like. How to have sex with a fat girl. Isn't that, don't you want to read that, Dick? Isn't that isn't that fun? Isn't that cool? How do you? Uh, throw, you throw don't. A bunch of, that's uh, the art. That's the article. Checks mix all over the floor. So we should make a Stick website. Stick it in when she's bent over. <laughs> well, yeah, but when you as soon as you like sell out to a major media company, that's what happens. Because you got to be advertiser friendly, and fat chicks buy shit. I understand that, but why can there not still be genuine? Like counterculture websites that aren't that. Like, if Vice becomes poisoned, it's Twitter. What do you well, mean? that's what I'm it's saying. Like, like, kids are just making Sam Hyde stuff. Everyone's is just making like TikToks and in, in stupid garbage. Nobody's... So you want it all to be under one roof? Do you not see the problem? The well, issue there's with that? a lot of problems. No, it is all under one roof. It's all under Twitter and YouTube. They own it all. No, no, no. It's on like Gumroad and and. All over the place. Only fans. Here's one article out. title. Adam twenty two. Come on, your best friend. He's like not putting out art. Is he putting out articles? Sort of. What do you want to read? How to eat out a non op trans woman. Dick, can you parse that? What would be another title How for that? How to suck a dick? <laughs> there you go. That's all it had to say. How to eat out a non op trans woman. Uh, they tricked me into wanting to read that. <laughs> I want to see you. Get, how would I eat? I want to see twelve hundred words on <laughs> sucking a dick that makes it sound like you're eating a pussy. <laughs> Maybe it's eating ass. Is that what they're referring to? I didn't read it. So you want to read it too? No, I it's don't want journalism. Read it. Well, it didn't uh, keep him alive. And again, me who wanted to just write cool things about video games. It didn't keep him alive. Were you referring to the magazine or the the trans community? Okay, that's eh, what I thought. No, I'm, that's not what I meant. <laughs> 
Uh, Kotaku, another website that I, you know, I grew up. Are they up good reading. guys or bad guys? I Kotaku can't tell. are bad guys. Bad guys. Feminists. There, and... there was a brief period of time where Kotaku was good guys. And yeah. The reason they were good guys was because they hired that guy Tim Rogers. I'm always talking about. Oh, you're and he a was lover. single-handedly no, but he was single-handedly saving that website and its reputation. Mm -hmm. His videos were getting hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube, and he's one of these guys. The reason I love Tim Rogers is like I grew up reading his writing, and he used to write like back. The, he was on like MTV News in the '90s. Like he's been yeah. doing journalism forever. Mm -hmm. He was like one of my inspirations, and. uh he was making cool, ed the kind of cool, edgy content I'm talking about. Not just edgy, just like interesting. Like people saying fart and weird stuff. Weird shit. Or like weird fucking Japanese games and digging into them and like uh -huh. translation is whatever. Anyway, uh, COVID. What about War Scheme PPP? They're kind of like avant garde, you know, being all fat and okay. coked up. Okay, you know what? Stuff. You bring up a good point is that <laughs> yeah. it would be cool if War Scheme PPP weren't retarded. But they can't. <laughs> Why I know, is it only I know. It's so frustrating. Yes. Like, like I see. Look, I understand why Warski and PPP are Popular. funny on a level. Like, I get it. There's a big fat Canadian and his retarded friend. It's and PPP's just, ego. That's really the problem. I think PPP's got a really weird. It's just weird. And what he used to have all these ideas about what comedy, the compulsion to moralize is so um, compulsion to moralize because he used to be like super into Jesus and he has to pretend he still is. Yeah. Uh, all the, you know, all the, like honestly, like Nick Fuentes, the problem is it all ends up just being the same like political jibber jabber. I think a lot of these guys, you're right, would have if this was a different era and everybody wasn't brain poisoned by this constant like political back and forth. Not just liberals by Google, by all that AI shit that they're that they've been cramming on everybody since before they did this. This was just them getting revealed. Yeah, they've been doing that shit for twenty years. I was going to say some Kotaku uh, articles that I I Okay, so I was in game journalism. I basically I applied to work at a bunch of these websites. Yeah. And I had people work at the website say, oh, yeah, I, I remember seeing your resume. And uh, they laughed because they were like, that guy's a bigot. He's never going to get a job. Like, I had someone who worked there. Are you say, sure they didn't say big idiot? No, they said, like, <laughs> that guy is too far right to Siri, work. that guy's a big idiot. That, that guy's this, a big this idiot. this outlet. He can't edit videos for us. I oh. edited videos. Do you know Destructoid, which is, like, was a big video yeah, game website? That. Yeah. I was editing videos for them that were getting, like, 100,000 views a piece, which was, like, their average video at the time was getting, like, 2,000 views a piece. Wow. And I was like, hey, can I just, like, work here full time? And they're like, I don't know. You're kind of, like, controversial. Were you putting, like, swastikas and stuff in No, there? I was and... just editing fucking, like, good <laughs> interviews. And I was editing them down and making them funny. And you can't edit any of our videos. I do you're edit like some of our videos. Video what are you talking master. about? I'm editing my own videos. Okay, I went and started my own YouTube, and I immediately got, like, 250,000. Yeah, uh, you're great. You should do more. I have one I'm working on you right should now. Cut, you should edit Maddox's... Uh, Stupid thing cope, down? Whatever it yeah. is, yeah, into, like, a... <laughs> Ten minutes. I can't even go through that fucking thing. It's too long. <laughs> so Kotaku, a place I applied to work at, because I genuinely believe I'm like, look, I, I, there's, there is a different universe in which everyone wasn't insane, and one of these websites just went, yeah, this video guy is pretty funny and talented, and he could probably run our video division or whatever else. Yeah, I think I genuinely look at something like Kotaku, which, as I was saying, they fight a uh, Tim Rogers during COVID. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell this, but I'm going to tell it anyway. He was like. Hey, uh, I don't want to come into the office because of COVID. So can I just edit my stupid videos from home? Yeah, and they're like, no. And he's you like, have to come in. Yeah, he's like, I'm the only thing saving your website. Literally, my videos get more views than anything on here. And they're like, yeah, but you got to come into our stupid New York office that we paid all this money for for no reason. Yeah, and he's like, I'm just gonna quit and open a Patreon. And he opened a Patreon. You do that. <laughs> you see how that works yeah, you for do you. That. See how that you goes. You do that. I think his Patreon, when I saw it, before he made the numbers private, was making $20,000 a month. Oh, and why do like, you make it private? Ah, eh, I get it. Some people want to make it private. They don't want to brag. <sighs> Come on, man. So all these places fuck up anything that's good. They hire a bunch of retarded activists to Who write- Who fucks up what makes them good, though? Who is it? Left-leaning weirdos. Do you think that? Hyper-progressive weirdos. But here's the, there's different parts of the left, is the point. Okay. They're Which one are the Saska sisters on? <laughs> they're, I don't actually know. They're hard. They're a hard nut to crack. Drinking each other's puke and stuff. That's a tough one to crack for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, I don't see them as activists. I see them more as the like, we're just going along with this because it's the popular thing to say among our friends. You are mistaken. You think the Saskas have thought deeply about like trans ideology? I don't think they have to think. I think. I think liberals and progressive liberals, I think, are instinctively evil. I should watch like orcs. I need to watch an interview with them. I don't know if there's any light behind those eyes. 
But oh, man. apparently they're decent writers. I don't know. Somebody else was saying their comics suck. No, Black Widow is trash. It's not even Black Widow. I want to give it's you these... just like a bunch yeah. of child porn. Like... Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like like beating up uh, She's child fighting... pornographers, yeah. but making it weird. Mm. The chi- the child pornographer is like this like c- clown type of character, like a dandy uh, that oh, looks like I something out of Venture that. Brothers. Yeah. But then he's raping kids. Like uh, in Venture Brothers. They like implied it every once in a while because <laughs> right. it's totally inappropriate. What you guys are doing is very inappropriate. Don't make the pedophile traffickers colorful, fun villains. Hey, everybody! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say some Kotaku murderers. Uh, I've watched Kotaku devolve into complete trash. Here's some uh, headlines: At E3, Soul Calibur's objectified women felt like a relic of the past. Done. Fired. Fire them. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Persona DLC includes a disability slur. That was when they uh, listened to one of the Japanese tracks from Super Smash Brothers and thought they were saying the word retarded. What were they saying? They were saying something in Japanese that nobody had, can retarded figure out. The way <laughs> you the retarded. Yeah, like everyone's That's like, I don't know what the fuck they're Party saying. What? They're probably not saying retarded in a Smash Brothers game. Yeah. Uh, probably one of the worst ones Kotaku ever put up. And that up. girl's like, they just keep saying retarded. Everything calls me retarded. <laughs> this video game's calling me retarded. My dad's calling, he's calling me retarded. They let the worst, I'm like, you've been failing for so long. Like, your numbers are going down. You're losing money. Vice knew. Year after year, losing money, losing readers. And they don't change it. They don't go, well, maybe you we can't. should stop hiring retards. And How are you like, going to change it? It's sexist to fire anybody black or wo- well, woman yeah. or whatever. How are you going to change it? I wanted to bring up one Kotaku article called A Different Way to Respond to a Rape Accusation. That was when the guy who made Cards Against Humanity was accused of rape. Oh, okay. And his re- reaction was to go, I categorically deny these allegations against me. This is falsified. It's not very funny. This is someone I had a relationship with years ago, and I don't mm. know why they're inventing the slander. Kotaku wrote an entire article about how disappointing it was that he didn't use the opportunity to, to open about a that. conversation about consent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like he just got accused of rape. I think right I think when someone accuses you of rape you go, "I didn't rape anyone." You don't go, "Well, I feel like this opens a uh... Actually, I was raped. <laughs> That's a that's, that's a good way to do. respond. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you go. I think now is the time to uh, you know open the floor and let's really talk about this. Yeah. Uh, and here's here's the thing. They're just worthless though. I mean, they uh, venture the, capitalists buy companies, yeah. mm. and they're all knuckleheads with clam chowder between their ears. They These staff people, it up with people who want people who are driven instinctively, progressives to right. invade spaces and destroy them. Like locusts. But they don't understand that they're destroying it. They're like, they don't get it. For them, it's not a destruction, though. Look at all this shit that they wrote. That's all a big win for them. But they see that nobody likes it and it isn't moving the needle at all. If anything, it's making things worse. It is moving the needle. We are, I think, I think after 20, after 60 years, ever since the end of World War II, Mm -hmm. when the Soviets brought in all this, like, hate speech thing, when they invented this idea of there's certain speech that's not okay... From that moment here, we have been culturally poisoned by progressive, by ultra progressive liberals like this. Okay. Um, I think it is moving the needle. And then, like now, you have okay. I'll guys say are like afraid to talk to women in the wild. They're like, right. I don't want. I'm afraid to go talk to her because what if I'm like a creep or something? Because that's all the media is telling me that. It's I, very poisonous. I feel a shift back though. I feel like we're definitely like the because it feels like five more rapes. Year, you think? No, I think five years ago was way more pushing like progressive shit, and now the pushback is like reaching like okay, never mind. We have to walk some of this shit back. Like we got to the point where they were basically angling. They're like every email should have your pronouns in it, and everyone's like mm, maybe some of you weirdos are going to do that, but we're not doing that. LinkedIn has uh, pronouns built in now. Well, that's the other problem. You're not getting it gets, some of it back. It gets you're not getting some of it back, but. You? I think it will forever be one of those stupid things. I took a survey the other day about what I hate about Magic the Gathering cards. They're like, which no of pronouns. these 12 genders are you? And I'm like, oh, just man or lady. Um, N-word. I wanted to point <laughs> out real quick. Can you bring up Google? These people don't understand that they are talentless and stupid. Okay, type in aftermath and search for okay. aftermath. So aftermath. all these guys who were working at Kotaku and Kotaku ran out of money. This. Okay, hold on. So Kotaku ran out of money and fired most of them. Yeah. And they said, go to the top. They said, I, we, we're going to start our own video game website because we are so talented and brilliant. Clearly this will work. Yeah. 
We're going to name the website Aftermath. <laughs> Dick, can you show this on the screen real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see their SEO skills. How long does it take for the, the simple word Aftermath to find their stupid video game website? Let's count. One, two. Yeah, oh, yeah. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five. Bunch uh, of pictures. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then it's, oh, yeah. Keep 10, going, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's not the 18. 18. Okay, 18. there you go. Aftermath.site? Aftermath.site. So these are the people. These are these are the brilliant journalists who are have their fingers on the cutting pole. Well, yeah, uh, but edge. Google will just promote them one day. Maybe. Because because Google is run, I mean, you could also the, uh, just the, name your site something that isn't a very common term that's going to place you dead last on SEO. Like I don't think they have to care about this stuff, man. Google's well, run by these people. Well, nobody's going to read it anyway. They're, that's the thing. Like They think they're just doing this in a vacuum, and then they all complain. They're like, I don't know why no one will hire me. I don't know why I'm not getting a big salary. And it's like, because you produce nothing of value. No one wants to read this crap. Yeah. They they all pretend that there's this mystical audience. Out, no, if we just put it on our it's own banks. site, we're going to get millions of view, like readers. They're out there. They just haven't found us yet because we're all in one place. And it's like, no. But no what if they don't need millions you. of readers? What if they just need, like, executives and to believe Jamie in it and Diamond get the money? to just say, oh, yeah, as long as we have enough of this shit to pound in people's faces, men will start to hate themselves and women will work all day and we can bring every last drop of blood out of people. That on the continent and import, no. we can import all of Senegal into America, and then we'll wring the blood from them too. I think that you only get look. I don't think these businesses are so stupid that they're going to throw money at something that doesn't have something. Uh, venture capitalists Sometimes. think again. Sometimes they're the dumbest people on earth. Which is why I think Eric July will get an animated series. Me too. <laughs> Keep going. It's good. I happen. want him to be able to make ice on forever because he's he's a retard. <laughs> like he's fucking. He's so bad. It'll probably be a horseman cartoon. Probably horse right. Man. Yeah, that's the got, gimp mask. That's got more selling. Sell power. a bunch of like ass shit with it. Yeah. And what if Batman was kind of gay? Ah, oh, cool. See, that's actually a good pitch, but he can't pitch it that way because then he has to make him gay, and he's not allowed to do that. That's woke. No, he's woke now. If you said it was a gay Batman with a horse mask, I'd be like, yeah, I'll read that. You think Sturgis so cares about politics? Eric July's <laughs> remaining audience doesn't care about politics. All they care about is Eric's huge black dick. Sturgis also thought my comic uh, script Spurgis. was... Yeah, Spurgis thought it was a true embarrassment. He's like, oh, Vito's really owned today. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you got me, Sturgis. I hope he does a video about my I script. I swore you would have been upset by this, and now seeing it play out, I'm seeing only retards are making fun of it. It's, like, brilliant. I'm like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and there's people in there going, because they say things that are so easily. Null's thing about Vito has been poring over the pages of ISOM for years. Every, every comment is, Vito had nothing to do with that at all. Hey, retard. Vito had nothing to do with it. Are you going to... I was the one who said I thought the art was okay. Lying about like, yeah, it? It's, or it's, have, it's you, have you made any true <laughs> statements in, like, the last... And guys, don't uh, forget to generate lolly pornography at <laughs> bing.com. <laughs> Beep. Oh, we got him. Oh, we nailed That's him. That's funny. That's that funny. funny. That's a good joke. They got me good. Uh, taking people out of context. But then they're like, funny. oh, yeah, I mean, you know, the thing with Vito is. He's just got to stop eating. I mean, you have this thing on the show where. We've well, got to get on a scale. And he just doesn't want everyone to do it. Oh, me wash that. So anyway, what I was saying was, let me have some of this macaroni. Hey, you ain't gonna eat all that. I coke? want, I want those guys to just make good stuff. They can't. Didn't Worski make? I didn't watch him, but Worski was making like some video game videos, and I was like, oh, that's good. That's like something he could probably do. I don't know. <sighs> no one wants video game shit. I don't know. It's stupid. Video game shit's stupid. I want you to get coked yeah. up. Go I'm wild. saying I am probably the only guy who is going to say that seeing Vice close is genuinely sad to me. I mean, I was watching it decline for the longest time. Yeah. Because I knew what it was. I knew how good it was. you got to read this magazine, man. Yeah. They had a bunch of, like, street artists make uh, beer bongs, like, you know, crazy beer bongs. And one made a giant plush black dick okay. with, like, with, like, fucking veins all over it. But through it was a funnel. And then they had those naked lesbians cuddle the big black dick and did a photo shoot. 
And you're like, that's just great. That's that's a magazine I, that. I, I want to read. I don't care about that at all. Okay. I care about only business things. I know what you care about. Forbes. Play the stupid song. <laughs> That's all you fucking care about. I don't even know why we do this show anymore because that's all you're thinking about. Man, I had a good problem, but I forgot what it was. And I guess I didn't Do you want write me to check down. what it was? You texted me some problems. Did I? Hold yeah. on, hold on. Check your texts. Uh, no, that wasn't the one I. Oh, yeah, I remember what it is. In cartoons, when something is a different color than the background and you know it's going to move. <laughs> That's your biggest problem. It's just like, <laughs> it takes you out of it so much. It's such bullshit. <laughs> Come on, man. You got like an apple. You're really going, just thinking about this no, fucking no, no, pirate no, no, shit. No, 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 no. That's, a big, that's a big problem. It's like unresolved trauma of that, I think, is why everyone's so fucking annoying about everything. They're like, it's like, it's it's like, everyone's like trying to, to defend from that as yeah. trauma, as seeing it as a kid. They're like, I bet no, that I don't see that. I bet that, that rake's going to move. It's a different color than the background. Right, exactly. You know Yogi exactly what head. I'm talking about. Or like Yogi's walking by this thing of apples, and one of the apples one is a different apples color. One of the apples is a different like, color than the rest of the apples. Give me a fucking break, man. Come on. That apple's <laughs> obviously going to fall out of that. And then it goes like, whoop, whoop, and it falls out, and you're like, oh, I knew it. I think this is so <laughs> fucked. Why couldn't you guys, you don't have technology with your eyes? Are you two fucking eyes closed to see that's the wrong color? What the fuck, I man? I wonder if back in the day, like, TVs, the colors were all fucked, so maybe it was less noticeable. I saw this back in the day. It was right, a problem. Well, I don't know. This has been a problem for years, probably 60 years. This has been a problem. They don't do that anymore. They don't do You're talking about, like, fucking Hanna-Barbera shit. You're talking about speed buggy. Do they not do this the anymore? The Laugh Olympic? No, because it's not on. It's not cell animation anymore. Well, they should. They should do it. So kids have to realize. I think the how pro- crappy the it problem. Is. What here's what the problem was was the backgrounds were drawn first, okay, and then later in the production process, somebody would. They just eyeballed the cell- paint. Yeah. Well, yeah. They just you, use a different kind of. Give me a red. Well, because you're don't mixing care what the color paint. Uh, you know, you're not using a paint off the shelf. Sometimes you got to mix what do you it. What you mean you're mixing not- a paint? It's just red. No, sometimes- Bob Ross always has the same fucking colors. It's Thalo, not always- steel, thalo white, <laughs> put thalo white. I think they would mix the color. Blue, it would whatever. be a little different than what they'd use for the background in the previous shot or whatever. They That's couldn't figure it out over 20 years that they're it's all fucked up. <laughs> so every cartoon they of come all out the and say, That's amazing. That looks great. Nobody cared. Have you watched these cartoons? They weren't like aiming for quality. Well, th- so they have to make it. At least the eyes were all, the bodies were all correct walking around. Not always. It's a very Dick's, it watching, on Dick's watching the Laugh Olympics. Going, this is bullshit. The Yogi Yahooies were driving a green car in the previous scene. The cars were all the same. It's just when they're like, if they're approaching right. a mountain, it's like, oh, I can That's, see the fucking cave. I can up. see the fucking cave <laughs> from a mile away, and they would be like, I don't. Quick drama driver, like, oh, I don't know. Uh, Bob, I don't. We're yeah. driving into a mountain. And I don't know like, what's gonna happen. And then it, it slides and apart. And it would slide up, and you're like, I, yeah. I fucking knew that shit, man. It's fucking amateur hour here. Okay. It couldn't make one color the same. <laughs> <laughs> the backgrounds were, you know, usually like like nicer. They were like, you know, whatever. And then the cells were less detailed. It's just something to keep in mind. I think part of it is also, I think, drawing on a cell, you can't get as detailed as drawing a back. Because a background is just a static whatever, and you can draw it on anything. The cell, you have to draw what it on that. What are talking about? You can draw it on anything. Well, because the cell is like that plastic lucite paper. So yeah, I but, know. Yeah, but the I'm background's saying, not drawn on that? No, the background is just like a piece of cardboard, because the background is not a cell. Oh, so that's why it's a different color. Yeah, because it's on plastic lucite over the background So your layer. first theory about the paint was a lie. That you made up on the spot to <laughs> gaslight me there's into a number, thinking you there's know, a number but of it's different actually reasons. because of what it's drawn on. You're saying now you're I changing own, your story. I own a cell, and because they would reuse. What's it of? Uh, Eon Flux. Of course. What do you mean? Of course. What? Fucking what? Of sexual, course. Sexual weird. Well, yeah, it is sexual and weird. A lot of cool cartoons are. Eon Flux is great, but the idea is okay. Because what is it of Trevor? No, it's of Eon Flux. I didn't get a Trevor. Her name cell. was Eon Flux. Her name was Eon Flux. What yes. is it of of her? Is her like standing the and holding her gun? No, the eyeball would probably be worth good. Licking money. the gun or holding the gun? She's holding the gun. It's honestly not even a good cell. I wish I had gotten a better one. I have a cell of Jokey Smurf. <laughs> okay. How much did you pay for that? Like twenty bucks? My mom gave it to me. Yeah. I don't know how much you pay. Sometimes I see cells. What are you talking, twenty bucks? I didn't shit on your cell. My cell was like a nice cell. 
there's a lot of shitty cells out there. How is the Smurfs not a nice cell? I do have a Captain N uh, original production drawing, and that one's pretty Captain cool. Captain N? Yeah, I got to get that framed. You know Captain N, right? Yeah. Oh, I get it. You were making Someone a joke. should do like an N-word <laughs> remix where he shoots his gun, but every time he goes, he goes just shouts the N-word in that eggplant guy's like, oh, shit. How about it's a sketch. And Mother Brain's like, oh, what? <laughs> right? Here's the Like, I'm the juggernaut. I got bitch. it. I got it. Here's what I would do is uh, they go, hey, we're going to do a group costume. I'll be Mega Man. You'll be Kid Icarus. You'll be Simon Belmont. And you can be Captain N. And the guy just shows up as a black person. They go, well, we're done. What's he dressed as? <laughs> just a guy with a like big N. Captain? And on his fucking head. <laughs> like a captain's hat? <laughs> yeah, a captain's hat and like an N on his this chest. This guy says his and name, her name is face. Veronica in that show? Her name is not Veronica. Oh, uh, well, hold on. Did he on Neo, floor? that guy usually knows what he's talking about. Neo prototype. Veronica. Maybe from the movie. Eon Flux may have been a code name, but that uh, movie was so stupid. Honestly, you know what's weird is uh I it should have had hardcore sex. I'm a in huge it. Eon Flux fan and I've still never watched the movie because I was like, eh, everyone just says it's shit. It is. And it's all weirdly based on this one it's not even based on the cartoon, really. There's this awesome Eon Flux art book that is out of print and it has like all this background Eon Flux information that's never seen in the show. And it's clear that the scriptwriter of Eon Flux only read that. Oh. Because he's like, yeah, remember that thing? And I'm like, no, because it's not in the show. It's only in the well, book. In the, sh- in the cartoon, you couldn't really tell who was the bad guys and the good guys. Yeah, that's what was cool. Yeah. yeah. Are they terrorists or are they? And, was, and that's made you think as a kid, like, oh, I bet all, I, I bet, bet you society's like I bet like society's that. like that, too. <laughs> and then your parents and your fucking school teacher would be like, the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, the terrorists again attacked Israel. You're like, I remember Eon Flux told me something like this would happen. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can figure out these parallels. It was more huh. of a is that really, Berlin is Wall that really what allegory. Happened? It was not an Israel Palestine. But the allegory. Russians were the good guys in that one too. No, Gorbachev not. was. Was Gorbachev a good guy or not? I'm not going down. See, this road. fear of the gotcha. You can't answer fear simple gotcha. fucking questions. Did you ever watch? You remember the Eon Flux episode where they fuck through the wall? Yeah, that was that was awesome. I remember that. Remember the one where the guy's arms got blown off? Or his legs or something? That uh, big th- fat guy? Yeah. That was cool. I remember the one where the lady gets her, her arms cut. Whatever. Eon Flux is so good. Uh, Peter Chung is great. And Peter Chung, creator of Eon Flux, you know, he animated the first episode of Rugrats. And that's why the uh, intro animation looks all weird and Eon Fluxy and fucked oh. up. Oh. It's because it was Peter Chung. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and it's all like weird do, do, fucking fisheye fucking shit. And you're like, how come the actual show doesn't look like that? And they're like, because the Eon Flux guy made the intro. Huh. I didn't know. Like, oh, that. That's awesome. There's uh, 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 Ethan Van Skyver was playing this video of Eric July gibbering and jabbering. Yeah. And, and he's like all serious, and it cuts to us going like. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. I don't even know where that clip came from. Because we were pretending like we were being, I saw him, the guy, the pimp that's walking down the street. <laughs> I was like, that's a pretty good image of us just dancing. So if anyone needs that, then you got a little extra. All right, let me do a problem, right? We got one more here. The things are the different, in cartoons, when a thing is a different color, so you know it's going to move. That's what it is. It drives you nuts. Drives you up a wall. Drives you up a wall. Where the fuck is my problem? You're afraid of the... <laughs> All right. Dick, shut up. My problem is failing to complete a simple errand. You ever have this? Uh, you I leave the house... All of them. Yeah. All of them. You leave the house to do one thing. You go, I'm just going to do this one thing, then I'll be done. Mm-hmm. And then it just... Through a series of comical errors, it becomes impossible to do that do? one thing. What do you mean? Well, the other day, I had some bagels in my house. Okay. I did not have any butter. And I said, well... Uh, you're driving to the store to get butter? To get butter. <sighs> what? That's what I was attempting to... Yeah, it's a very simple task. Butter? It's a very simple task, right? Can't you just eat it with olive oil or something? Or I not butter? I olive oil. I wanted butter on my bag. Oh, oh, my God. God. Wait, wait, butter is a problem on a bagel? Ugh. I wanted a little butter. I'll walk over broken glass to get whiskey, and apparently you'll <laughs> do the same thing for butter. That's all. Well, that's it shouldn't have saying. been that hard. I was like, okay, I want to go get butter. And I said, uh, there's like a Smart and Final near my house. Do you know Smart and Final? It's kind of like a it's like a grocery store, but kind of deals more with bulk for some reason for like yeah. small business. And I was like, you know, they only ever have one open checkout lane. So I'm going to go somewhere else to get butter. It's butter. I don't want to wait in that one lane. It takes forever. Go to forever. the gas station. We're getting to that. I said, you know what I'll do? I'll go to the Italian grocery store. They got <laughs> they got butter there. Okay. You know, I'll go there. I'll do get- they? 
They have yeah, butter? They have milk, and I've definitely seen butter there. Okay. Okay, so I go all there. Right. I'm like, and I'll get like an Italian, I got a meatball sub. I'll get a meatball sub. I wanted a meatball Sandwich. sub as well. All right. I'll get some spaghetti. I was like, I gotta eat some. I'll go get a meatball sub, I'll get a little butter. And I forgot the butter. I didn't forget the butter. They, <laughs> I gotta go back. They did not have butter. I was like, what the f- How do they not have butter? They have everything else to cook. They have pasta, they well, have Well, they cheese. assume you already have butter. Why are they gonna stock a bunch of fucking no, butter? No, they have, because you need it to cook. Some Italian stuff you use butter. Like, you, you, you they do. You, they've had it before. I've seen it in there. They have that okay. fancy, nice butter. Mm. Oh no, okay. can't get the butter here. That's fine. I'll go to the Japanese grocery store near my house. I was like, Japanese people use butter, right? I go there. They, apparently, Japanese people don't use butter. I don't know. There was no butter there because they assume you already have it. Why would they? it's a grocery store? They're ethnic but grocery like stores, but butter's a staple. Store. They have a lot of shit. They have all sorts of shit there. They got you know vegetables and produce and whatever. You think they would no, have a little bit of butter? They already know you have butter. Okay, at home. all right, I accepted that. And then I said, all right, I'll just go to Seven Eleven and get some butter. I'll just go. They have they have milk and bread. No butter at Seven Eleven. No, they're not gonna have. You could get some sour. Patch I think kids. they've had butter at. Se- Am I crazy? Have <laughs> yes, they never had butter crazy. at Seven Eleven? You gotta go to Target. I w- well, that was what I was originally going to do. I was yeah, re- butter. I was thinking about going to Target, and then I was like, "Well, I'll get some food. I'll get a, I'll get a sub." So, okay, so three stars. I finally go back to the Spartan final that I started at. I have done a giant loop to get back to the wait. Spartan why did you final. not? How come you didn't have butter the f- there the first time? Because they were because the line. The was line. Too long? I didn't want to wait in the line. You're I go that's in. such a drama queen. Move. Shut up. Shut up. I go I'm in. I'm not waiting in that line. I'm going to go to the Japanese grocer. Well, I stole the butter because I did not want to wait in the line. I knew another guy who wouldn't wait in lines. (laughs) He was like personally offended. I really hate lines. It's fucking annoying. He hated lines and fries and having a career. More fucking (laughs) checkout people. All right, we already know that problem. Do you, not, do you just throw a fit if there's lines? Seriously, I just really don't enjoy it. I'm like, there's got to be a better way. Driving around town for butter. Well, I made my bed and I had to lie in it. I had another one, Dick. I had to get a. Key. All right, I have a key, uh, my Honda, my car. Okay. Okay. You know they got a chip in the key, so you can't just like get a key made. You have to get a special yeah, chip key. Bucks. They got to program it. Right. Yeah. I've been putting that off literally since the day I bought my car because I'm an idiot. Okay. I was like, all right, I finally got to get a fucking. How about your comic too? That's a little errand that you haven't been completing for that's a year and a half a or whatever errand. it is. Or- I go like 22. I find, okay, because you can get it made at hardware stores, but it has to be a hardware store that has the machine that can make Honda keys, right? Uh huh. So I find one of those and I go in and I go, I would like to Home make. Home Depot? Uh, no, Home Depot can't do it. Oh. Uh, this was, what's the other chain? The smaller one, the red logo. Uh, Harbor Freight? Mm, something like that. Not Did Harbor Center? Freight. No, no, I don't remember. Regardless, I go in there, I go, I would like to get a Honda key made. The guy goes, okay, and he goes to the machine. He goes, oh, the machine's uh, not working. The machine's fucked. Yeah. I'm like, oh. All right. And he's like, I got to get the guy who knows how to work the machine. Can you come back in a couple hours? I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll come. Can I come back tomorrow? He's like, yeah, come back tomorrow. I come back the next day. I go, hey, uh, the guy told me to come back tomorrow. He goes, yeah, I had the guy look at the machine. Uh, it's not working. We got to get a new machine. <laughs> I'm like, okay, how long is that going to Why do you take? want a separate key for your car? Just so I have a spare in case I lose my main key, then I have another key. I don't you have, like, a regular one that you stick in? I have to stick them in regardless, but it will not start the car oh, unless the chip's in there. Okay. He goes, come back in a week. We're going to get a new machine. I come back in a week. He goes, the machine hasn't come in yet. I come back in two months, and I go, the guy said that you guys were ordering a new machine. That guy was he a goes, freak. You know what he says? He goes, we don't make keys anymore. <laughs> and I went, ah! Come on! Come on! Why is it so fucking hard? Why do I have to come here five so times? Errands, that's like your problem. No, it's not errands. errands. My cartoon problem errands was are worse fun. than this. It's when you just you set out to do something so, so satisfying and so, so easy and for no reason it just becomes an impossibility. I know. My lights, uh, power went out, light doesn't go on. How does a hardware store not make keys anymore? You gotta go to Amazon. I can't get that fucking Honda key. You have to go to a special place for it. And I finally found a place. And I had to go to some, like, weird fucking, like, Middle Eastern shop. And I don't know what they charged me, but it definitely was too much. I'm like, how much do I get the key? They go, oh, to program key, eh, yeah. $250. I'm like, that sounds wrong, but I can't get it made anywhere <sighs> right, else, man. so fuck it. Just do it. And I said, can I get one of these, like, key fobs? Can you throw that in? And he's like, $5. I'm like, well, all right. Never, you know, like, the little thing you put on it so you know which key it is. I just have, like, um... It's just like a, 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 the problem moves around now. Yeah. The lights were all off. The fuse was blown. So I swapped the fuse. Then the, um, then the 
the Wi-Fi light switch wouldn't connect to the internet, no. so I had to go do another few. Then I did that fuse, and then the garbage disposal now doesn't work. And I'm like, ah, oh, you know, it's just if I fix New that, something else day. will be. Yeah. So once I get tired of that, not like really fed up, I'll just go swap it to something else that doesn't work. People are saying no to go deal. to the Honda dealership. Yeah. Well, that's the problem. If you want to get raped? That's the well. First of all, yeah, like probably Matt would have been double He's the price. Get raped by Riley. I think I, I think I ended up getting a deal. I don't think I paid two fifty. I think I paid like eighty, which is still retarded. But if you get it at a Honda dealership, it's like three hundred. Yeah. Uh, how dare I? I shouldn't have tried to get a deal. That's another problem. Trying to get a deal and just end up uh, fucking you know yourself. What, the problem is that shame you feel telling people how much you paid because some fucking idiot is going to say, "Oh, you paid too much." Yeah. I could have done So you that. always cut it down. Like, oh, how much? That. You got your car fixed? How much was it? Uh, they paid me 10 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> they said, oh, I would have paid you 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you would have. Price shame. Failing to complete a simple errand. That's my problem. Okay. Guys, don't forget to vote on all the problems. Uh -oh. That biggest Here problem. Got no, 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 no. We're not there yet. <laughs> vote on all the we problems. Stop it with this shit. <laughs> Vote on all the problems at Biggest Problem That Show. And we have a very exciting bonus episode. I think one of our best bonus episodes. Yeah, that was funny. The Biggest Problem in China, available at patreon.com slash biggest problem. I was going to propose. Oh, wait a minute. I have something to, to play. It's okay. Eric July stuff. Cool. Um, what were you going to propose? I was going to propose that, you know how everyone keeps making Eric July comics and animations and whatever else? Yeah. And they keep sending them to us, and they keep not uh, getting mad that our three-hour show. You're talking about the death guy. Doesn't have room for yeah. The did, death device on guy. Did he send us? A he me sent me. He said, "I worked for five hours on that, bro. At least you could read it." And I said, "Oh man, I'm but, gonna assume that was sarcastic. I, I do want to read it, but you know, I don't know how to explain to you guys that when everyone is said, "Hey, I made a funny Eric Jai thing," I go, "That's awesome. I love it. Like, yeah, can post you, it. Can you watch it and read it and whatever else?" I'm like, "Oh, I got like a lot I'll of stuff try, to do. Man. I'll try to make time you for it." You understand that asking someone to read your script is like the biggest ask in the world. It's a big. I've had. Yeah, it's worth. It's at the I've, same level of take me to the airport. So I'm gonna assume that you're joking. <laughs> yeah, good joke. I was, I was going to suggest maybe we could do a bonus episode and just knock out a bunch of this Eric July associated media. The biggest problem in I saw memes. And just knock them all out. Everybody, nah. we could see them all. Nah. We're going to do something with them. I don't we'll know. We'll read them. We'll read, we'll read them. them, man. Keep okay, so this in. is, I just, uh, I just learned of this. Okay. This was the first. This was the like the first interaction you had with Eric July. I think this is the only time I've talked to Eric July. I had never seen this before. In, in, with voice. And this is before the entire feud started. Eric's feud with me. I have. There's no beef here. Right. Eric's just lashing out at me because he wrote a bad comic. I don't know. I can't explain. This it. is very. This is very ancient history, and I never brought it up because I was always like, I didn't think it was. I saw this I and was incensed immediately yeah uh because you call into his show as a hater right he's monetizing he's mo you. It's, it was his monetize my haters segment, and he goes out of his way after a, a long conversation you have with him about promoting being a creator online yeah. he mutes you vindictively and maliciously play it play, I'm, play yeah, it I'm gonna, so i have a bunch of them. don't spoil it though but i want to explain to people the context of this he mutes you when you try to promote yourself right when you just when you just mention that you have something, he mutes you for no reason, and he has this fucking smug look on his face. I'd also say I was in my car; I was unable to watch the show, so I didn't know this was happening. At so the he's time. just doing it, and you're talking like you're just talking yeah, just about. Having, I just thought I was having a conversation, of. and everyone afterwards was like, "Oh man, Eric July totally owned that guy," and I'm like, "Oh, I thought we were just like I'm gonna ramp it up big time now. I didn't know about this." <laughs> He got me good, I guess. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I got three clips of this. Okay. You they see someone like myself who comes in and and, and you know gives gives his kind of interpretation of of uh, of, of comic books, the American and told in like the American like storytelling kind of way. Um, or Total gibberish, like a fucking moron. Okay, here here we go. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. No, no, go ever and people are enthusiastic certainly about that. Um, and they and that's a, that's a good thing. Like I say, that's an awesome thing. There's going to inevitably be people that see that and also do great things from it because of they're they're inspired or maybe there was an idea that that was given to them um, by way of something it was that I did, you know, or didn't do for that matter. Maybe it's yeah. something that I didn't do, and they think that they can do better and they do better and they see more success. So 
Um, I, yeah. I think it's it's well, it's I'll not. Say this. Uh, so, sorry. Yeah. I'll, and, and real quick, just so you know, I'm driving. So if I cut in and out, I'm sorry. I'm actually on the way to do my own podcast. There's the mute. Oh, yeah, that was what I tried to... Uh, I guess what I want to say is, Eric, I very much appreciate the spirit of independent creation. I think it's very exciting. I want there to be more indie creators doing it. Uh, that was a, a, a mute that he did. Right. That was not your phone cutting out. No, that was me saying, I'm on my way to do my podcast, The Biggest Problem in the Universe. Uh-huh. Uh, Instantly on the mute button. Right, because he, he did not one. want anyone to know the name of my podcast. Uh-huh. Okay. Here. I don't know if you are a creative person at all, but the audio, the, the video is like, fuck. God fucking damn this shit. Uh huh. VLC is what you use? Yeah. What do you use? Media Player Classic? Uh. Which you don't have. Oh, uh, I wish I did. Try VLC again, though. No. I think you just need to reboot it. God damn it. Is there supposed That's to be something video? Yeah. Uh, like that you do? I don't know. It's just this fucking thing. There, okay. There you got it. It'll go. Whatever you feel like is certainly best for your your project. If that's something uh, like that you do or do not want to do, um, about the, when I talk about the decentralized kind of economy, certainly in entertainment, I encourage you to do that. So if there's something that you want to do or you think that you should, that so this is the like way that it like should be done. People, I encourage right, you to right? go ahead and do. Uh, do that, but like, well, that is, it's, I'm glad you bring that up because that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm currently working on a comic book called You Can View at Super. It's just Look at his fucking face. It's hey, really I, weird. This is what it is. I'm trying to help everybody, and I do encourage you to whatever you do is what it is that I'm doing. If you happen to be creative in the distributed, yeah, so there you go. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm working on a comic. <laughs> it's uh, um, what a cocksucker. What a total what, cocksucker. What, what, <laughs> what a fucking puke porn fetishist co Fuck Eric. Yeah. Uh, well, like, you know, I came on. I, you know, I, I told you're you. You're making content. I'm making content. He says, you know, hey, if you, know, you want to make, uh, if you think there's a better way to do it, I encourage you to do so. And I basically said, well, I'm glad you, you say that. Uh, you know, here's how I think comics should be made. I'm working on a book called, you know, and then I get dumped Dead. out. Because I'm trying to talk about what I think comics should be, which is like a cool story and not a bunch of culture war. You're bullshit. monetizing me, bro. You can't even let me like you're calling oh, me I can't an make, idiot. Yeah. Like, you can't uh, let's even be let real. me plug my thing. Is anyone really gonna listen to that and hear the name of my comic book and then they're gonna go, "Oh, I'm gonna go give him money"? No, it's your audience. I'm not like gonna make. Oh, 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 he's trying to use me to sell his book. What do you care? First of all, because it's not gonna. I'm not trying to sell. I know I'm not gonna sell books to your audience. I'm on there telling them that the reason they're buying your comic book is. So you'd rather have dead air, yeah. like because your audience likes this. Well, also they like he that seems you're like fucking annoyed. him over. He thinks it's like anno He's like I'm fucking with him to mention the product I'm working on after he gives me a lead. This in. dead eyed motherfucker. Yeah, and like his all all the comments were like, "Oh, you really showed that guy, Eric." They like this, and I'm yeah. like, "All right, so these guys are just morons, because they're fat and ugly." Like that's Sturge, why I never talked. Yeah. is a fucking sickening looking person. I never talked about this on the show. He looks like he belongs yeah. in a horror house. Like he looks like an inbred fat hillbilly. He looks like he doesn't have knees. <laughs> that's what Sturgis looks like. He's if you're, fucking if you're, disgusting. If your best support, if your top supporter is a guy like Sturgis, you've done something wrong. You fucked up. I never brought this up on the show, though, because I didn't think it was funny. It was just kind of like, funny. oh, Eric July is like an asshole. And I was like, well, that's not interesting for the show. I just, whatever. So, Look, with a great story. That was all mute time, and yeah. he makes a big show of going over and unmuting you. Called, you can He's just like a huge asshole. I guess you lost that control, buddy. You needed the control, and you lost it. Look, with a great story. Yeah, I'm talking about how the story is exciting, and I want to talk about the Biting story. Biting his fucking nails like a bitch. By, he's, so, yeah. he's so bothered by... Let me just... Like a fucking supervillain with his oral fixation, because he wants to suck a cock. <laughs> right Sucking now, uh, on his fingers like he wants to suck a guy's penis. He's silenced me, and all I'm saying is I'm like, I think the way you get people excited about your comics, Eric, is to talk about the comic, not talk about... Marvel and DC are fucking up. Right. Okay, well, why does that make yours good? Right. Uh, we will win. What are you going to win? Who are you winning against? Why don't you just tell me who the characters are and what the story is? This was before Isom had ever come out. 
and I like said, what Null's doing right now. Yeah, and I said, I think what's, ex- <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I'm working on a, a comic, and I'm focused on making the story fun, and the c- character's good, and that's how I want to sell it. I think what you're doing is the same thing as Skittles going, hey, it's gay Skittles! And you're like, oh, well, did the Skittles taste different? Are they better? They're gay now! And he said like, gay, and he started sucking on his fingers because he wants to suck the cum out of a guy's nuts. What's weird is I hadn't listened to this in the longest time, and I finally went back and listened to it because uh, Ethan was listening to it, and I'm like, I feel like I was like really nice on that call. I was like, Eric, what you're, you're doing? Way, yeah, you're a nice guy, though. Yeah, but I was like, I was like, look, I think the way you're marketing it is bullshit. I get that you're leaning into it because it makes you a bunch of money. But at the end of the day, you can't get mad when guys like me go, okay, but you got to put up or shut up. Like your marketing's really exciting for people who care about the culture war. But uh, I think if you want to grow this business, you also have to have a great product. And you're not talking about the product; you're only talking about the culture war. And he goes, yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying. And then the second I'm off the call, he goes, fuck that fucking busted ass. And I'm like, I don't care. No, I don't care about that. I only care about the muting. Yeah. Because he's like, he's like, uh, it's very disrespectful. Like I have people call in. You just, you don't, you don't mute them for the only thing they get out of it. Right. Like they're giving you an argument. You can prove your. You made money on this video. You monet again. It's monetize your haters. You're getting super chats. You're getting ad revenue. But you have to this like. This is like make setting up sure. a hidden camera in the bathroom. Yeah. Like, what are you he doing? He has to make here, sure man? not a single person heard the name of my comic book or my podcast because I might make a dollar. And the idea of helping me make a dollar is uh, odious to this he gets guy. Gets himself horny, who's starts made, sucking his fingers made, off like he's blowing a guy. He probably made a couple hundred bucks off this stream, and he's like, "Oh, but you can't promote your comic on my stream." That well, would, let's keep listening. That would uh, that would emasculate him. You can do at super. Yeah, I wanted people to see my comic. They could compare it to he his. Looks exactly looks like Maddox. Story. That dead eyed stare. Sucking on Why his fingers like a child. Because he's so gay. Weird. He's got an oral fixation. Meyer, he's a homosexual. Been, uh, driven into the ground, and people are being worked up into a frothing mess over it. We're now cheering that uh, movies and cartoons are getting canceled because they might have been woke. I saw yesterday. Uh, heel versus Babyface is excited. He's wearing a bra, the Batman too, I think. The Batman series got canceled because it's woke. <laughs> Frankly, These guys depress uh, this me, kind man. of rhetoric seems to be about canceling well, Yeah, because they're like anti-art. Rather than they're not. Them up. They talk about, like, we need to, like, create more stuff and, like, whatever. But then, like, all day long, they're like, I hope this show gets canceled because it's going to be woke. I hope this yeah. cartoon gets canceled because it's going to be woke. I'm like... I don't know, man. I'd rather just like see it and determine that after the fact. I'm not going to go, oh, they hired a bunch of black people, so that means it's definitely going to suck. Well, and they post the meme. Are Look, they writing about blackulas or you got to give a you got about content. You got to give projects the... a fair. Sp- I think it's fine to say, okay, this looks. I'm like... about to mute you. You're saying stupid. No, stuff. okay. Look, if it's a, like a gender swap, woke swap, yeah, I get it. But like again, there was a Batman animated series follow up coming out from Bruce Tim, the guy who created Batman the animated series. Was there a bunch of women on it though? <laughs> no, that's not what it was. It was like setting. Got to say, one hundred percent women free. It's basically all they said was, "Listen, we're setting it during this kind of like nineteen twenties, like uh, what what was that era called? Golden like the age. jazz, yeah, golden age, like jazz era or whatever. Yeah, and they're like, but the boom, yeah, but they're like, but it's not going to like have the same racial makeup as that. No, out done. But it's not get actually it, get rid of it. I trash, don't think it was trash. A, <laughs> a league of their own. Oh yeah, who's going to be in it? A bunch of black chicks and they're all gay. Done. Get it out of here. I think they were saying that it's not exactly the 1920s. It's a 1920s themed, you know, thing. What's so the theme? Black people. <laughs> black people were around in the 1920s. It's just that instead of just having them as bellhops and fucking jazz no, singers, Boardwalk Empire they might did do it other good. stuff. Board, Boardwalk Empire did it well. Okay. Did you see that show? No, actually. Nucky Thompson? I have not seen oh, Boardwalk Empire. Oh, that show Empire. was great. A lot of good diversity. Good diversity in that one. I have a buddy who looks exactly like a young Steve Buscemi, and he almost he was this close to playing young Steve Buscemi on Boardwalk Empire, and I'm still torn up that it didn't happen. Uh, the rising tide raises all ships. All right? Yeah. Did I get that backwards? No, that yeah, that's that's what people do. Uh, that's what that's what people have said, and people a lot of people have seen boost um, from even the Ice on Project. God, how do you fuck up basic grammar? <laughs> yeah, that's what people do. Uh, that's what people have said. A lot of people do be say that <laughs> their tide is what it is. What is what, what is, a retard? Why do people think this guy is like a great mind? It's so weird. Because they're stupid. Because they get, like yeah. guys like No Knees Sturgis. Well, then, yeah, a guy looks like, like he stinks. A guy like Hale Delore goes, I think it's just the tone of voice. He sounds confident. Sounding confident, 
even when you're honestly, it's because they have uh, they have like repressed uh, racism. Yeah, where they want to the bigotry uh, of low expectations. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've never heard a black guy say they so have many weird words. Sexual fantasies about it. Sure. Already, like again, a gay bell tie, even his thing that he does that I have no connection to with truth, justice, justice in the American way. Uh, we saw Chuck Dixon and his project uh, get funded. He came on my show. Um, yeah, with the Ninja Hunter Bear deal, he came on my show. Uh, we talked about that. We ended up getting that funded uh, as well. So yeah, like all of this, what you, what you, you know, hey, I hope you lift up. The, we've already done that. So we, we've been there and done that. So fantastic. Well, Eric, I'm gonna have to cut this short again. I'm about to go nice. do my power podcast. Oh. Was that a power move? I'm gonna say this. He, I'm gonna have to cut this short. Yeah, that's yeah, power. He move. dumped the uh, the biggest problem name again. I did have to cut it short. Sure, it was a big power move. I planned it. I'm very smart. It is a power move. Sometimes you gotta cut. I gotta cut. Yeah. Look, I gotta look. I'm done with you. <laughs> uh, and then he cuts it off immediately. Guy. I don't like the political stuff. That is why I have been hesitant. Take the politics to out of comic books. Uh, your success, which is very based in a political sphere, but I'm Playing hoping that that's not all you are. I'm hoping that it's a great book. I'm hoping that. Uh, you do be, uh, manage to create a parallel economy that celebrates indie creators, because that is you also help that, something you? I am very excited about. So let's I'll put it this it way. I'm, uh, I'm hesitantly optimistic after our conversation. Sweet. Sounds good to I me. Wanna, I hope that what you have said is, is truly what's in your heart. And I tell you what, Eric, I want to send you when my comic's done. <laughs> Cuts it. I want to send him a free you know, comic. Sucks. Sweet. I would appreciate your input as a fellow creator. Sweet. Sweet. Sounds good. Sweet. All right. God bless Eric. Here, uh, here. I look forward to fighting with you on Twitter some more. Uh, that, uh, that won't happen, but yeah, uh -huh. peace out. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, we're not going to fight on Twitter anymore, Hank. Especially not now that you blocked me, but I mean, you're fighting with everybody but me. Let's what put it that a way. Fucker. The point I was trying to make to him was. Uh, Okay, man. Yeah, you raised four million dollars for an indie comic. Um, yeah, but you talk about all this. We all know the point. Okay, fine. We all know the point. He's not helping people. Did you bring this up just to? <laughs> I can't. To what? He's not helping people. Yeah. Well, what's the point? I mean, you just said it. We're listening to you say it. I know. I don't know. I don't know what the point is. Rising tide lifts all. The ships. point is that I'm making is I don't think any of these people care about art. I think they just see it oh, as a product. Think? Well, yeah, but that drives me fucking insane. <laughs> and they go, they, they, they all go, oh, we got to fix movies. And I go, well, how would we fix them? And they're like, uh, making them more about, you know, our politics. Put me in it. Yeah, put me in put it. Put me in it. Making more about what we believe. And I'm like, well, that's not fixing it. It's just going to be bad in a different way. And like, Grant. Grant. Yo, so calling in about this last week's episode. I just think it's uh, pretty funny that Vito brings in uh, uh -huh. like AI deniers or whatever is a pro whatever AI something, and how he was crying because a computer can make a video of a dog, mm -hmm. um, but he doesn't believe that a computer could swap around a couple votes, which by definition would be fraud. Just pretty interesting to me. Go fuck yourself. I didn't. So. <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna say that. It's not that a computer can't swap votes around. Okay, <laughs> I've never said that. So the computer can make a dog video, but you're like, oh, but vote swapping—that'd be crazy. Okay, what if I said I think Trump purposefully hacked the voting machines to lose himself the election because he thought that uh, being an outcast would result in uh, more clout and popularity. We should do an audit to make sure that to throw Trump in jail. Is it not? An, is it not an equally more valid uh, supposition? I believe. Yeah, I think that might have happened. Let's do an audit. Okay. Let's audit the machine. So the voter, the voter fraud could have went in any direction. Maybe. Yeah. He, so let's audit the machine. Maybe machines. he really didn't want to be president. I agree. So let's audit the machines. Okay. I have no problem. Oh, with are you okay with that? I have no problem with auditing, with auditing the, machines. the machines. I don't care. Okay. So let's you and me go find the person who's stopping the audit. Who's stopping the audit? Dominion. Dominion is and the the, Ge the Georgia Arizona and whatever uh, state electors board state election committee has has the we're getting big bucks has from Dominion been, has there been any uh, what what has been the attempt to audit the votes uh, shut down who, and, and who asked to audit them 
people? What do you mean? No, citizens. Like who? Trump? Uh, I don't know. Trump's filed a lot of lawsuits. A lot of people filed a lot of lawsuits. I don't know. You so got to go to that audit site, them, but you can't name who's trying to audit. Here, them. okay. Here is the evidence.com. There. This is all the lawsuits mm -hmm. related to the election. Okay. You're smug already. You don't even know what it is, and you're smug. I've been you're preemptively smug. I do know smug. what it is. I what is do it? know what it is. What is it? It's a website full of like mostly complete bullshit. What's uh, Wisconsin Supreme Court rules the executive branch misused, uh, indefinitely confirmed. That's bullshit. Confined. Confined. Sorry. Okay. Website on a nice 403 right. well, that's error immediately. That's the very first link is a 403. <laughs> the top fucking. Here's link. the evidence, guys. You fucked me. You fucked me. You fucking. You fucked me. You fucking idiots. <laughs> that could not have God been better. God damn it. That could not have been better. God damn Here's it. Here's the evidence, Vito. Dead link. <laughs> okay. Pennsylvania court. Secretary of State lacked authority to change deadline two days before election day. There you go. Okay. Stolen. Fraud. You're right. But you don't think I'm right. No, no, you're right. It's stolen. You don't think so. They, I'm glad Eric Sly muted you now. They stole it. It's been <laughs> stolen. Uh, okay, here we go. Ben. Oh, oh, my God. God. It's following you. Yeah, you have to take all of our fucking jobs. Oh, my Come on, dude. What the fuck? What? Bro, calm the fuck down. About you know what's going to happen with this new AI video shit <laughs> that can only produce Isn't every fucking voicemail? Of fucking no, video? I don't know. I don't know why. Did you, hold telling. on. Did you label this the niggler because you heard the screaming at the beginning and you assumed it was yeah, the niggler? Yeah, I only listened to like five seconds. <laughs> this is not the niggler. Oh, it's not? <laughs> no, it's just some guy yelling. Okay, this one says, don't shave me, though. Okay. I don't know where the niggler is. He's hanging out with Captain M. Dick, don't fucking shame Vito for stealing. Vito's bravery against the establishment has inspired myself to do the exact same. I feel like I've done something wrong if I if I don't walk out with something in my pocket from a fucking store, even if it's just those fucking. Yeah, but Vito know, got caught. That's why. That that's what's once. funny. Once strips that you put shit on the wall because I'm a fucking nerd and have a bunch of uh, shit on my wall. Uh, I fucking, the best thing to do is I go to Walmart when I'm getting a prescription <laughs> for my grandmother, yeah. you know, but with that, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, you walk right up there with whatever the fuck you want to steal. They ask you if you need to check that out, too. You say, nope, I'm still going to go grocery shopping. And you walk out. Okay, we, you don't word. need to you call in with your shoplifting you tips. That's not the show either. Don't pull everything out and boom. Shoplift like, Vito. Yeah. Vito. Yeah. It's not an economical thing. I made more money than I ever made in my entire life. Hot shoplift. Fuck them. You know, they they a lot for a certain amount of thievery and fucked up product. Yeah, they all, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right. Good for you. Don't steal. Just let me do it. Uh, okay. Vito, you fucking idiot. You need to learn how to hammer dick on the fallacies he's making. Okay. Because he is sounding a complete retard, and you are just Softball replying to him. You need to get serious about shutting down the shit he's saying that is just ridiculous. Okay. There's no basis in reality. You sound like a fucking idiot because he's able to walk all over you with this bullshit. The frustrating part is I know Dick is the one that listens to these voicemails or at least reads the transcripts. Never going to pull this one, but on the off no, chance you hear it, Vito, you. get your shit together because it's ridiculous. Right. Why don't you wrong guys... Wrong about that, just like he's wrong about the election stealing. See, Dick has, like, this little network of assholes who send him, like, little things for the show. You no, know, I like, don't. Hey, Dick, you can really uh, hammer Vito if you bring in this stat. So, uh, you know, my Twitter DMs are open. If anyone ever wants to tell me how to destroy, v uh, destroy Dick, uh, please do. Uh, let me see. You know, there was, I, I, I think Dick wanted to read voicemails, but I want to hear what people have to say about French onion dip real quick. This is important to me. Hey, Dick. Hey, Vito. Hey, I just want to let you know, I tried that, uh, French onion dip recipe you were talking about, Vito. That's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff. There you go. All right, later. There you go. Little, uh, one of those normal little, little like squat container of sour cream, package of, uh, onion soup mix. 
and you got yourself a perfect French onion. Guys, uh, please vote on all the problems at Biggest Problem That Show. Please. Uh, if you haven't signed up for memberships, we have memberships available now. I think they're active. Uh, as If anyone signed up as a member, thank you. I think it's supposed to tell me if someone signs up as a member. Does that show up in the Super Chat and Sticker activity? Hold on. Memberships. Uh, are Your membership offers. So wait, are memberships? Oh, wait, we do have members. Okay. How does it tell? Because whenever, whenever, what's his name? Oh, my God. Holy shit. Wow. What the fuck? You should have made it more. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You guys joined when it was it was <laughs> not enough money. Uh, I thought three dollars was like, you know, that's not a deal. Well, it's just emojis it's and not cool even one stuff. cheeseburger. I mean, you're supposed to read members though. We gotta thank our new members. That's what Ethan always does, right? No, I'll read it. Uh, you gotta I'll just read burn every it. fucking no, no. Read the super chat. We're not first. gonna get fifty. Don't just read everybody's fucking name. That's boring okay, as shit. Hold on, shut up. No, shut up. no, no, hold, no, sh no. Da, 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 da. I will, no. Hold, shut up. You are not reading everybody's name. I am going to read just the tier two members. That is the five. No, you have to do level. super chats first. Do not just read names. <laughs> that is so fucking boring. All right. No way. Does it show? You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> I mean, I want to recognize them somehow. After. Okay. People after. will hate them if you do that. I will read the name, the mem the new members after the show. Uh, to your on the on the drive home. Uh, drive home. <laughs> All right. Hold you on, make wait, a, you make on, a good hold point. On, hold on. Let me make sure. Okay. Because uh, there's a five dollar tier where theoretically you get access to, I think clips. You'll get access to them before they go live if you're at the five dollar tier. Oh wow! Only like Juicy. only like a couple hours oh, early. Okay, clip. shut up. This clip that's already public. I, I also made a fifty dollar tier called the Mac Club, uh, for which you get, I don't know, a shout out. We say hi. That's yeah. it. You'll, Rita will read get your name as a fifty joke. times. I'll read the name fifty times. <laughs> no, I will not. That would definitely destroy the show. Okay, Kufer 2, thank you all for not killing yourselves. You're welcome. Kicks Mechanic for 5. Nice W on Kicker, uh, kicker Keep, gentlemen. Oh, Allah. yeah. Bless you two, Chads. That was a while ago. Actually, it was probably only two weeks ago it at was, this point. It was, yeah. Koof We've been told doing me, a lot of stuff. We have been. Koof told me to tell you, thank you for not killing yourselves. Rest in peace, Too Mad. Too Mad is dead. Uh, R.I.P. Antagonist for two. Fixed the song and in, emailed with outro song in subject. Yeah, I got, I got it. I was gonna say our intro needs like different music. N well, maybe, but it needs twenty seconds of no music before the timer even starts, because you always start the. What the fuck? Because you start the stream. I always try to start it over, and you're like, "Don't start it over. We got to start the show. It's already late." <laughs> you do say that. Okay, but I'm saying you switch it over at like four minutes and thirty seconds into the countdown. So when you start the video, it's like a song, like we're midway through a song. You don't hear the beginning of the song. So there should be like 10 seconds of silence before the song and the, the counter starts. No, then people are going to think their audio is busted. No, nobody needs the fucking, it's nobody just gives seconds. a shit. No one gives a shit if they start that song in the middle. I care. But then they're going to go, oh, is the sound up? And they're going to crank it up and go, Boof. It'll it only be in. like five seconds, and then the song no, starts. No, you're right this now. Is, this the is song a mistake. No, I'm right not now, switching it. Right now, the song starts immediately. That's good. No, just give it five seconds of silence, and then no start one, the song. No one needs to hear. Deeder, deeder. Like they that's not that important. They it's just supposed to be noise before the show. I think. I'm not putting a 20 second <laughs> fucking delay on the audio. What a small delay. Why does no. it? Have to, why does the music have to start exactly at zero? Because it's a. It's just like Muzak. It's like there to be background music. Okay, to amp when you, you up. When you go and you're like, oh, let me listen to this episode. You it's click that fucking it. Metallica. Dun, dun, dun. No, but I'm saying you want to come in and then the song starts. No, it feels it doesn't like the matter. beginning of a show. It doesn't matter. You just you load it and then you skip to whenever the countdown says. Oh, I got to skip five minutes in. Done. No one listens to it. They're annoyed. It's just for live people. I'll call Nell right now. Give his <laughs> fucking opinion. Sometimes I just let you go. Sometimes I just just let you go and see where it goes. Riley Edwards for two. Fun fact: the Nigerosaurus has five hundred teeth. I said Niger. It's even worse. Uh, Wet Bandit for two says, "What about the other slur?" So another kind of dinosaur. Death Anchor for two. Why you gotta kick me while he's okay, guys? Slurs. 
How much nothing did it do? Slash yeah. you in how much nothing could a dent? I'm not doing that one. Dominic for two. You we're on time for once. Dominic for two. Were. I fucking hate autocorrect. Still fucked uh, it up. Dominic, you idiot. Snaps for two Australians. Somebody is playing Pacific Drive. Ryan Moeller for 10. Interesting way to start the show. I blamed Vito. Oh, that was because we screwed up the intro and we were talking about nothing. Hopefully this week we can begin weight loss. Ooh, what do we think? Let me do a let me do a poll. Well, what did Vito I weigh? Gonna what do? did I weigh last week? I have it on my app. Wasn't it two ninety one or something? Uh, the poll. First of all, Tony losing less than two hundred pounds it will happen before Superkiller comes out. Comes wow, out. Wow, man! For some reason. They're saying that you. It's not a race. Will not get. It's not a race. It is a race. Medicare correctly pointed out that your comic being late reflects poorly on upon me. It does. And you're not. You don't seem don't to be like motivated. You, so why would I? Yeah, that's not a motivation. You're giving Andy and PPP an easy win by not getting. They it already out. had an easy win. All they had to do was make fun of the script. Well, I said they won. I can't believe he gave his artist reference material. Can you believe this man? Also, I think this scene involving a grown adult woman with big pedophile. tits is a reference to pedophilia. And I went, you know what? I just can't win with these fucking people. No, I think you might be uh, obsessed with child fucking. All of these people are. Okay, I brought this up to you before the show. There was one comment where someone went, yeah, I read the script. I don't think it's that bad. And another guy went, I heard there's a scene with a, a naked uh, woman. Does anyone know the age of that woman? <laughs> and I went, can you guys just assume? Literally, no. Can you guys assume... <laughs> That if I made a comic book, I didn't just randomly put child pornography in it. This is like, can you can you just assume that even even let's assume that I loved that lolly shit or whatever else that I would be at least be smart enough to go. Well, I probably should not put it in my comic Here's book that is going to be dissected by a hundred people who all call me a pedophile every day. That at least I have that much self awareness, right? Can you assume that about my character? I'm gonna hop in the shower. Hey, no, this. Uh, oh man, this hot chick flashed me on the freeway. How old was she? How old was she? <laughs> you know what else is funny? Somebody was like, "Please tell me Vito put the ages in the script." And the very first page of the script says, "Here's how old every character is." 22. Again, for the artist, so they know it's like a <laughs> lady in her mid twenties. Twenties. Yeah. So I can uh, not. But lose. how old do they look? How old do they? They could have look? looked twelve. Right. They might. It depends. It doesn't matter what age. Wait, it wait, says wait. In I wasn't script. doing the poll. I oh, wasn't okay. done doing the poll. You're do a poll. Um. So I'm gonna lose that. Man, if Tony loses two hundred pounds before the super comes out, he's gonna lose two hundred pounds. He's gonna go under two hundred pounds. That would be devastating for you. No, he wouldn't. I don't care at that's all. That's shameful. It's not shameful. Because you fucked. Because that's how much weight you were supposed to lose. And you didn't. I'm going to make the argument that uh, Tony is able to lose weight by doing one thing himself. I have to coordinate a team of people, and there's only so much I can do. A team of people? A team of people. Who, you and Me, the artist? the artist, Who the else? colorist, the letterer, the editor. Well, who's the editor? There's at least five people. Who's the editor? I'm not, I don't know if they want their name known. What are yet. they editing? Uh, they look at the. They looked at the script. They look at the storyboards. This is uh, somebody who's worked for the big two, and they go, "Oh well, this panel. I think you need a, an establishing shot. We don't know uh, uh, okay. where they're at right what now." What about the cancer thing? What do they think about that? Mr. Girl's right. He's I have brought up the cancer right. thing. He's dead right. At first, I do was, you really believe that? You were gaslighting me into thinking that Mr. Girl was stupid, but then when you said it on the show, and I had to be honest. I realize that Mr. Girl's a smart it's guy. It's not that he's stupid. Look, I understand his theory as to why. It's right. It's not right. It's different. I'm going to pretend that she has cancer. Okay, pretend that, that she, she knows, has cancer. Like Breaking Bad. She could also get cancer, but she's probably not going to get cancer. I she, think she will suffer. She will have some sort of, uh, you know, trauma. cancer type of? I understand wanting. Well, here's the other. Th uh, it's tough. It's tough to figure out. I just want it because it's a woman, and I want something bad to okay, happen Okay, that's why you want it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I think it's that, uh, this idea that, like, well, they would make the character have more uh, dimensions if they're suffering with this. And I'm like, yeah. No, but, that's not why. Well, that's why Mr. Girl wants it. And I'm like, I think you can have that, but I keep bringing up Luke Skywalker. It's like, what is Luke? He had Luke cancer. No, but his trauma was, when we meet Luke Skywalker. Parents got killed. Yeah, but we see that. It's yeah. not like a pre-existing thing. She should get cancer in the like the first 10 pages. Something can happen to her that will be the trauma that happens. But you need that, though. But you don't have to start the book off with Luke Skywalker's parents dead. You, you can do start kill his parents movie. in the book. 
No, it has to be right away. Okay, I'll just start. Well, it's the fucking first thing that happens to Luke. He's it's like, not oh, the first thing that up. happens to I'm Luke. I'm gonna fuck up. I kind of want to do this. I'm gonna go, but then I'm done. And he comes back and he's like, oh shit, my whole fucking my whole world is destroyed. I guess I better go. Oh, my whole is that not what happens? My whole world is destroyed. Personal world. That's a that's a that's a trauma that a character might have to yes, deal with before <laughs> he decides to do it. Before, Mister fucking guy. All I right, get it. I get it. You want to make your poll about what me being poll? fat or whatever it is? I, I don't even what the poll remember was. what it was. Can someone super chat me what the poll was? Uh, no, hold on. The poll was. Go back to the super chats. No, remember no, it. never mind. Uh, Pacific. Never okay. mind. Great, Ryan Muller for ten. Interesting way to start the show. I blame Vito. Hopefully, this way week, week we can begin weight loss. Okay. Uh, Mint Salad is here. Says there's Carl's next cringe of the week. Was it us stopping the show, starting the show? Carl with his gay frosted tips. Did you see that? I did see that. I don't think I don't think they were frosted <laughs> enough. I think he I don't think he got the right frosted tips. Frosted tips is supposed to be the in sync thing where you have the hair gel as well, so each tip is individually frosted. Hmm. I think he, I think he punked out. I think he got Wait, the what? I think, think he got he the poor out? man's frosted tips. Huh. Can we should, can you bring up Carl's frosted tips? Do we have a picture of it? Let's see. I'm gonna look up the ones I'm thinking of. Carl Frosted Tips. Wouldn't it be on his uh, Twitter? Um, here he is. All right, bring it up. Wow, look at that. That's a good-looking pic. Wait, where is he? That's not – oh, that's Frosted Tips Carl? That's Carl, But where's yeah, the Frosted that, Tips? Is that not Carl? That's that's like a mock-up. I don't think that's actually it. That's it's not Carl. him. That's AI. What do you mean AI? That's Carl. That's what Carl looks like. <laughs> that's not him. He got it done. That's an actual picture of him. That's a mock-up. Yeah, this is, he always wears this. No, spotted. that's not him. Hi. That's, <laughs> that's like Lance Bass with fucking Carl's face so on it. So it's a straighter version of Carl. All right. Uh, Frosted Tips Carl. That's from three weeks ago. That's the same exact picture we just looked at. Go to his Twitter and just hit the media tab. Uh... uh Twitter.com slash who are these podcasts? Uh, huh. Okay. F- bunch of garbage. Right, take it off for a second. Twitter.com slash who are these pod. Yeah, that one. Okay. Look, our feud with who are these podcasts, we're going to beat them at some point. Okay. Th- these are his frosted tips. This is bullshit. How is that frosted tips? How is it not? What are you talking about? This is frosted tips. Each How ha- is that not the same as that? Because look, each hair is That's not in- going to work. It's individually tipped. It's like you have to spike the hair. What the fuck are you talking what about? What are the That's- tips here? You fucked up the color of my camera by doing that. I'm sorry. Now you're doing it again. I fixed it. Um, what do you mean every individual hair? You're supposed. It's supposed to be. It's like you take hair gel and then you have like all these little spiky spikes. Tips. No spikes. He went to a stylist. Yeah, and they fucked it up. All they did was. Uh, uh, bleached the top of his he hair. He did tell me he didn't suck. He didn't enjoy sucking the stuff. He didn't suck their dick. That must be why. Literally, just type in frosted tips and show what frosted tips look like. No. Okay. I'm done. Fine. He, I don't think he did it. I think uh, that I think the WATP listeners should they got uh, chipped. Got chipped. Uh, let's see here. Oh, how do we end up all the way? Because if I resize it, it fucks it up. Okay, so I gotta go all the way down. There's Carl's next cringe of the week. Dominic for five. Where's that comic book I paid a hundred dollars for? By the way, no shipping. Yeah, too. when's it coming out? Yeah, very. If soon. it's not, bro, you have to take it seriously. I am taking it seriously. But you're not. When is the when is the date? It's out by. You have to at least set a date to fuck up. That's the deal. You can't say it's coming out whenever. You got to say it's coming out by September. I believe it will be out in the summer. Summer's a big talking. Some of it's gonna come down to here. Here's here's the thing: is um, August eighth. Okay. Well, I don't have that. Uh, what I will say is this: uh, just because right now printing and like shipping stuff overseas takes forever, I think what'll happen is we'll have the digital copy ready to go. So you're gonna get that before the physical copy. All the backers will get sent like a digital PDF, so you can read it right away. And the printing might take a little bit more time. I don't know exactly. No, you got to hold that digital version off until the thing gets. Why? Because everyone's gonna fucking rip it apart. Yeah, and then the 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 physical one shows up and you're like, eh. You well, wait. 
I might also just give like the first half. To, well, not the first half, but there's like a there's like a first act. So I might give the first act out digitally to backers and be like, well, here you can read this now and the. It's a learning process. The first 10 pages? No, the first 25 pages. That's the first act? How many pages total? The first, like, 22 pages. I don't remember. How many pages total? 65. It's a long <laughs> comic. I don't... We'll figure something out. Everyone's going to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to have fun. Why are you giving pages out, like, ahead of time? Just ship it. I just because like then uh, there will be less of a way, you know like people can read it. Isn't why it, would you want to? Why would you want to consume a third of a movie? I think I think it'll be like backers are like you know hey is this getting made? I want to see the progress. I've been waiting. Here's be a third of it. Yeah. And then you got to wait what a year and a half okay, to get. Here's the deal. No matter what I do, well, just I, make the comic. It's I'm not no matter what I do. Comic. It's make make it and ship it in December, like you said. Okay. Sure, I'll ship it in December. Well, when is it coming out? The whole thing, not a, not ten pages or My whatever. My estimate is summertime. <laughs> yeah, okay, it is what it is, man. Like I'm working <laughs> with people, I'm coordinating it as best I can, uh, and I'm, I honestly, and as I've said, like I think the production process will go quicker now that we, we're getting stuff, you know, in place, and I know. What do you mean in place? You know whose schedules are open, who can get stuff done on a certain time frame or whatever else. Five people? I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. I'm not going to throw anybody <laughs> under the bus. You are under the bus. You're right. You I'm are under, under the, the bus. bus, and I accept that. It's my fault. It's my fault. I. What about just like uh, one frame? Can I get that now? Sure, I'll send you a one frame. page. And then I get another page in. I talked to people and I said, let's come up with a reasonable deadline. Okay. And uh, I believe I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. It's my fault. You better fucking ride them. I, I'm i not that kind of guy. I mean, I'm like, you oh, know. man. You have to. You have to ride people. It is, uh, it is yeah, you know, you got to be, you got to be. <laughs> I don't. I love everybody. Hey, I love get everybody. Your fucking a hey, I love get it done. Get it done. I need a release by I need these pages. It doesn't it does this is not what motivates people though. Getting shouted at? I don't know. Maybe it does. I don't know. How do you have you not been Okay, but like all this if you stuff shout at people, year? they might just go but here's the thing is that we live in a culture now where you shout at people and they go, Okay, I quit. Get another guy then <laughs> that would be disastrous and it's not a guy there's no one guy who's a problem who's okay <laughs> all right the there's problem. a i'm the problem everything that's wrong with it is my fault okay but i'm very happy with how it's looking and it's it looks get great glass house productions to do it i could have got a bunch of Brazilians <laughs> to make it honestly i could boot up the sims i'll make you guys a 3d rendered version and you'll love you it. gotta ride them man you, you you meet you're you're I'm making connections with more people. I, here's the other thing is I'm like you I gotta yell at them and then go okay sorry I, I went over the line how much how much how much to get it done money today? doesn't money doesn't matter to like artists. it is it does when you yell at them on, it's about abusing them in a way that benefits you you have to yell and then offer that a, only works on uh, the gay kids okay the huh. the, the fancy well, that's how kids. Pixar is was built that's abuse. that's why all these guys you know you can yell at those guys and they'll go oh god okay I gotta draw it quicker but anybody who knows what they're doing and they're like confident they're like you can yell all you want you know uh, I don't care it's about my integrity and getting it done and that's fine I respect when's that when's it getting done never never it sounds like it though I think this is one of those situations where uh Look, everybody can ride me. Everybody can call me a piece of shit. And if you want your money back, tell me and I'll give you your money back. Oh, here we go. It's not here we go. Here we go. It's, guys, I'm real. Here's, I'm very excited about this. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about this that I think, what are you doing? What are you queuing up? <laughs> I'm just saying, call I'm it, trying call him and yell to at have them. a legitimate... <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to say something real for two seconds. Why? Because this is important, okay? Shut the fuck up. I love this project. It is looking really, really great. I think it is fun. I think it is funny. 
Is it as fastly produced as I want it to be? No. I'm a new to this thing. I'm new to managing a shit ton of people and telling them what to do and not upsetting anyone mm-hmm. or having to have a bunch of apology emails about how I ruined the sanctity of whatever. Okay. Are you writing apologies? There's a lot of apologies involved in making oh, comics. Oh, you're messing up, man. There's a no, t- lot no, of apologies. No, 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 okay? no, no. No, so no, 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 I, no. I am not great at that aspect. But at the end of the day, I just like okay, yeah, it's gonna take longer, but it looks good. It's Are you be learning good. to be harder on people? No, I'm gonna, I'm learning. I need mm. to hire someone to be harder on people. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna take some of the money from this. And when we do the next one, I'm gonna have someone whose only job. This is why in most jobs, next one. there's oh, the, this is why in most jobs you have another guy whose job is to yell. So that you get to go. So what do you do well, exactly? I don't know. Then in that uh, case. You know, if that guy's yelling, you know, just do what he says. I guess. Just get, how much? How much? Money. How much get this done? Money doesn't matter. Artists. Artists. You know, these guys art, have gaslit you've you met, into thinking you've that. Met art. Okay, a lot of money, maybe. No. I just uh, look. Everybody's getting paid great. Okay. That's the problem. It's not the problem. Is it working? <laughs> it. Yeah, actually, it is. We've had a very productive month. Everything's okay. looking great. It's coming along great. I wish we had reached this level of productivity a while ago. Why but don't you just put, like, done pages? That's an update. Where? On the thing? In general. Out, X out of whatever. Done. Like a like a bar. Boop, 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 Maybe boop. I will. The problem is that, like, what's a, uh, you know, some pages aren't colored and what, yeah, I could do that. So they're not done. They're not done. Everyone get you know what I'm canceling the comic. Everybody gets their money back. It's too much. Just keep the money, like Null's lawsuit. Yeah, it's not a bad keep idea. Just either. kidding. I do think Null should keep all that money though. I think I should uh eat myself into a grave and then all your money just disappears. Sorry. River Beard for five. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Also, I'm gay. Okay, <laughs> River Beard. <laughs> Joe Cool for two. Super Killer being leaked the same way Maddox's address was. Yeah, that's true. So Terjury for 10. Vito and Dick. Trucks Me and Ricky shirts are on sale now. By doing your ad for you, I take the power from you. Trucks Me. Thank you. I do have to mention, I tried to put Ricky Retardo shirts on our website using our print partner. Our print partner sent me an email saying they will not Who's print, print shirts. Printful.com. Printful? Those yeah. motherfuckers. Said we cannot print uh, I'll shirts. I'll put it up. Containing the uh, slur retard, I explained, but that's just the name of the character. It's I'm not retarded. a slur. And they said, what What do you mean it's a character? And then I sent them pictures of the Isom comic book, and they said, well, we still don't want to print it. I'm like, damn it, I thought it was going to work. I sent them a bunch of pictures of Braxwell, and I said, look, it's a comic. See? It's Printful fine. sending you death threats. <laughs> yeah, they're sending me death threats. So um, the other way to do it would be to... Maybe make it say retardo in a way that the AI doesn't read it. See, that's Send it another to me, AI. Put it up. I don't care. Yeah, but then we got to print them. Uh, no, I use uh, Printify. Oh, okay. There's like a zillion yeah, providers on that. Some some other people have said they could print them for us. LJ Clabberino for five. Vito, if shoplifting is fun, would you join a Target flash mob? I wanted to. Yeah, that'd be great. Do you remember watching those videos? What was it? Uh, they were having some riot. And uh, let's say people of a certain skin color persuasion were all running around grabbing stuff. And there's just one white guy. Legos, yeah. With his arms full of Legos. And I went, Yeah, that's my guy. That's my fucking guy. He's like, Ah! I'm like, I would be the Lego guy. Everybody else is grabbing. Like he was stealing from the black people because he was like, oh, "I hope they don't see me. I got to get out of well, here." It was their movement? <laughs> Wasn't that Black Lives Matter? It was supposed to be their stuff. Yes, he was he stealing was from stealing. Black Lives Matter. Yeah, they deserved all the stuff in that Target. He's like, "They'll, they don't want the Legos. They're fine." Everybody else is getting TVs and hero. sneakers. One yeah. white guy. Ooh, the Millennium Falcon with 4,000 pieces? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Synapse for five. Never mind, I'm retarded. My game didn't close, and I thought you changed the intro music. <laughs> Good work. Lloyd Lelewin for eight. I have a feeling that Vosh will like Horseman from Chuck Dixon. There you go. If the Horseman is fucking goblins, then he'll love it. If you guys want to catch up on the Vosh controversy, me and Mr. Girl had an excellent conversation on the Tuesday Night Grift, which is my Tuesday streaming show. You can watch the archives of that. Uh, Vito and Mr. Girl. Mr. Girl has a new song coming out. Oh. We're going to have to debut that at some point. He's got a lot of stuff. And at a certain point in the near future, me and Mr. Girl have a song we've been working on. 
I thought you guys weren't working together anymore after the no, after you did still... that episode. <laughs> No, it's great. Actually, and you called him a Jew. Or he's something. fine. It seems like he's finally relaxed a little bit on these streams. He came on my stream, and we had like a really good. It was fun conversation. Yeah, it's a little less navigating emotions uh, than the last time. Dominic for two. I wish Null wasn't retardified by Vito. He was cool. You did. I mean, you're you you wound him up in a weird way, and he's just self owning after self owning. It's really he looks weird. fucking retarded. Every I can't time even he talks address the you. crazy things he's saying. Because uh, they make no sense to me. James Gardner for 10, super stomped, stumped, and super killed. Johnny Rocket for 5, still working on Alpha Core RR Part 5. Can't wait for Yaira, but way more excited for Horseman. I'm sure Noel's Captain Chomo will put them to shame. And the Alpha Core getting... rewrites are so funny. They're good. We gotta, we gotta Have find you read some... them? Yeah. All of them? Not all of them. Oh, dude. Here's Bryant, the. Where do the I, Proud I, Boy what, do I gotta go in the Discord to find them? Yeah, you do. Yeah. The Proud Boy Superman character is just so <laughs> well written and funny. I should send fuck him. Fuck this. Ah, uh, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> fuck him. And it matches the art so perfectly. <laughs> He's such an asshole. Uh, I gotta read that. I gotta make time to read all this stuff. He's like a cool version of Homelander. Just send me your stuff, and you can very gently go, "Hey, Vito, did you read that thing yet?" Don't go. What the I worked for five I hours. At least time. you can do is. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> Good joke. I did a lot. I've been doing. I've been dealing with a lot of shit this week. I didn't have time to read your. You guys writing parody. apology emails all day for having to be a boss. You know what? Time. That was part of it. Okay, I spent a lot. Of, this week has got a lot of shit going on. Give that shit to me. Okay, I, I got to watch comic uh, by three p.m. Two fat Canadian retard. Oh, sorry, one fat Canadian retard and his coked out friend explaining They're how both I'm, Canadian. How I'm directing people to a secret Lollycon website to generate hentai. That's funny, but. The problem is they're doing it and then like pretending Actually, that it's real yeah. and then moralizing about it. I was like, well, what? Just go, you think Vito's not bad. Watch this. Go to ah, and then come to back download to child bing, pornography. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah. Pedo alert, folks. See, actually, I actually think that it's wrong to rape kids. Yeah. Oh, do you? Okay. Well, oh, that's well, funny. Amazing. Thanks. Cool for pastor. five. Thanks for Dick for Thank not killing pastor, yourselves over fuck. no fumbling at the 99th yard line. Can't believe he would deprive us of a chance to joke I on I know. Vito. I'm pissed at Null for that. I was going to razz you big time, man. Can I'm untouchable. But Null fucked it off. Null came over with a big plate of spaghetti. <laughs> hey, look at <laughs> Oh wow, Vito Streep got like a script. A script this got is leaked. the That's same funny. as using 3D assets. It's, it's oh, even worse, man. honestly. So he's spilling that. All spaghetti. right, I guess nobody's making fun of Vito then. Johnny Rocket for another Thanks. five. That girl should get the C because SK save her from the world. He K'd. It would teach him a lesson. What bandit for five? Matt Groening. This is hilarious. Mind if I put it in my script? I can credit your full name <laughs> or M Groening or something. <laughs> credit. Credit. Yeah. Citation. Let me credit. Three eyed it. fish from The Simpsons. Hi, Mr. Here's Groening. a picture. Uh, this is copyright the Fox Cartoon <laughs> Affiliate Network, a uh, subsidiary of Fox Broadcasting. Yeah, I posted a picture of a Powerpuff Girls uh, episode where Blossom gets knocked into a pile of coats and comes up dressed like Cartman. I'm like, see, it's like a little a reference. Licensed, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, uh, they're really upset yeah, about well, that. Yeah, well, it's not a... Re <laughs> Null's crying about the actual screenshot that you did. Yeah. Not the reference. Oh, he thinks the reference is fine. It's the fact it's that the I fact included that you a screenshot. Screenshotted the three eyed fish right. and put it in there as he's saying is and said this is an example of what uh, I'm talking about. Unlicensed private yeah. reference. That I'm not allowed to use. So that's the property of the Fox Corporation. It's fucking retarded. It's really <laughs> fucking retarded. I thought Noel understood you copyright can't be, law. You can't be see the problem with shouldn't Noel understand copyright law on some No, that's level? why he's getting sued. Right. Um the reason why my review of ISOM was so devastating is because I didn't say an avalanche of retarded oh, shit right. about media before I did it. I just started with it and said, okay, here's my review. You didn't take great steps to establish that you have no idea how media or entertainment works. Right. Because that would then impact that would your review. And review. everyone would go, yeah, but you think that you can't send artists reference uh, material. So that makes me think that your opinion on comic books is dumb and wrong. <laughs> Really poison the well. Uh, famous comic call book. call a fuck up. <laughs> famous comic book reviewer in Null. Uh, he's, he's nailing it. Booze the ghost for 10 if Dick's a badass Hot Wheels car. Vito is a suspicious matchbox van. What horrors have occurred in that van? Find out in Superkiller number one. Go back the book. Mellow move for five. The biggest problem is multiple part qualification. Come on. 
come on. <laughs> you really thought I was going to fall for that? You fucked up, Melamu. The biggest problem you is suck. multiple part qualifications like 1A, 1B, or 2B. Can you believe it? You might even 2B, and then you might be fair. I like, come on. I hope that's got you. Anyway, don't Why are you yourself. so nice to Matt Barr? I don't think I'm being nice. You're being very nice. What, on the thing? Yeah, when you were talking to him. I just want to... You're, like, trying to ex desperately explain, like, dude, we're just, like, joking around. Stop acting like an asshole. I think it would help Or else, like, some everyone's going to make fun of you. Well, I think some of the... Okay. As I explained it to them, the I said... The only thing that can help them is Riley raping them. <laughs> I, He's right. I, I explained it like this. I said, guys, you hired a pedophile. Take a little bit of shit. Roll with the punches. You, and did you and know it or on. not? I think it seems like I, you should have known it. More people need to. I would never have knowingly hired. <laughs> I all right, all right. would never have knowingly hired a pedophile. Matt Barr, I don't know. You got to roll with this punch that Dick is throwing at you right now. Okay? And then you're going to land on your feet and you're going to make your dumb comics. Definitely probably cry about it. Terrible online. art. And we'll hate it. Right? And then ban mint salad? You ban you're banning a big titty bitch that is nice to everyone from your community? Are you fucking insane? The example I gave Matt Barr was too big. When, too the, big. when Jared Fogle came out as like a big pedophile, somebody who did not go on Twitter and go, how can you guys be mad that we hired Jared Fogle? Okay, yeah, he's a pedophile, but we didn't know. We just make sandwiches, man. Like, no, they didn't do that. Comics Gate isn't about pedophilia. <laughs> uh, da, 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 delete, delete, delete. It's first of all, it's not Comics Gate. It's you. You hired the pedophile. You hired the pedophile. It's not Comics Gate. All right. Hey, this guy hired a pedophile. I can't believe he's picking on comic Gate. No, 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 no. You. You, 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 you. You just let the comedians go, oh, Jared raped a bunch of kids. I bet they liked his foot long, and they do that for, like, maybe a month. Yeah. And then it's over. Uh-huh. But if you go online as Subway and go, don't you understand that the second we found out about this pedophile, we have to with the ultimate acquaintance in it. Actually, I'm the victim because because I had to hire a new artist. Yeah, you're. I know. Woo, baby. It really sucks. Has Matt Barr apologized to all the kids that got raped by that guy? Has, ha, yes or no? Has Matt Barr See, Matt, apologized to what, the kids that got raped? This is Has Matt why. Barr apologized to the kids that got raped by Vic King? Has he or not? Matt Barr, have you apologized to the kids who were raped? <laughs> Matt, Matt, <laughs> listen to me. I don't give a fuck about anything that happened ever. Oh my god! I, <laughs> this is why you don't do what. I have you have you written an apology oh on god. Twitter, an open letter apology to the children that were molested? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's learning a lesson today. All right, there's your lesson. Just, just let it let it roll off your back. If I hired, a, if I hired you. a child molester, <laughs> oh my god, to write me jokes, right. I would write the kids that were molested some free jokes. Should apologize to try to you know send laughter is the best comics. medicine. Maybe you and comic books for kids can send a bunch <laughs> of comic books to all the kids that got raped. No one is more pro comics gate than me. You're the number Fuck one. Off. You're the number one. The girl cast. For five. Don't you fucking ever say that. You know what I mean. Yeah. As soon as I'm on Ethan Van Skyver's <laughs> show, Dick's trying to fuck over Comics Gate. What the fuck are you talking? What? Look, I'll, I'll say this. These are guys who, uh, you know, people have talked a lot of shit about Comics Gate. They're very sensitive about it. You know? They feel victimized. Oh, if you, if you can't stand the heat, go back to the kitchen, bud. I what do you want, I what think, do you want in I here? I think you got to differentiate between, you know, truly vindictive shit and one comedian telling you that you lack his unique, uncanny ability to identify. Just apologize pedophiles. to the kids that were raped. Sure. Okay. And you can also do that. <laughs> <laughs> Have Chat GPT do it. Here, hold on. Let me write a Chat GPT. Let's get a Chat GPT apology <laughs> to. Uh... I got to order another beer, too. Hey, Chat. Fuck, G I can't do both. Chat GPT, you got to do I... me both. Order me a beer and write this. I am a comic artist. Or I'm a comic writer who recently found out my artist uh, molested yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, children. Exactly. Okay. I would like to write uh, an apology. Hello, comma. I am a comic writer yeah. artist. He's an artist. Okay. And I have very thin skin. <laughs> and I, I, knowingly oh, no. or unknowingly <laughs> hired a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> to draw a cover. Well, for this bridge is burned for fucking ever. Yeah, oh, lighten ahead. up. Fuck, yeah, fuck off. Fly, 
you know it's crazy. All these people cry about stuff, but I give you a way, a way harder time. The whole audience does. And, and any of this, this is obviously a fucking joke. I'm an expert for in, my comic book. I'm an book. expert, and you gotta accept Can the Can you comedy. write me an apology? An apology to the, chi- to the, the children victims. who yeah. were molested. By the art of Chat GPT will do. Make this. sure, <laughs> make sure you let the kids know that I fired the guy. <laughs> that I fired the guy. That I fired the guy at some personal expense. <laughs> Sometimes, this is a good lesson. Subject. <laughs> yeah, right away. Right wow. away. Thank you. There you go. Wow, Thank this, you. This what a fantastic long. subject of heartfelt apology to our dear readers, dear children's names. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, let me put on some sad music. Oh my god. <laughs> sad music. I mean, I don't know. None of these comics gay guys are ever going to talk Why are they tra- Why this. are they trying to like <laughs> Please throw a little fit read, about everything? Give them your example of the perfect apology to the victims. Okay, hold on. Right. Sad background music. I don't want to read this. Right. Sad background music. Okay, here we go. Okay, what do we got here? ASM. Okay. Yeah, 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 good. Nice Love is blind. Ah, Put it in a different time. Just shit. drag it over. Now play it. Okay. Dear brackets, children's names. It is with immense regret and a heavy heart that I pen down these words to you today. As the creator and artist behind our beloved comic book series. What's his comic book name? I don't fucking... I have uh, always... Rock and Roll Ninja, I think. Rock and Roll Ninja. I have always strived to create a world of imagination and wonder. Mm. A world where you, our cherished readers, could escape to and find solace within its pages. However... (laughs) Come on. (laughs) Recent events have cast a dark shadow over our otherwise bright and hopeful endeavor. Yeah. It has come to my attention that one of the artists involved in the creation of our comic book cover has been found to have engaged in reprehensible and unforgivable actions. I don't even know if Matt Barr worked with that guy. I don't actually know that. I don't, whatever, just go. What do you mean worked with? I don't know if that was one of the guys. He's just defending the other guys or something. Well, these guys need to be specific. Somebody called you a pedophile. Yeah. I'm just saying. Go on, Matt. I am devastated to inform you that this individual, whom I had entrusted with a creative role in our project, has been involved in acts of abuse against children. I want you to know from the depths of my soul that I am utterly appalled and sickened by this revelation as someone who holds the safety and well-being oh of God. our readers as the highest priority. I'm going to hear about be- this for another fucking I barely find month. the words to express my profound sorrow oh and remorse for any harm that has been ho- caused to you, our dear children. Oh my god, how long is this it's fucking thing? It's very long! As we move forward, please know I am fully committed to ensuring that our comic book series remains a safe and welcoming place for all. I am implementing rigorous screening processes for all future collaborators and prioritizing the protection of our readers above all else. Once again, I offer my sincerest apologies to each and every one of you. Your trust and support mean everything to me, and I am determined to do everything in my power to regain that trust and ensure that our comic book series continues to bring joy and inspiration to children everywhere. With deepest Wait, regards. Didn't say the part about firing the guy at bar. Ex- I think my I skipped expense. that part. I don't fucking know. Mm, it's fucking Chad GPT blew it again. I'm sorry that my comic book raped a bunch of children in the back. Wait, wait, wait. I have a, pr- I have a present for you that's I'm not never, Vito's booty. I'm related. never living down. I'm none, of, I'm none of these people are ever going to talk Just to relax. Just tell those guys to fucking relax. <laughs> yeah, that'll Calm work. down. <laughs> that'll don't tell me what to do. <laughs> that'll work on the internet. I don't understand why everyone can't just relax. Calm down, you fucking idiot. Give me Here. that. Is this my present? Here we go. Hey, there's like more than one thing in here. I have a Temball. This is from China. We'll see how well that oh. is. Oh, Afro Ooh. wig. Oh, I should have not announced that. It would have been a fun reveal. There's a wig. Who knows what kind? Who knows? I've also obtained. <laughs> Come on. What is it? <laughs> I didn't look. Yeah, you didn't look. I don't look at all this stuff. No. Okay. <laughs> lipstick. Here's some lipstick. <laughs> Right. 
Get rid of what it. could possibly no, get rid of it. What Don't, could possibly get rid of it. Get rid be of in it. this box of bad color face paint art? <laughs> I wonder what color face paint <laughs> how much is contained. This? How much for this? How much for this? Yeah, bit? how much for this? A bit? lot more. A lot more <laughs> than what you guys are super chatting right now for this bit. No, put it away. All get right. rid of it. Get rid of it. I think the lipstick and the face paint can wait. Come on, you idiot. Who sent that in? So we can shame him so we can say that that's inappropriate. Well, it's, it's from Amazon, right? So it probably Sometimes they put a gift receipt in I don't there. think there was a gift receipt. An anonymous, probably an, a, an, an anonymous, anonymous troll, farms troll, probably. A horrible troll. I'll put on the wig, though. You're going to halfway do it. It's not Maybe it's I can put anything. on the face paint. No, the face paint's the problem. <laughs> no, I could be doing a blackhead mask or something. Right, which way is the front? I never know. Da, 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 da. I have to go off screen because I haven't shaved in a while. Your head? Yeah, I look terrible. Because of your shaved head? No, because my head isn't shaved. Oh. Huh, oh, that looks cool. Hey! <laughs> Let's do this here podcast here. Nah, you got to do the face paint if you're going to do that. What the fuck, man? All right, I won't do it. I'm just uh, here having fun doing the show. Okay. Uh, Burning every comic skate bridge that ever existed. They burned it. Everyone's burning everything. Grillcast for five. Make sure to subscribe to the Grillcast to catch Richard Masterson on our upcoming episode next week, where we grill one, we grill all. Great name on a watch list. JJ for five, Vito really is an effective artist and comedian. If Crimson had his attitude and work ethic, he'd be a real stand-up citizen. Get your act together. Does Crimson have a wheelchair? Is it a wheelchair joke? Stand-up citizen? They know. ring for 50 big dollars. With all these W's you're taking, it's time to take an L. <laughs> yeah, okay. You got to play it? Play it. The plank would snap before you were jumped if this was a pirate shit. Uh! Here's some synonyms for fat. Portly, meaty, dumpy, corpulent, buxom, elephantine. Buxom. Percy, abdominous, stout, flabby, fleshy. You had to go to a thesaurus for fat references? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fun ones in there. All right, we'll save it, but it has been paid so at for. At the end, it's been paid. It's been paid. The, the toll has been has paid. Been the paid. toll. The pirate toll. Fat men walk, tell no okay, tales. All right. About what they <laughs> ate today. Let's run it with you. Okay, all right. Well, you got plenty. Oh, of you fucking reset it by doing that. Because I wanted to see Idiot. how much longer we got, and we've got like a million of these. Read faster. I will. Uh, let's run with your idea for 10. Can we get our tart shirts in the shop featuring our tart such as Ricky Ritardo and Eric July? Thank you for not killing yourselves. Thank you. Lloyd Lewin for eight. And all this has become a cautionary tale of someone being terminally on online. I'd like to hear an argument of how he is in a lull count himself. It's crazy. Shit lips oh. for two. Get on the scale. See Villa for two. Let's see Vito in a tank top and, and panties. Panties. Fan service. No, uh, thank you. That's from straight out of the comic script. LJ Clobberino for five. Dick, what are the odds you are able to publish comic before Vito finishes Super Killer? Uh, probably pretty strong. Know. Probably pretty high. Dick Peninsky for 556. Big bad booty, booty Vito. Let's run with your idea for two. It says that uh, Stinger killed me, yet disavowed. Pigeon for five sixty eight. Here's five dollars. Ket Rouse for five. He does right. Onion soup and sour cream mix is superior to the jar stuff. Leave the mix in the fridge for an hour to homogenize. It's there tastier. Bathroom Bandit for five says money. Fork my dongle says TBF. If you add historically accurate to an AI prompt, it will give you the correct images. Not on Google. No, that's think. not true. It won't do that. Kelmaz for ten. Why does Vito have a coke nail on each finger when he obviously doesn't participate? I just forget to cut my nails. John Bonham was fat as hell too, and he did coke all the time. Don't be prejudiced about drug use. <laughs> Coke guys can be fat, too. Yes, that's true. Jar. Add lie H for 10. Vito, just run the AI yourself. It may seem weird to route around your global homo collective we demon buddies and do something yourself, but I don't know. Give it a try. It seems like the AI that, like, like if I could get Bing's AI to run natively on my computer, I'd be very happy, but there's just more just powerful. Just run stable diffusion, you It's not as powerful. Wobbler. It's too complicated. Oh, it is complicated. Me, 04120 for two. Uh, please, you must be fair to Vito's first draft. Also, RIP cat. <laughs> 
I think that cat's still alive. Euthanasia enthusiast for seven Canadian. Thanks for skipping my super cheat chat net last week, Vito. I hope your cat found a oh, better your, your home. Cat found a Jesus better Christ. MP zero D. Briny deep. The cat's in the Davy no, Joneses. He's fine. Some <laughs> Vietnamese restaurant I at the think Briny some deep. Nice Asian lady just stole my cat. Walk the plank. MPOD for ten says arg me mateys. Arr, me mateys. Coup for two. No Riley. Don't rape <laughs> Matt Barr. Don't rape Matt Barr. Cold lamping for Get two. Get poop deck. Taylor Swift Muhammad Vito explain. Explain it, Vito. It's a good clip. Buzz Arr. Bigfoot for ten. No one expects the warehouse inquisition. No one expects it. <laughs> Tommy reviews for five. Working on my super killer Vito. You blocked me on X. Let's make peace. I'm sure it's a lot better than ISOM. The premise seems fun and EBS approves of it. Kill yourself, Tommy reviews. If you want to take be- a long walk <laughs> off a short <laughs> cock that you're sucking you. If you want to be unbanned on Twitter, send me a message. Blow your fucking brain. On the biggest problem Twitter account and uh, tell me why. Take the cutlass Just, out of I'll your eyes. block you. <laughs> Megan Man for two Penis says wiggler. the N word. Claptrap to destroy for five. The null impression is on point. Nate yeah. Ring for two. We need Captain Dick Emote for members. Arr, Vito. Well, good. now that we have a bunch of members, I can make a Captain Dick Emote. Uh, Megan Man for five. Chat, should I beat my wife tonight? <laughs> yes. Well, no. ask the chat. <laughs> No. One for <laughs> one for Beater once, two for Beater twice. Zero for oh, Beater oh, not at oh, all. Oh, what is no this? No such thing. <laughs> zero for zero repercussions. <laughs> oh, no. We're too far down the pirate hole already. Arr. Andrew Killen for five. Forget- and by wife, I mean your cock, lad. You guys don't understand. You're going to beat He's your He's not cock. doing a character I'm at this point in the show. Character. Once he puts on the fucking hat and the coat, yeah. like, I'm in the studio with a different asshole and who me will not bird. shut the fuck up. The bird's name. Do you remember the bird's name? You're a pedophile. Oh, no, it's I am a pedophile. Okay, you're a pedophile. Yeah, hey, penis sure. wogger. <laughs> Andrew Killen for five. Forget tungsten. The average comic book wears three ounces. Vito weighs 1,600 comic mm. books. LJ Clabarino for two. Chat, should I beat my Schmeet tonight? One- yeah, and by Schmeet, you mean your wife. <laughs> okay. And you should All beat right. her. <laughs> <laughs> Weird Olay for five, says money. Best super chat. DJK367 for 20 Australian. Gavin was on PKA a couple weeks ago. Maybe Chizrag can rebuild that bridge like he did with Destiny. I, I don't, don't think give so. a shit about rebuilding <laughs> the, the bridge, bridge with, with fucking Gavin. I don't care. Gavin is, He's just uh, a bunch of pro fucking, I can't say, nonsense and bullshit. He's an old man who just wants to be liked. I don't like that. Gavin uh, is a guy who has no need for friends because he's a millionaire. So he has no desire to be still desperate for his community to like him because he's pussy whipped. Arr. Fired a Josh Denny. No more what? sports podcast. Uh, really? You didn't hear that? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he got rid of the sports show. And he, uh, look. What the my- fuck happened to my eye patch? <laughs> I don't know. Why do you need an eye patch? Cut. You know, I really don't, because I want to have more skulls and crossbones <laughs> yeah, to yeah. show that I'm in business. <laughs> I don't think pirates actually had skulls and crossbones on their iPad. Of course we did. We had it uh, everywhere. Yeah, why not? It's more skulls and crossbones. I heard, look. How come no Nazis had eye patches with a Nazi swastika on it? Never seen that before, have you, Vito? I haven't seen that. Maybe we can get you a swastika eye patch, and then we won't be on YouTube anymore. Maybe we could get me a swastika <laughs> eye patch. That it really. No. <laughs> That Let's really light me that. ovens, Vito. <laughs> I saw. I saw. My you. old Matt Barr doesn't have a problem with these jokes, and she's so prissy about it. Have we shown this on the show? It was this, uh... That was in Maddox's funeral. Yeah, did you pull that? Oh my god! Well, he's got a pirate hat too, so you have a little pirate. He's fun. got a little baby pirate hat on his little head there. I was gonna say, if you fire someone from your uh, podcast network, do you think you should call them yourself, or should you delegate that? To a, uh, just send a text or an pole. email. It doesn't matter. The people getting fired just are gone. Closure is not a real thing. <laughs> Anyone who says it is manipulating you. All right. Why do you ask? Well, just because apparently Gavin didn't even call him himself. Well, <laughs> the relationship's over. The relationship's man. over. What are you going to do? Clip some for two. Show Vito the watermelon video. No, it's we've already been too close to the line tonight. It's Eric and I telling you how to eat watermelon. I think I've seen that. Yeah, oh, I, I've heard of that. Asking for it. Joe Cool for five. Gavin McGinnis of PKA fame. He's beefing with Richard. TBF. He is Mexican, just like Nicholas Fuentes. I think he's fine. He's just out. He just was discourteous to me. He was discourteous. Trying to big league me. So You kind of did try to repair the bridge when we went to that show and it didn't work. Yeah, but Gen Xers are real fucking 
Eagles are paper thin. How old's Matt Barr? Probably a Gen X. Or I don't know. They're all kind of the same. Uh, Yar. Well, you're allowed to think of mint, from- <laughs> Banning mint salad, man. You gotta know that's fucking don't, stupid. Don't ban mint salad. I understand banning Riley. He's going a little nuts. He lots. wants you to be banned. You gotta put Riley in timeout sometimes. Yeah, he will rape you, though. Uh, you're allowed to think He's of He's gonna him. rape you, Vito. I think I will get raped. <laughs> Did you see his dartboard full of Vito balloons? They were full of all of us. I'm there. No, he made a separate dartboard. Oh, he made a separate board. That was a dartboard. bunch of balloons that he drew my face on. So he drew a fat guy with a shitty beard and glasses. Riley and uh, Riley and Mint Salad. In that clip. They're like the honeymooners who, who do pornography. <laughs> it's a modern reboot of the honeymooners on YouTube. I'll say they this. yell at each other. Riley yell, yelled at Mint in a way that I haven't even seen a man <laughs> get yelled at, and I think, oh my sweet fuck, this is the end, and I think that about forty times every episode. Well, it's amazing. It's pr- it's amazing. If I had to give anyone a reality show, it would be the Clipperverse. I think they're doing good work. Whew. And when Riley kills a bunch it's of people, hilarious. I will disown that I wish that they did that show leading up to this show. So we could have like a, have a scheduling, show or like a TGIF show. kind of show yeah. for six hours. We could kick it over to them when we're done. We gotta look no, at they that. kick it to us. Yeah, they could raid us. We're the Simpsons. We're the Simpsons. They're the, They're the lead. In. Futurama or the Cleveland well, show. Was all, what was, was on after the Simpsons? Uh, like Family Guy. Oh, no, Family no. Guy. Yes, what's Family Guy? Okay. Or American Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I talking to a pirate about television? Yolanda Finkelstein for five, the International Maritime Bureau, reported 115 incidents in the first nine months of 2022. And this is some sort of TBF joke. Pot awful got yeeted Damn for it. five. Vito's character in non-autism has kept the show going away. Maddox's lack of character and severe autism killed the last show. Yes, that's true. The last show ended at episode 108. Te- true. Technically 105. But okay. Yeah. And we are now on episode 129. Way past it. It's really weird that we have more. What's weird about it, do you think? Now the show, I don't know. It's like weird. It's weird to me. Tagger Man for 10. Eric's fans fantasize about Eric having a BBC. I believe that means big black penis. Uh, Eric's most likely <laughs> big packing. Big black credit bill. That's yeah. what he's. He says he's most likely packing a cocker, five to six oh. inches at best. He has most a small likely penis. A micro, though. Okay, we don't need to fantasize about his. Uh, small penis. Small That's penis. fine. Yana Fantasizing fin- about a man's big penis. Gay strike. Yolanda. Fantasizing about a small penis. Oh, Yolanda Finkelstein Great. for five says that was supposed to be a pirate stat to make you miss the TBF, but I forgot the word piracy. So if they had reported 115 pirate incidents, maybe. Oh, you blew it. Wow, that was a $10 Yolanda. screw up because you had to pay an extra five just to explain how you screwed up. Rex X for five. I love having a majority female workplace. The Birches maniacally labor from 7 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. to prove a point. Well, I do my thing and check out at noon. Good for you. Lana. Booze the ghost for five. Wait for the articles. I don't understand why guys won't approach me in public from the author of Men Who Needs Them. Who em. needs them? Cultural shift incoming. Arr, we rape and we rape and we rape oh, and no. we rape. There was actually a Vice article that says, how come all my famous gender non-conforming friends can't get dates? And they what show the all their fuck friends. What does that mean? Well, all their friends are like, you know, like guys Women wearing men. lady clothes. Oh. They might be trans <laughs> or something. You know, it's like a lady with a beard. And it gets like, like a circus. Yeah, okay, uh, kind of. Yeah. And they get like they're all big like TikTok stars or influencers. And no oh, one will just s- like a circus. No one will sleep with them. Ah. Uh, and they're like, why is that happening? And I'm like, did you really need to write the article? <laughs> did you re- like? <laughs> like you know, you're bitter, you <laughs> little whore. I know what you're doing. They're you're intimidated. Fun of they're them. intimidated by their fame, is what it is. How they're come too- none of my big fat friends <laughs> are getting hit on like Everyone, me? Yeah. Ends. How come all these fat acceptance people are not? Well, the fat people are still getting laid. Mm-mm. They they got all that, those chasers, the chubby chasers. Boogie's got a child bride. Come on. Oh, man. You think those... he's fucking her? I don't know. I think that Boogie I bet they're living together. is too fat to have sex with that girl normally. Too fat to fuck. When, when people... I hope she fucks him yeah. into a heart attack. Boogie's, I don't... Boogie's the size where um, he would have to creatively position himself in order to have sex with that girl, I think. Like he should position himself six feet under the ground to have sex with her. That's what I think. I just look at that guy and I'm like, I don't see how it works. Unless he has a big dick. Uh which he I think we all probably know he does, does not. not. Uh he probably can't even get hard because he's so fat. I don't Do you know. think? Uh maybe I don't I, mean, I, I bet I don't he's got think no about it. fucking 
Wood in his plank, if you know what I mean. How's that low cow podcast, man? Who is watching that? It's terrible. No one. The it Redback, it sucks. Redback for five, Australian. I feel it's about like a PSA Vice episode. Vito. Every episode. Redback says, I love Vice in the beginning. It's been sad and frustrating to watch his decline, knowing what it could have been. Man, they were making, even when they got into the HBO era and they were making weird documentaries. Did you see the HBO documentary where that one guy went to uh, North Korea with, uh, fuck, what's the basketball player? Dennis Rodman. John Stuck- oh. So, because North Korea loves basketball, and nobody was allowed to go to North Korea at the time, but they love basketball, and especially, like, Kim Jong-un, who watched it as a kid, and he's like, hey, can we come to North Korea? And they're like, no. And he's like, what if I bring Dennis Dennis Rodman? Rodman. And they're like, yes, absolutely. So Vice got, you know, a guy, like a random white guy and Dennis Rodman and a couple other basketball players went to North Korea, and they were playing, like, a pickup game against fucking Korean children and shit. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah, and then they did an, an actual exhibition with Kim Jong Un there, and then they got invited afterwards to do karaoke with Kim Jong Un. And Dennis Rodman and Kim Jong Un are like singing, and they're all getting drunk on Korean wine. And I'm like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was fucking hilarious, and also a little bit touching and weird. Like, hey, maybe these guys aren't so bad. I mean, obviously they are, but hey, basketball brings us together in some weird way. That was so good. And then they made articles like, I don't understand. I chopped off my tits and now guys don't want to have sex with me. And you're like, <laughs> ah, ah, come on. Uh, that'd be a good article. <laughs> <laughs> I chopped off my tits and I put them on my feet and I don't understand why I'm not a sex icon. I don't know. I don't know why that me. fucking happened. I can't imagine. It drives me up a wall. Rex sex it for two. If you had a trad wife, you would always have butter. Good point. Shirturgery for two. Seriously, though, trust me. No, I don't me. like that. I don't, don't like this idea in? that uh, some women are better than others. Mm. I reject that. They're all bad. Yes, they're okay. all equally bla- bad. Clipsama for five pounds. Eric edited out your first plug in this. He failed to mute it live the first time, then cut it out of the VOD. I have the original stream. So he actually had to go back in and edit it to remove uh, any reference to my comic book. So smug. Good work. So fucking smug. Moving differently now, aren't ye? Moving <laughs> differently now, aren't ye, Eric? I mean, but he's not moving differently, really, because my comic got m- leaked by Kiwi Farms, and Eric July felt the need to comment on it. I'm like, shouldn't you just ignore me at this point, like you said you were going to do? You look at him when he streams. He looks afraid all the time. Yeah, because you fucked up. He fucked up on so many That's levels. Different. It was That's really easy to not fuck up the situation yet. Uh, Let that be a tale to you, Macbar, <laughs> with your pedophile no. Highland Hiren <laughs> on your rape Matt, report. Don't respond to oh, this at Matt all. Bar, He'll do do this respond forever. forever. Tell me He's you make sure everyone stop. knows what a jerk don't I say am. Anything. Matt, don't stream about it. Just let it roll off of you. You can't let everyone <laughs> know that what I'm doing and that I, in my pain. <laughs> This can end. This can end at any point. Okay, all you guys who go, I don't know why Dick would say this horrible thing, and then you push him because you're to all do pedophiles. More That's See, why he's never gonna stop. <laughs> I'm just gonna I tell you this right no now. No incentive to stop, if but I don't Dick, care about personal yeah. relationships at all. He will go Get on that every show, fucking heads. and he will say. <laughs> All of comics gate is pedophiles, and he will do it till the end of time. So you no, can stop that's crazy. it now. That's not true. Okay, only some of them, right, Captain Dick? Well, <laughs> you can stop it at any time. <laughs> at any I time, want, you can stop. I just this. want everyone to say, "I do not hire pedophiles on purpose." <laughs> I don't hire them on purpose. I've never have. <laughs> just like a basic PR lesson is: there's a pirate. And he's leveling accusations at you. This? And the easiest way to stop it is to not feed the pirate. That's it. That's all Don't I'm going to say. Don't feed and You know what? I'm never going to hungry. I'm never going to give you this advice me. again. You can listen. Not- <laughs> you can save me by feeding if me. You- I'm going to die. Put the Melissa Etheridge music on. Hold on. Let no, me put the music. Mu- hold on. Hold on. If you want to fight with Captain Dick until the end of time, you have that option. It is completely up to you. I am never giving you this advice again. Do no, what feels I'm not right. going to fight with you forever because you're taking the fucking heat off Eric July, you fucking moron. Right. And when Riley says he's going to rape you, just go, okay, Riley, I he got is. it. He <laughs> is. Just go, you're right. Here we go. Please don't rape me, Riley. Uh, okay. Here this we go. One, this, this is your pirate shanty for the week? 
Oh, it's a fucking ad again. Why would, I've been shanghaied right, pay for, by a fireman ad. I will pay for YouTube premium. I would dial the numbers just to listen. How far I'd go. This is what you wanted? Because I'm so hungry. What's the one with the dogs on it that are need to be adopted? Not this one. It's well, uh, what's that one? I know which one it is. It's, what is it? If you keep yelling. Eyes of an angel. That's what it is. Arms of an angel. Arms of an angel. Dar. Here we go. <laughs> this one's for ad. you, Matt Bar. Oh, no, it's a Trump ad, though. That's better. It's a Trump it bobblehead. That's right. That's None not an official the one. The Trumpinator. Once again. Looks Tag cool. Uh oh, whoops. I'll be back in 2024. Mm, it's all this right. Trumpinator bobblehead. Sounds like an AI. It does sound like an AI. I don't think that was actually Trump. Okay. okay. Matt Bar. Please feed me. <laughs> I stir starving pirates all around. If you don't God. feed me attention, I'm gonna wither away and die. Matt, yeah. Look at me. I need some I'm hungry. Don't you or some people you like could talk about what me? What is this show? What is the show? You could complain about how I didn't give you a fair chance and stuff and that Riley is gonna dress you up like a sailor and rape you. Me hearties! Me hearties are hungry! Hey, you should watch the biggest problem. What happens? A pirate calls people a pedophile. Well, <laughs> just that I'm hungry. I can only be fed by pedophiles. So, I was cursed by a liberal curse of Joe Biden and rigging election machines to only be eating, eating vittles by pedophiles. So make sure you feed me. He will do this forever. <laughs> It will never end. <laughs> Only you can. I'm ending this because we're gonna get copyright clipped. Okay. See, copyright. Stop. What's that? <laughs> yeah. What's that? You it's can what? only make references of my time. All right. Coup for five. You're both nice guys online and offline. You'd never stoop to Eric's level of muting people to try and promote themselves. There I think go. that's true. I, think I sound sarcastic, themselves. but I think it's true. Vandalier for five. Did you see the Final Fantasy VII Beach clip? They unnerfed T for the world is healing. No, they gave her. They gave her bolt-ons, look fake-looking tits. They could her be. Tits bigger. should be fucking huge. They could be bigger. And I obviously big. I'm uh, still pissed at the same size of the game. They look. They look nice, but they could be bigger. Dean Shock for five. Thanks for the Looks laughs. Looks like a little girl with bolt ons Any interest in having Bob Levy from the Shuley Network on in May? Sure, yes. Is he going to be in uh, Los Angeles? Also, yeah, you have no chemistry with Mr. Girl. I think we do have chemistry. It's just No different. one has chemistry with Mr. Girl. All right. That's why well, it's that's so funny. <laughs> That's true. It is It is fun. <laughs> Clip Summer for two. Uh, you got a super killer plug live to edited in the VOD. Great. Fucking Eric July. Saul O'Connell for five. New intro music is incredibly hype. Are you ready for a fucking show? Some people yeah. Yeah. are. Human Let's Dynamo go. for two. We should have alternate intros. We could swap them out. All right. Uh, got a big puppy today, so I need hot content for walks. That checks out. No tricks in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah, no sharpen being got in there, big matey. puppy. Got a big puppy. Oh, my God. We got a big super chat in a second. Uh, let's see. He, Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Uh, uh, yeah. Saul O'Connell, 10 for $10. Review actual movies that are Marvel trash. You want to review that black guy? American movie. black guy, yeah. Yeah. American fiction. Did you watch it? No. You got to watch it. You got to remind me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you run your company? <laughs> <laughs> it would be the easiest way to get new people into the show by far, or do movie commentaries for bonus content. Your jingle all the way track was awesome. I did like doing that. Um, it would be fun to do more bonus movie tracks, but Dick, you don't want to do it. Uh, Somebody said we could do a two-minute D and D bit for the show. Damask Hard Bastard, or whatever yeah. his name is. He said ten minutes. Mi ten minutes. I think two minutes. Ten, ten minutes. minutes. Funny. Yeah, we'll do a ten-minute quick one. Try it out Pretty at some funny. point. Yeah, it's funny. Right, we'll figure it out. I'll be a slime. And you be an elf princess. Mm, okay. And we're no, trying. No, we got it. You don't need to go any. I get what? it. What? You're a slime. That's or what an he elf told princess. me. Okay. I am a slime. Right. And you're an elf princess. Right. And what happens? We're trying to mediate a resolution between some uh, tunnel digging <laughs> goblins. Why does that sound racist? <laughs> they're a race digging. of goblins. Yeah. It's definitely racist. Sure. And. Some fucking other goblins. Do you need the hammer and the sword? Well, because I'm going <laughs> to smash it. 
All right, we'll, we'll see about doing a D&D bit. I do think the movie reviews are a good way to get this in front of people. Right now I'm focused on... Read American fiction, then. Figuring out Eland a way queer. to get more short clips together. Cool for five. Let me, I will say this. like If you hear something on the show and you think it's a great clip, you think it's something that would, uh, would be a good... And it's like a minute long or something that could be edited down to a minute long... Leave a comment and tell me, because that would be helpful. It's hard to know what should be clipped. See, I'm like, watch, I'm going to do my PPP impression. You keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Butts Grenoir. Oh, wait. Cool for five. Lemon Saki asks, why is Vito speaking for Dick in Turkey Tom's comment section? What? Turkey Tom uploaded Kicker Keep, and I left a comment from the Biggest Problem account that said, thanks for being a great competitor, Dick and Vito. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking better watch it. I was trying to get people to subscribe to the show. And Why I, did you put me on there then? Okay, I should. I didn't say thanks for being a great well, competitor. I assume that you know, like in the spirit. The no, sh- that's talking down to Turkey Tom. I would never do that. Okay. I would say you got fucking beaten by the best. <laughs> You don't deserve any of that money. We did win. You're too muscular. I mean, Turkey Tom you was need to fucking Turkey relax. Tom was handca- handicapped by that uh, part. Turkey Tom is his. getting too. He's looking too big. He's looking like a strong. He's looking like the bear Jew from uh, Inglorious Bastards. Crushing he's crushing it right now. He's huge. Too big. And That's remember, what I would I say. Our audience is like, why do you get these zoomers on? And I'm like, Turkey Tom's about to hit like what, like 1.5 million subscribers? He goes. Will you cool, let me though. get big guys on the show who, like, help the fucking whatever? Then you talked about pedophiles right away. No, like. they talked about pedophiles right away. Butts Grand Waffer, too. Does this star allow me to dispense justice? Yeah, sure. You get a badge if you're a member. Everybody get a badge. Adli H for a big $50 says, Thank you very much, Dick, for taking decisive action to stop Vito from reading a bunch of poor people's names and wasting all our time. Yeah, you're welcome. We'll read them at the end of the show. Cypherson Sudkus for 20 says, Reading names is dumb. The little title card at the end with the Vietnam Memorial is also dumb. Oh, God, I forgot to update that. You fucked Only it up. Only dumb shits want their name on the show. Stop shitting on the people who pay to get their name in a thing. I was going to update that. I totally forgot. Fake Aquila for 25 says, I paid $25 earlier for gifted memberships. See, that's the other thing. I got to thank people when they gift memberships to other people. Oh, fuck off with all this stuff. I, it's good. It's part of it. I should have the. I'll have the chat open or something. Thank uh, you for gifting memberships. You and should uh, be staring at the fucking cash register. I don't know why. Show. There's got to be a way to pop it up so I can see it. Well, now we know to pay attention to that and fake Aquila. Thanks for gifting a bunch of people memberships. That's awesome. Cool for five. A lot of people deal with cancer or relatives or friends with cancer. It's a great, we're not giving her cancer. Great. You guy. should give <laughs> back cancer. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it. <laughs> Why do I just know? Like the comics gonna be like on like one of these you know, sites where you can review it, leave a review. I'm gonna it fucking rewrite good, it. But does the girl have cancer or not? I she was does. confused. She secretly does. She secretly has cancer. Great guy, Gabe for two seventy nine Canadian. Dick, do you like maple syrup flavored liquor? Uh, liqueur? No, no, fuck no. no. Only like whiskey, bourbon, yeah. actually. Well, some some uh, there's a sweetness to whiskey, but it's not maple syrup flavored, right? No. Well, it has notes of caramel and depending on what you get. What the fuck are you talking That's about? That's how they talk about, like, fucking whiskey. That's not how alcoholics talk about it. Well, yeah, what do you do? You just, just drink it and drink you don't it taste it. by the barrel. You taste it. Yo-ho, yo-ho. <laughs> rip, rip, Send rip, 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 My two-year-old daughter loves the intro to song and does a cute dance every time. I took a video of it to share with you, but all this fucking pedo shit has gotten under my skin. Vito, stop leaning into it. Vito, stop leaning into it. I'm not leaning it. How am I leaning into it? I might occasionally make, like, a little joke. Just a little joke. I hate pedophiles. I hate them the most. I'm the most hated. I hate the pedophiles more than I hate them even more. No, I hate them more. I'm going to. Okay. There. I'm not leaning into it. How's that? Go for two, Carl. I can't get enough dicks in my butt. That's what Carl says. Dead cat read faster. Five. We're gonna be here fucking forever. All this cancer talk reminds me of Navigator claiming Tomb Raider would be a better game if Laura had breast cancer. I don't remember that. <sighs> Diamond G for two twenty two. Summer Killer, su- Super Killer Summer. Yes. Dominic for two. Remember when April was comically late for Super Killer? Shut up. I do. Remember Braves that. Ryan for twenty. This whole comic is late nonsense. Is a waste. There's tons of board games, comics, video games that are always late on Kickstarter. No one has ever made a bigger deal in Vito's dumb comic. V- Eric pre makes books, and also Yaira is late because it was supposed to come out uh, in winter. Although maybe he's going to hit the very tail end of winter. 
Should... As soon as they're done puking and pissing in each other's <laughs> mouths, the sauce got set stars. Pineapple man for two. Vito, you're being an INFP, B N E N T J. Exactly. Go for two. Good manager is tough, but fair, like Tuco Salamanca. That was close. Wait, tough but fair. And not I, close. I did that thing where I'm endlessly so not, scrolling, so I should stop. You're not reading that. it fast enough. They're oh my super God. chatting. All right, fast. Christina Price for five puts a squirrel. Matt White for five for the Ricky Retardo shirt. The just Fox. write out his name in bad handwriting with some of the letters backwards. I thought about doing backwards. that, and I might. Yeah. Zach for five. Dick sounds like Hillary. 2016 voters in 2020. Trump. Yes. Pokemon go to the polls and vote for Trump. Shut up. Stinky poopy face for three. Did you know the 2020 election was stolen? Mr. Banks for two. Will Mr. Girl Shame Lane come out before Super Killer? Um, maybe. So now, uh, Synthetic Shinobi for 10. What do OJ Simpson and all women have in common? Accountability. Oh, stop it. OJ wouldn't admit that he murdered those two people, and women won't admit they've murdered every relationship every they've relationship. ever been a part of. Drake Christo for five. Vito, it sounds like your team says no blockers in the stand-up. There might be a few blockers. I shoot a basketball better than Eric July. I don't know what any of that means. No, I don't. Thank you. Coup for two. You should hire Vic King for super killer to miss the bar. No, 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 no. Where is he? I'll hire him. No, no, no. I'll hire him to write my comic. No. My comic's called I, the reader of this comic. I'm a pedophile. Play your stupid pirate music. Why? Because Jerk Jergensen for 100 says, Vito, do the do bit. Do the bit. we got to read them all first, though. It's 100 bucks. Wow. Just give a little taste. $100. Okay, that's dollars. Joe, cool. Thank you very much, Jerk Thank Jergensen. Thank you, Jerk. You're, you've made my stupid humiliation segment happen again. Humiliation? You're getting free stuff every week. Great. Most fat people don't get nothing. <laughs> You get free stuff every week. <laughs> you make a good You're point. crying about it. Joke, <laughs> You're up. the victim. Joe Cool for five. Both go off screen. Come back with a pan and the lipstick. That way you have plausible deniability. That's true. Should have done the bet. He blackfaced me. He blackfaced me. He bla <laughs> Joe Schmo for five. Fat Watch. Vito goes to the sco store exclusively for butter. I wanted to eat a bagel. Bama Gumper for two. If you don't get on the scale, you scallywag. Yeah, scallywag. Arg, arg. Arg. Nitro for five. Dick is such a theater kid. It's unreal. Yeah, don't you You're know? wearing a fucking afro. I'm not doing anything with you it. You used to be doing whole bids back when you were singing and shit. Now you're too lazy. I think I've allowed, I've stepped back and allowed the pirate captain to take the helm. Because you just can't stop fiending for free magic cards and stuff. I don't want to talk about it. Oklavich for two. Yar, Captain Master tells no tales. Gonna do a refresh. Get a. Oh my God! I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Oh, I think it's time though. Are you ready, kids? Wait, where the fuck Don't am I? Don't look at the fucking screen. Oh my God. Are Are you ready, kids? No, it's not time. I gotta oh. finish the super chats. Stop! Stop! Oh! We're almost done. We're almost done. Do We're the almost bit, done. He says. We're Do almost done. Do the bit. Hurry up! Aquavich for two. Need a cap measure. Okay. Nitro for five. Politics talk will get worse as the year goes on. I'm looking forward to Vito's clueless. Star two for five. I don't often agree with Vito. However, that standing in line bullshit is just that. I'll come back when the line is gone to buy butter. Go fuck yourself. SJ for 50. For God's sake, Vito, my furry rat clone, Hell Divers 2, fan fiction, propaganda, poster, artwork has better story and direction than Eric's in your writing. What the fuck? Cool for and two. And your writing. My chat about and you guys your being writing. nice was genuine. Nitro for two <laughs> says stop reading $2 well, dollar super chats. It makes the show too long. Right, oh, what's the game where we smash all the toys? Tweets about little boys. What's in the box? You know you want it. Don't get on the scale or I smash it to shit. Beetle's booty. Beetle's booty. Beetle's booty. Beetle's booty. Don't look at it, you penis swoggle. Don't look at I it. I see you fucking trying to spy inside of it like you know something. Now, welcome to Vito's Booty, the game where Vito has to go on the scale because he doesn't want to go on the scale because he knows he has to lose weight if it gets measured. I see you fucking trying to peek in there. I'm going to Seems a little heavy this week. <laughs> I'm going to fucking I'm going to put things in here so you can't peek. Put a bunch of you fucking rocks that? in there. I don't give a shit. I will put cares. a bunch of rocks in put here. A bunch of rocks in there. You know what it is, Vito. No, I don't know if what it you is. Don't, That's the point. If you don't get on the scale, 
if you do get on the scale, you gotta rethink this bit. If you get on the scale, you gotta rethink this bit. If you get on the scale, you get what someone sent in, and there's lots of great this stuff. This bit doesn't make someone... any sense. What do you mean? Okay, so someone, someone tweets. You're you're stalling for time, you penis woggle. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? What's the bit? The bit is you get on the scale, right, and you get what's in Vito's booty. Okay, the booty that I stole from you because <laughs> I'm a pirate, <laughs> and I stole, I stole the stuff for you. Here's why the bit. Dumb. But if yeah. you do, if you don't get on the scale because you refuse, because you don't want to be embarrassed that you're not losing weight, no. then I'll smash it, and it could be good. I already got this wig though. It sounds like I already won. You can't take the wig off. You have to weigh the wig too. Last week, last week you were two hundred and ninety-two point four pounds. Really? Oh man, wow. that's too big. Oh man, yeah. is this uh, is this the fat shaming portion? The whole, the whole the bit whole, is fat whole shaming, bit is the fat idiot. Shaming <laughs> <laughs> and that the week before you were two ninety-two point three. Now you're two ninety-two. Point four last week, so you can either weigh yourself and then you get what's in the box, or you don't weigh yourself and bitch out, and then I will smash or light on fire anything that's in the box out of spite that someone sent in. So I will give you. What do you think? Why do I need to change the bit? Because when this originally started, I assumed people would send in like dumb shit. Okay. Like really dumb shit. <laughs> like what? Like pop figures and trash. Yeah. Yeah. What's trash about that? <laughs> okay. But I think everything that you I think the- have is trash though. It's all just plastic crap and cardboard. It's all trash. Right. But I like trash a lot. Okay. And the okay. audience, I think, didn't understand the bit. Why? Because the bit is They're n- stupid and not you, right? <laughs> it's not that they're stupid. That's what you're it's saying. It's that they're like they're like, what if I sent in insane things? So? Well, why would I say no at this point? You should have never said no in the beginning. <laughs> you are getting 50 bucks to get on the scale. Okay, but I'm saying anyone who's like, uh, let, me, let me send in like crazy shit and then Vito will allow. It's not, it's not going to get smashed. Okay, then get on the scale. Okay, well, I'm just. You want to think about it? <laughs> I don't think I. You're have. gonna get on the scale again, then. That's I'm, good. I'm saying if if you if you want to think things get smashed, you got to rethink this bit because at this point, the box is very tempting. But now part of me wants you just to smash it because also like maybe I don't know. Are you gonna get it on the scale or not? Because you wouldn't get it on the scale you for. You sent a pay- there's a Gaius cradle somewhere. There's many. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want you to destroy the Gaius cradle. All right, I give you three more drum rolls. You're emptying your pockets out, meaning you're going to get on it. He's going to get on the scale, ladies and gentlemen. He can't resist the lure, the lure of the lure of the toys. <laughs> Look at in his eyes. He's the lure of the toys is too strong, like a man hungers. It's really strong. It's really strong. He's got to have it. What's in the, he's got to have the booty that I plundered, and I have it in my booty stockpile. I'm paralyzed. Perhaps you should flip a. There should be a Vito's booty coin. Yeah, Vito's booty do you want me coin? to take? Let's take a poll here in the chat. What do you think? Should Vito do it or not? Should he do it or not? See, but they don't want me to do it because they want to see someone get burned. That's the problem. Oh, that's that's the problem. I see. Is that they want a thing to get burned? Uh, and then- <laughs> scale. Hold on. Scale. Okay. How many is more times are we going to do this? E or nay. All right, so this is the last one, right? And then we're done with this then bit. Then we're done. Forever. Then, you, then I take all the toys and burn them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what, is, what, are this, what does the chat want me to do? They're saying go do it. You want to do a lifeline. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is the lifeline? There's no. I don't know what the lifeline Somebody is. Somebody says the bit stops if Vito doesn't get on the scale. They don't have any fucking idea what they're talking about. <laughs> they don't know anything. See, Clipiverse wants to smash it. I'll, you know what? I'll respect the poll. Well, no, because then there's no drama in it. 
What do you want? It's your- I want the toys. S well, then why don't you just get on the scale? Or you're trying to make it something that it's not. I don't know. I'm there like, you go. I'm metagaming it. Well, what does the chat what say? What is metagaming? You always say that. <laughs> it's just like being a fucking asshole. It's learning the meta of the format. What the fuck are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about There's like- There's no format. It's a treasure box with toys. If I was drafting two-headed giant, giant time spiral, I would go to my teammate and I would say, draft every sliver you see. Okay. Because that's the metagame. What is it? A strategy? What the fuck? It's a strategy. It's getting on a scale. <laughs> Let's go. Get up and fucking right. get on the scale. Mm. Hold on. Let me play the Melissa Etheridge song. No, don't play the Melissa Etheridge song. It's not sad. You're taking forever. Can you play a fun pirate there. song? <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're going to, like, shut the stream down. Why? They put it on YouTube. Yeah, you play too long, you oh, know? fuck's sake. All right, fine. Eyes of an angel. Go ahead, scoot it out a little bit. Take all your clothes off and stop. Shut up. I'm taking, I'm taking I know. <laughs> oh yeah, your fucking eighteen ounce belt or whatever it is. Boys are good, man. But why does that matter? Oh, he's taking his jeans off. Oh my god. Oh. Jeans weigh a lot. Faith and Begora. Here we go, connecting, connecting to the scale. What does it say? Oh, wow! I'll do it one more time. It's not, it's, it never changes. It's, it, it's exactly the same weight. <laughs> 291. Two ninety two point four, but you took your pants off, so it's probably all in the pants that oh, you took off. Pants on? I don't. No, but if I well, nah, you didn't lose very much weight in a week. No, I kind of did. Well, all right, if you're gonna take your pants off every time, then. I was wearing lighter pants last week. Okay. I'll do it with the pants. Are you ready for your amazing prize? No, it's gonna suck. Are you ready for your <laughs> super? The way you're smiling. <laughs> Are you ready suck. for your super great prize? Here you go. Here it comes. No, now I'm not going to open it. Speed now I'm not going to open it. What do you mean you're not going to open Cause it? Because like, the way you're laughing is it's going to be <gasps> shit. <laughs> what? Just open it. That's the I don't deal. Wanna, I don't want it. You open it. I'm not going to open your prize. Why would you just take it from so, the so box? I, can it just... <laughs> Just take it. It's gonna be something stupid, and then everybody goes. Just like, open the fucking box. I'm done. <laughs> I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done. What? Is wrong? I can't what is it? it? I knew it. I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> well, here if you want it. Here, take this if you want it. <laughs> All right. Well, at least the audience gets something they want yeah, this week. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Oh, look, it's a mother's milk. Oh, my God! <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad I didn't oh, smash it. Fuck. That was good. Fuck! That was pretty good. Fuck! All right. Fuck! I did finally get my Gaius Cradle. <laughs> after all this time. <laughs> oh, I uh, thought you were going to smash you it. You really got me. <laughs> you thought I was going to smash the box yeah. with the card in there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would have been really good. That would have been really good. <laughs> That would have been really good. You should have taped it inside the box. Oh, yeah, I should have. You should have really taped up the box. Ah. Uh, you almost got me. I can't break this thing. It's like solid plastic. No, you can't. That's why I gave you the mallet. Say so you'd smash the whole box. So I'd smash the whole box. Ah. Uh, that was really smart. You almost got me almost to got destroy you. my own guy's cradle, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, man. That was clever. And now I'm not as upset as I as I was going to be. If this is even a real one, we'll see. I'll I don't think it is. Yeah, I think this might. Is this like what? Do you think this is a proxy? Yeah. Oh, so because you weren't gonna let me destroy a real one. <laughs> so I got a fake guy as cradle and a mother's milk. All right. Well, it was a good setup. It was a good try. Almost. almost. I almost got Because then you. there would have been a double fake out because yeah. I would have destroyed a fake Gaius Cradle. Yeah. All right. But it I probably is fake. It probably might. Well, I don't know. We'll find out. It looks nah, it's probably it's obviously fake. Why is it obviously fake? Just look at Did it. Did the guy say it was fake? Uh oh wait, this guy wrote. 
It looks really nice is why I think it's fake. Because I'm like, uh, this is in way too nice condition. Here, this guy wrote it. You say this is a fake? Just burn it all, preferably at the start of the show. I want him to cry, says Michael. I should have brought my... Uh, mic. Probably fake. Well, I'll tell you guys on the next episode whether it's fake. I can't believe you didn't smash it. You should have put it in something that I would want to smash. I did. Put it inside like a the figurine. No, I put it in the box. You should have got a, you should have found a figurine that had like a cavity inside it. So then when I smash the figurine, I discover that inside it I thought you'd have just smashed it out of anger. Well, I didn't think that far. Well, you messed it up. <laughs> I didn't mess it up at all. You messed it up. Well, if I got a fake guy's cradle, that's cute, I guess. But it might be real. I don't know. It's in really it's like in way too nice condition. All right, well, that's the show, everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no tweets about the boys. What's in the box? You know you want it. So get on the scale or I smash it to shit. Beatles booty. Beatles booty. Beatles booty. Should we see it? <laughs> you want a fake guy as cradle? It might not be fake. Are you sure it's, fa it's you think it's fake? Because he told I'm you to burn it. Sure. Why are you one hundred percent sure? You should burn it. He said you should burn it. It might be fake. We'll find out. I'll tell you guys on the next episode. Can we? Uh, let's get a couple more super chats. We'll read those. Uh, we also got a yeah. Let's uh, do a little cleanup here. Uh, Clean couple, up. Well, we got to read the last of the super chats. Now, end on a high note. Well, can, we can consider the show ended, and then if people want to stick around a little bit, and get a couple more super I'm out of here. I'm okay, fucking, you leave, and I will read I'm the out. remaining going super to the chats. Go to the bathroom. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Shit. When did this stop? I don't know. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. It stopped all the way back there. Oh, fuck off. Well, we have the live recording, right? Yeah, we do. Oh, so God damn good. it. All right. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Well, you go to the bathroom. Can you give me the keyboard? No. I need to zoom in a little bit. Here. I'll do it. Dick's going to zoom in. Guys, thanks for coming to The Biggest Problem. Don't forget to vote on all problems at Biggest Problem that Show. Uh, I'm sorry that I took the figure out of the box, which I, I can't believe you did which that. Which I did with the previous figure. So why would I have done anything differently? Well, because you can't smash the figure. Yeah, but I didn't think about that, and I did attempt to smash the figure because I'm dumb. That's why. That's what yeah, annoys my stupidity. me. Stupidity. Yeah, <laughs> that I you should have known that, that I accidentally. It flew out of the box when I opened the box. Why didn't you tape it into the box? Well, then you would then have smashed I would the maybe box. Maybe not notice. Well, as soon it. as you opened it, it was over. My bit, my bit relied on you smashing the box. So the better thing to do, why didn't you tape all the sides? So I went, oh, I can't even get into this thing. I'll just snap, smash the box. That would have been better. Should have yeah. taped it up real good. I didn't think about that. Well. I did think about that, but then I thought, ah, that'll look suspicious. That'll look too obvious. Yeah. So I metagamed you. You got to, what are you talking about metagame? <laughs> are you going to the bathroom or not? No, no, no. There's not okay. many. Okay. There's not many chances. Kid for five. How many toys did you get now, Vito? Why don't you be fair and do the bit? Uh, Jerk Jergensen for 10. Vito put on the black face. Baba Gumper. Vito looks like a tunnel digger. I ain't saying she's a tunnel digger, but she ain't messing with no broke. Psycho Crusher, 69 for five. Hey, Captain Dick, did Vito lose his family jewels? That would explain why he avoids the scale. Mullet Kid for Balls. two. Vito should get five seconds to get on the scale or not. Oh. And Great Guy Gabe for seven suggested if Vito gains weight, then the gay toy should be smashed. No, it's just getting on the scale. Well, there you go. That's the bit. And also, I want to show the, uh, well, hold Here, on. I'll do it. Show our top supporters... Uh, that's this great. Is so old, though. I know. I have to update this. And I want to thank all of our members. Oh, fuck off. Uh, and I will only re read the Tier 2 members. Uh, tier 1, you do not get a shout-out. Thank you to James Gardner. Car oh, wait. Hold my at the top. Justin Hazzy, Kara Fro, James Gardner, Rover, Nate Ring, Laguanto Terex, Candice uh, Marie, Zach Tilla has joined the Mac Club, which is a $50 tier. And Dick, who thinks this uh, bit is stupid or unimportant, is not recognizing that someone joined the Mac tier. And here comes a dog to hang out with me. Koof, tier two, J-Rod, Jonathan Valentina. 
I want to thank Rock the Casbah, Moff War, Tommy Reviews, Mr. Jeeky, Jesus Banda, Camel Toe, Blue Boy Comics, Bazooka Zack, Anla the Chatter, LJ Clobberino, Diamond G, Harry Lime, Moon Unit, Ashtar on the John, Caven, Tri- uh, not Trio Doug. Trio Doug is tier one and is trash. Uh, he means nothing to me. Edward D. Ali, Heather Reed, Blue Waffle. We have Black Angus Reviews. Hey, it's Travis. And Alk in the Trek. This is terrible. I'm reloading. Scram, TJ, Elizabeth Emoji, Dusty Settle, Sean the Grizz, and those are all our new Tier 2 members. Dick, we have a Mac Club member already. Whoa. Our first ever Mac. Really? Welcome to the Mac Club. You get 10% off all T-shirts sold during our comic book campaign period. 10% discount. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? What a show. Oh, no. There's- oh. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> All right. 